Today we play Pokemon Scarlet, the newest Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch. The starter Pokemon that you can choose are absolutely adorable. It's a pretty big world to explore and there's quite a bit to do. It's fun going to different areas and seeing the different Pokemon. The battles and the gyms definitely have to be my favorite part of the game. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy this video. Which language will you play in? I think my viewers will most appreciate if we play in English. Choose a look for yourself. Let's go with this fella over here. What is your name? Name is of course ZX Mini. I wonder if we'll get to name our rival also. Oh, what's this? Are you ready to start the game with these settings? You can't change your language or name after starting the game. We can change our hairstyle too. <laughs> you can have a multicolor swirl eye like that. Total dark, it looks almost like an Animal Crossing character. Whoa, that's creepy. Wow, I'm actually surprised at how many options there are for your character over here. Okay, we have our character designed already, so let's get started with the game. This looks very nice. So how's this game gonna start? Wait, Naranja Academy, is that like Orange Academy? Yeah, Naranja in a bunch of languages, that means orange. So I guess we're going to some kind of Orange Academy. Okay, there's a shield over here. I haven't played Pokemon Sword and Shield, so I don't know if that's related to that. Naranja Academy. Okay, we're in the mountains over here, wait. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. What are we all doing around here? Who is this a statue of? It's time for you two to dive into the world of Pokemon. Look how you can see the Pokemon battling, that's so cool. Okay, throw your Pokeball. And who comes out? Gonna be Pikachu, Snorlax, Charizard. Oh, we don't get to see. Who's this over here? Director Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. Okay, so Director Clavel, he's the head over here. Haldia is a sprawling region, busting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It does look really cool. Nice view of the map there. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. He throws the Pokeball to the side. Wait, what is this? It looks like a bear Eevee. It's like Eevee combined with Ursaring. What is this? It's so adorable. It's like a little chipmunk. Like, yes, that is my Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. I love the haircut of that person, it's like a maze. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study Pokemon together. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle, growing alongside them. Wait, is that what a shiny Tauros looks like or is that a different kind of Pokemon? While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential, it's within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. We, the faculty and staff at Naranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. All right, let's go. Oh, they were all T-posing at the end. What's going on? Is this some kind of joke? I saw for like a frame or two. Everyone was T-posing at the end there. Who's this Pokemon that's flying over here though? I wonder how many people caught that. I wonder if there'll be an update that fixes that because that's so funny that they all just start T-posing at the end of the cutscene. It makes it seem like this school is actually haunted. This is actually some kind of haunted school. This seems like a Pokemon horror game over here. All the Everyone just starts T-posing suddenly and flying towards you. That'd be so creepy. Hey, I wonder what's going to be going on here. Oh, an Eevee! Wait, are those Pokemon or are those normal animals? Those look like just normal animals over there, flamingos. I heard that flamingos actually turn pink because of all the shrimp that they eat, that they're actually white when they're born, but they turn pink because of all the shrimp they eat. I wonder if that's true. I think I heard that in Cuba before, actually. Okay, I'm actually surprised that the textures on this person's face aren't super HD. Wait, did he crash or did he purposefully go into the water? Wonder who that is. That's like the person who's on the cover art of this game, right? Pokemon Scarlet? Hey, I don't know what these green birds are. I don't know if they're new Pokemon or if they're from a previous uh, generation. I wonder if this is our house over here. This might be where we live. Gonna f oh, I was gonna say, are we going to finally have control of our character? But it looks like this is it. I like how we got a TV in our room. We've got the OLED Nintendo Switch on our desk over there. How cool is that? Okay, we can get up now. No more reading. We have read enough. We have just finished reading Hamlet. Now it's time to go to the Naranja Academy. Ah, uh, what was I doing? Oh yes, that's right. I must go and collect stuff. Now saving, oh my goodness. Your bag and hat are hanging here. But it's not time to get ready yet. Okay, let's go back to reading then. I'd like to read, no, it's not time to read. Okay, let's check over here. We've got a Drift Bloon over here. 
It's your very own wardrobe, adorned with Pokemon stickers. Do you guys have any Pokemon stickers in real life? Let's look at the map. It's a map of the Paldea region. This house would be down in the lower part. Oh my goodness, does my hair flick a little bit when I move? Look at how my hair flicks. Oh my goodness, I'm like a TikTok character. Let's look at our Nintendo Switch. It's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. Yeah, that's what's great about the screen is slightly bigger. It's like you only play it docked anyways. What does it matter? Today on Ciud Adventures, we'll see Mezagoza, a city that's home to a well-known academy. Oops, better get going. Yeah, we can't watch any more TV. Let's turn off the TV. There we go. Oh, we can actually turn it off. Okay, we got books here. Your mom built these shelves herself. They're neatly decorated with your belongings. She is so capable. Wait, where are all the fathers in this game? Aren't all the fathers missing in the Pokemon series? Remember that happening in a bunch of the past games? What happened to all the fathers? Oh my goodness, that's like that Krogunk guy. Wait, what's this thing? It's a Squavet plush made with care using a nice soft material. I don't know this Pokemon. It must be relatively new. I've missed the last few Pokemon games. It's your soft, fluffy bed. It's got a lovely sun-warmed scent. Okay, let's get out of here. Can I run? The run button? Oh, cool, I can save. Well, yeah, we've done so much. We probably should save. Hopefully we don't die over here. Let's see, let's make our way down these stairs. Is mom going to be here? Wait, that's not my mom. Muncha! No, how did a squirrel get in the house? Squirrel, what are you doing in this house? Squirrels shouldn't be here. Squirrels should be in tall grass. Bro, wait, or are you my friend? Hello there, squirrel. Muncha, muncha! Muncha! Are you a pet or something, or are you a wild Pokemon that snuck in here? Is this my mom? Hello, mother. Oh, mother. Good morning, CX Mini. Shout outs to my mom. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. My mom doesn't actually sound like this, by the way. Well, it is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Leave a comment if your mom sounds like this. I don't know if this would sound like anyone's mom. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Wait, why is the school deciding where I wait? Their words, not mine! Okay, if the school is dictating my life, that's fine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Ding dong! Uh-oh, it's the Amazon delivery package over here! Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for! CX Mini, get the door, would you? Isn't Amazon great? Like, it makes sense that Jeff Bezos is a billionaire. He can order anything you want to your door. And it'll arrive in, like, a day or two, then of course he's going to be a billionaire. Makes sense. Oh, wait. The door's right here. Hello, door. This leads out towards the vegetable garden. Better use the front door if you want to go- Oh my goodness, it's the wrong door! This is such a difficult game already. Is that the front door? That can't be the front door over there, can it? I imagine the front door would be, like, over here. Yeah, there it is. Do forgive the intrusion. Is this the- this is the head, right? You are Master ZX Many, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am... I am the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. <laughs> the director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Oh, director, it's so nice to meet you. Well, I am responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures on its part. So here, at last, are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Here you are. I like how it's in a shopping bag. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Oh, no need to trouble yourself. Oh wait, he has a bunch of premier balls around on his coat over there. Thanks, Manny. I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Yes, mother. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa this way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Okay, sir. I'll go get dressed then. Bye, Mom. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I want to interrupt him. What will happen? Look at how he's sitting. Is your room upstairs? No need to concern yourself with me. Go on. Wait, what about you? I don't like my pants. Off you pops, the X-Mini. Go to your room and get yourself ready for school. You need your bag and your hat too. Yeah, I'll go do that. I really like that you can move the camera while you are indoors. I'd like to run though. I really wish I could run. When I press the Y button, my character stops moving for a second and then we go like this. So if I tap Y while moving repeatedly, then we walk like this, which looks very silly. So I'm guessing Y is probably going to be the run button. Oh, look at it's all sparkly now. Ready to put on your hat and grab your bag. No. <laughs> okay, fine, we'll put it on, we'll put it on. Uh, I thought they would say something, like, you should put it on. 
Okay, there we go. We got our backpack. Look at that. And our hat. Very nice chapeau over here. I don't like our pants. I understand that it's the Naranja school and we're supposed to be wearing orange, but I wish it, I wish it was a nicer color. You can press the X button to open the main menu. You can save. When you open up your bag, you'll find some key items inside. Check it out whenever you need to review handy tips. Th this tip wasn't handy at all. It was not helpful at all. Unless there's a tip that teaches me how to run. You know, this hat looks like it'll do a very good job at protecting us from the sun. We look like such a good student. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Remember when school was a thing? I guess some people are still in school. Oh boy, I'm done school now. Oh, just look at you. All ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Thank you, sir. He has an exclamation mark. Oh, gracious! How careless of me! I'd entirely forgotten that I've something else for you, Master ZX Many. A most important thing. He's so polite. I love this guy. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? What do you have for me? Are we gonna go into the vegetable garden ever, or no? I wonder what this important thing might be! Let's follow to the- Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Yes, let us follow the director. Here we are, outside of our house. I knew this would be our house. And what's gonna happen, Mr. Director? Fix our hat? Even though our hat's still in the same position? Right then, dear Pokemon. Time to come out of your Pokeballs! Oh, wait, where did those come from? Oh, I get to make a choice now! Oh my goodness, the three starters! These have got to be the three starters, right? We provide each student entering the academy with a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. That is so adorable! What, Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. This one's also so adorable! And what's the last one? It looks like Daffy Duck. And Quaxly, the duckling Pokemon. Boom! They're all so adorable. They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. The fire one came up to us first. What's this? Huh, so it turns out they're more interested in you, Master ZX Many, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. Wait. I'll be at that house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now if you'll excuse me, until next we meet. I like how we have pumpkins in the background too. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is! I agree. He is very well mannered. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? What an easy task! Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they'll have lots to teach you! No, but if I walk around with them, then I'll really want all of them. Oh, but before you go, I've got a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. Running shoes, please. Please, running shoes. Rotom phone! Oh, Rotom, that's so funny. It's like that one Pokemon. I guess I could use this to call people. It's a brand new phone! According to the instructions, you can check the map by pressing the Y button. Wow, Y is for the map? I thought Y would be for running. That's actually so surprising. Oh, guys, which one should I choose? Which of the three should I choose? How amazing would it be if you could have all three of them? If I could have all three of them, I will treat them all so well. I promise that I would treat them all so well. I would be like the best Pokemon trainer ever, and I would take such good care of them. Wait, there's a flying taxi service that can take you to some places you visited before? Oh my goodness, that is actually so cool. Wait, and does this show where some nearby Pokemon are? I guess like maybe you could catch these Pokemon nearby? That's super cool. Really like to run though, I want the ability to run. I want to choose a Pokemon though. Wait, they're all following me. Like, wherever I go, they're following me. Look at this. Look at this, how adorable is that? I want them, I want them. Guys, if I have to choose just one, it's such a tough choice. But I think for my first playthrough... Oh, wait, did you notice something over there? Is there an invisible item over here? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? There's something glowing over there? It looks like there's something glowing over there, off on that island over there. Oh man, and you know what else would be fun? Using cheats in this game to break the game and like go to places that you shouldn't go yet. And see what'll happen. Oh, there's some kind of sign over there. Let's take a look at this sign over here. Abo Poco. But yeah, if I have to choose- I can run now! Finally, I can run! Oh my goodness, I've been waiting so long to run- Wait, I guess you don't need to get running shoes, because in some other Pokemon games- Oh, oh, for some reason I thought that that would be dive, like in uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, oh, and you can crouch. Oh, that's cool, you can do a little dive like that. All right, here we are, we're coming through the gate. I really hope we could keep all three, but we could probably only keep one. I like how there are oranges over here. Wait, where are my Pokemon? 
Oh no, do I have to go find that out? The water one's playing in the fountain. Uh-oh. Ah, what a silly little duck. Ah, the grass kitty, he's smelling the flowers. It reminds me a bit of a Skitty from Gen 3, actually. Wait, is this guy, is he gonna set something on fire? Don't set the oranges on fire! Are you just gonna eat the oranges? Oh, are you gonna sneeze though? Ah! <laughs> you sneeze and fire comes out, set the orange on fire. Uh-oh. I don't think a lot of people want to eat cooked oranges. Hey! Hey! That was gonna be my Pokemon! That, that fire one's mine! Are you these three trainers? Who's this lady over here? Oh, I guess this is probably one of my classmates. Not quite! Master CX Many has yet to make his choice, you see. Which one am I gonna choose? I do wonder which of them he will choose as his first Pokemon! Uh, I love the attitude that they have. The fire one's a bit silly. You know, they've even though we've only seen these characters for a bit, they already have done a good job at showing their attitudes. Buenas, we haven't met, have we? Wait, is that the girl talking? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Wait, what's going on? Hang on, Director! Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's newest student, Master ZX Manny! He'll be attending as of today. So you're the kid that moved up the road! Wait, you don't even know your own neighbor? I guess that's normal nowadays, you don't know your own neighbors. I've been dying to find out more about you! Oh, really? I'm Nimona! Normally, I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? <laughs> <laughs> I love that you can say no. Whenever this happens, I'm so tempted to say no, but you know what? No. What happens? Huh? What's wrong? Did I scare you off? Maybe I came out a little strong. Mr. Mona is president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. I feel like I should have said yes. I thought she was going to keep asking until I said yes. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later and get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates? Nice! We'll be able to battle all we want! Nice. On that note, Master ZX Mini. I have to make a choice now, right? Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? Yes. If we have to choose one, I am the kind of person that always goes with fire. Always choose the fire type. That's how I've played almost every single Pokemon game. And in every game, except for Pokemon Diamond, I was very happy with my choice. That's Fuecoco, a fire-type Pokemon. The burning hot sparks it scatters will fry any and all plants in a flash. Would you like to go with our good fire-type Pokemon Fuecoco here? Yes. That's what we're gonna choose. I really want to replay this game with the other starters, though, because the others are also adorable. Would you like to give him a nickname? Yes. Fire Dino will be his name. Hopefully he stays a dinosaur. Do you guys ever name a Pokemon and then they evolve into something completely different? This is so adorable! Oh my goodness, I think we made the right choice. Look at it. All right, what's going on now? Where Coco seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master ZX Many. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. Oh, I have a Pokeball, apparently. Yeah, I like how the screen just goes white. ZX Many, I can't believe you actually chose Fue Coco. Why, who did you choose? I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you! You two make such a good combo! Thank you so much, Nimona. She's so sweet. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clevel? Is she gonna pick the one that's super effective against me? I wonder if she always does. Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no! I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now, I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside ZX Many while he raises his new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. You wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master ZX Many here? I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Are you choosing the water one or the grass one? What? You're going with the grass one? You're letting me be super effective against you? I wonder if I'm gonna have a rival that chooses the water one then. Nice to meet you, Sprigatito! Welcome to the team! <coughs> Alright then! Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle! I'll be waiting for you down at the beach! Come join me when you're ready! What if I level up my Pokemon to like level 100 before I go battle her? As you may have noticed, Miss Demona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling, but I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your Pokemon as well. Who's gonna choose the Daffy Duck Pokemon there? Alright, let's go down to the beach then. Battle Nimona, okay, and it's nice that the game is saving before our battle. What is this? An item! Item. 
Potion, yeah! I'm ready for this battle now. Oh my goodness, you can actually drop down here. This is skip, did we just do a speedrunning skip? What if you go into the water? <gasps> Another item. Wait, do you just walk over it to collect it or do you have to press A? Oh, it looks like maybe you have to press A. Okay, we got a Pokeball. Go into the water. Oh! You managed to scramble back out of the water. Yeah, we managed to scramble back. That was quite difficult, but we managed to do it somehow. Hey, okay, let's see. Is that her over there? I think that might be her over there. Did I battle some other wild Pokemon first and level up? I'm not sure if we can. Okay, but you know what? I'm ready. Over here! Okay, fine. We'll have our battle. Let's go. Can we only battle on a court like this? Is this like tennis? Well, let's have a battle. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side, and it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So are you ready to battle me, ZX Many? Yes, I'm ready this time. And maybe now we can be friends. Perfecto! I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use- wait, do you have more than one Pokemon? It's Nimona! What's going to happen? I trust you remember that Master ZX Many is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Ah, whoops. Good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. Yeah, she sends out like a level 80 Charizard. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Wow, that's so nice that she's gonna take it easy on me. Yeah, because I'm not prepared for a full-out battle against your strongest Pokemon. Come on, ZX Many! Let's have us a fruitful battle! Yeah! Alright, she's got a nice glove over there. Oh, she only has one. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Nimona! She sent out Sprigatito! Spring! Go, Fire Dino! If we know some fire attacks, that would be amazing. I don't know if we do. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. What if I only use the attack Growl? Well, let's attack. We know Ember! We know Ember, that's amazing. Okay, we could probably win this battle then. Okay, it used Scratch, it's faster. Only three damage, get wrecked, bro! My Ember, oh boy! Oh boy, how good are we? You must have been studying up, smart move! Fire's strong against grass! Yeah, I have something of a 150 IQ over here, as you can see. Using fire on grass, quite the wise move. But you know what's funny? There are a bunch of other type combinations where I don't know what's super effective against what, especially like some of the newer types. Like, I think there are fairy types now. I don't know what's good or bad against fairy. Oh boy. Yeah, level up, level six, let's go! I wonder what our fire dino is gonna evolve into. Look at her smile! Wow, not bad, neighbor. This is so nice! This is such a nice game. Look at you! Winning your first battle ever! You've got even more potential than I thought! You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure! Yeah, I used Ember twice on a grass type. Brilliant! I'm an amazing trainer. But now I wanna try a different strategy. Let's go again! Just one more battle! Oh no! What are you gonna send out? You're gonna go, no! Master ZX Many and his four Coco are surely wary already from that last battle. Ah, sorry, I got caught up in all the excitement. I wonder what other Pokemon she has. I'm really sorry, ZX Many. Same to your Fue Coco, too. Now, don't worry, I only took three damage. It's not bad. Battle again soon. Oh, definitely! We'll definitely battle more. Yeah, she loves battling. You know what? That's something from how to win friends and influence people. Talk to people about what they're interested in. People love hearing about themselves, and they love talking about themselves. You two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I wonder if she has any flying types, cause wing? Or is he just using the expression without it being a pun? I'm sure he can learn a great deal from a champion-ranked trainer such as yourself. And look, she does have that shield on her sleeve over there. What does that mean? You bet, sir! Oh, that reminds me. Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. It's called Duolingo! No, it's not Duolingo. Oh, wait, what is the app going to be? It's called YouTube. Subscribe to ZX Many, please. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jack, actually made it himself. Oh, so he's a programmer. That's so cool. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. It's quite the age we live in now. Oh, filling out a Pokedex by hand? I can't, even, I can't even imagine how much work that would take. That's such a funny reference to back how things were. Oh, no, I suppose you can't. We also had dial-up internet back in the day, where you couldn't use the telephone line and the internet at the same time. But no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is truly a timeless pleasure. And the more Pokemon you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you'll both work hard towards the goal of completing your own Pokédexes. Well, that was so weird how I blinked there. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Master ZX Many to the Academy? It would be doing me quite the favor. 
Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave him in your capable hands. All right, little one, it's time you and I were on our way. Oh. What's gonna happen to that Daffy Duck? Is someone else gonna take that one? I wonder if I'm gonna have a rival that takes that. Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex with all my battling. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, you've never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. Wow, she's so fast. Wait, I also have that shield icon. Okay, you can quickly open up your Pokedex by pressing that button. Okay, I wonder how many Pokemon there are to catch. Okay, it looks like we have to go up there. I kind of wish that we could hide this mini-map because it feels a little bit hand-holdy, like being shown directly where you have to go. Would be kind of nice if you could just like explore the world and you'd have to find it yourself sometimes, maybe. Oh, mom, what are you doing? Oh, see, it's many. I hear that Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. She's like a big sister. So, you already managed to make a friend. I never had a big sister. I'm the oldest sibling. And I read about all these wonderful teachers that will be looking after you in this school. Plus, so many handy facilities you can make use of as much as you like. Add in your new friend, Nimona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping it to be fantastic. That's right, Mother, it is. Now, you'll be staying in the school dorms, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. Wait, can we actually... Oh, you got a sandwich for Mom, that's so nice. I wonder if you actually eat food in this game or if it's only for your Pokemon. Oh, a dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat... Or other ingredients between pieces of bread. Why or? It makes a fantastic meal when out on a picnic. Oh, maybe you better take these too. Five potions? Wow, thanks, Mom. That's great. Use them on that precious little partner of yours. Should it get hurt in battle? I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Try to savor them all. The good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come home, you know your bed is always ready for you. What a sweet, caring mother. All right, then. You two better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Okay, I'm ready to go to school. I want to start the game. I want to get some badges. Do we have to get eight badges in this game like in normal Pokemon games? I wonder if it works like that. Your mother's so nice, CX Many. Wait. What else? Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos. Why is she speaking a bit of Spanish? She's going, oh, because Naranja, that's like a, I'm pretty sure that's... Spanish is one of the languages that that means orange in a bunch of languages. It's like Naranja or Laranja. Okay, let's go follow Nimona. Okay, Nimona's up here. Let's go catch a wild Pokemon. Who's this fella over here? Like a mailman. Hello there, sir. Hour of Science. The power of science is amazing. You connect with friends. You can head out on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. Wait. Is this game multiplayer then? Can I play this with like multiple people? Like four of us can walk around together? That would be wild. Poco Path. Oh, but are there going to be Pokemon here? I'm ready for some Pokemon. Are there going to be Pokemon here, ma'am? All right, this here is Poco Path. Does that mean they're gonna be Pokemon? We have to go to that lighthouse. Go Look at the little piggies. It's the path that leads you to the adventure for you and me. Out here, things are a little different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and inside the grass and such. Okay. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle. But you've got Fuecoco for that, right? And if you wanna to try to catch a Pokemon, you gotta use a good old Pokeball. I already found one. I've got tons, have a few. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. He's helping us out so much. That's so lovely. You put the Pokeballs in your Pokeball bag pocket. Look at the little piggy. Oink, oink. Oh, what luck. Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this Lechonk ZX. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Its name is amazing. That's so funny. That is called Lechonk. Like le, like the in French, and then chonk. And try to catch a wild Pokemon you are battling by pressing the X button or throwing a Pokeball. That should give you... Oh, yeah, and you have to damage it to get a better chance of success. Of course. Okay, so let's try and weaken it. Hopefully this doesn't kill it. Let's go, Ember. Okay, okay, okay. It's not defeated. That's good. Now let's use... A Pokeball. You used Pokeball. You know what? Catching Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus is so fun. I've never had a Pokemon experience like that before. Pokemon Legends Arceus was absolutely fantastic. And we caught Lechunk, by the way. Yes, yeah, so we have our first Pokemon. That's pretty cool. But I see that there's an item up there. Lechunk, Hog Pokemon! Oh my goodness. Lechunk's data has been added to the Pokedex. Would you like to give Lechunk a nickname? No, I like his name, actually. The chunk has been added to your party. It searches for food all day. It possesses a keen sense of smell, but doesn't use it for anything other than foraging. Wow! New Pokemon has been added. That's so cool. 
Did she say good job? Hello! Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> that was awesome! You got the very first Pokemon you went for! Wait, what if we didn't catch it? I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips! Anyway, here's some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. That's amazing, thank you so much. You obtained 10 Pokeballs? Thank you so much, my lady. Oh my goodness. Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Now, go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. I wonder if you also get experience for catching Pokemon, because in some games you do. Let's meet back up at the lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Wait, how far away is our school? The Pokemon you- Whoa, 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 hold on. The Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass, caves, and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. When you run into a wild Pokemon, a battle will begin, okay? You can also start a battle by looking towards a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs at it using the ZR button. Try this tactic out to battle Pokemon that are in trees or flying in the sky. Wait, um, can you try and catch a Pokemon by just throwing a Pokeball at it from far away, or no? I wonder if you could do that. Because you can in Pokemon Legends Arceus, so I'm wondering if you could do that in this game also. Like, hold on, there's something over there. Can I sneak up on them? Did I just waste a Pokeball? No, no, that's my friend. Come back, friend. Come back, friend. Come back, friend. Wait, wait, those are like Hoppips over there. Those are from Gen 2. Okay, wait, what's this guy, though? What are you? What in the world? You're like a spider made of yarn. If we use fire, I'm guessing we're going to defeat it in a single hit. Horontula. Kind of like Tarantula. Let's use a tackle over here. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to use two or three tackles so that we can weaken it a bit. Because I think with an ember, I'm guessing that we defeat it in a single hit. Because it looks like a bug type. Okay, I think two tackles. I think that's enough. Let's throw a Pokeball. 16 Pokeballs. Oh my goodness, that is so many. Okay, so let's go like this. There we go, we're catching you. Uh, hopefully we're catching you, Let's see. Please don't break free. We've got a 100% catch rate so far. We are unbelievably good at this. Let's go. Oh, and we got two items. Tarantula threads. Nice, I wonder what that's for. The ball of threads wrapped around its body is elastic enough to deflect the scythes of Scyther, this Pokemon's natural enemy. Wow, that's interesting. I've never heard of this Pokemon. I've heard of Scyther before. Well, Scyther is back from Gen 1 in Pokemon, so Scyther's been around for a while. Okay. Kind of cool how when you get a Pokemon that it shows up like that. Okay. And we need to catch some uh, Hopips over here. I wonder if multiple Hopips together will appear. Wait, is that another one of these? Yeah, hold on. Let's battle this guy. Let's see if Fire is as strong against it as I thought. Yeah, so the one that we- Oh, this one's level 4, so this one's even strong. Oh, and it even shows super effective over here. That's so cool that it shows that. Wow, I wonder if it always shows that. Okay, it's super effective, defeated in a single hit. Very nice. A good experience for us. Oh, and- Oh, we learned a new attack. That's pretty cool that it gives experience to your entire party when you defeat a Pokemon. It's like you don't need experience all or experience share. Like, back in earlier Pokemon games, when you would defeat somebody, only the Pokemon that were in battle would get experience. Okay, wait, what is this? What is round? A normal type move, 60 power, 100 accuracy. The user attacks the target with a song. If others use this move, they will act immediately after the initial user, and the power of their rounds will be boosted. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if you have a bunch of Pokemon using round together. Okay, so round is a bit stronger than tackle. Let's use that. Hopefully it's not too strong. Let's see. And, okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Splash. Wait, that attack does nothing. That's like Magikarp's attack. So funny to see a Hoppip using that. Okay, let's use a Pokeball. Do we still have a 100% catch rate? Or are you getting away? I'd love to be able to move around right now, but I can't move right now, which is kind of sad. Okay, but we did catch the Hoppip. Yeah, because in Pokemon Legends Arceus, like, during the battle, you can move around and stuff. That's something that's really cool. I'm probably going to be comparing this game to Pokemon Legends Arceus a lot. Hoppip, Cottonweed Pokemon. This Pokemon is blown across vast distances by the wind. It is unclear where the Hoppip of Paldea originally came from. That reminds me of this. It's like, if you don't have control of your mind, then you're just a feather in the wind waiting to be blown from happy place to sad place. Would you like to give Hoppip a nickname? No. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Hoppips are up high now. Hold on, let's first get this item. Okay, very nice. Battle them. Battle me. Okay, I don't know how to throw my Pokeball, but we can battle these. Isn't it so cute? It's like a Jigglypuff with a spinning grass propeller. Hey, this should be super effective. This should take it out in a single hit, I think. Very nice. It's super effective. Defeated. Easy. We all get experience. Our team starts to grow. What if by the... It would be so funny if by the time you reach your school, if you have like all level 100s, everyone's the final form of their evolution. Man, there's so many items to get everywhere. Like there are lots of, uh, lots of Pokemon around too. Okay, let's go get this item back here. What's this going to be? Super Potion! 
heals 60 HP. I think originally the Super Potion would only heal 50, but I think they changed uh, Super Potion and Hyper Potion. I think in some of the recent Pokemon games, they changed how much it heals, okay? And another regular potion over here. Okay, we already defeated one of those piggies. Let's chunk the piggy. We've already defeated them. Let's see, more piggies, more of those. Oh, what are you? What are you? What are you? Battle me. Battle me. Wait! It almost looks like Klepto from Super Mario 64, but like a weaker version of it. Okay, it's only level three. Let's use round. Hopefully this doesn't defeat it. Please stay alive. Stay alive. Okay, good, good. It's still alive. It, it used Peck. It'll be nice to have a bird Pokemon. Well, a flying type Pokemon. I'm guessing it's flying type. It's probably normal flying type. Because it's kind of like Pidgey. I guess it's like the Pidgey of this generation. I love how we can just see the Piggy in the background over there. It's so funny. Why is it so nervous? Why is the Piggy so nervous over there? Wait. Oh, oh, I thought that we'd be battling the Piggy right now already. Okay. Fletchling. This Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battle, its hormonal balance changes and it becomes aggressive. That's quite the funny description. Well, weighs only 3.7 pounds. So light. Okay, got a few Pokemon in our Pokedex over here. Can we walk up this? Nice. You could like walk up everything in this game. You can walk up almost any slope. It's quite wild where you could go. Oh, do we want to go down there at all? Oh, look at this. I almost didn't notice this one. It's so nice how there's a light over it. Rare candy. It raises a Pokemon's level by one. Very nice. Okay, do we want to go? Oh, there's an item that we could get down there. Hold on. We're not going to take fall damage, are we? Hold on, let me save. Wait, auto heal? The auto heal feature will automatically select items from your bag and use them to heal your Pokemon to use auto heal? No, I don't want to use auto heal right now. It'll use up the items in this order. Potions, fresh water, soda pop. Okay, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool that it uses like your worst items first to heal. That is quite cool. Okay, so we saved. Let's see. Can we drop down here? Get me down there. Hey, we're safe. Wait, why is go back up? Would you like to go back to where you were before you fell? That's so funny that you could do that. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, can I climb up here? Wait. Wait, but how do I get back up? Okay, let's pick yes. Oh my goodness, and it just brings us up to here. That's so funny. Okay, but there's also an item to get over there. So let's go over there. Ah, oh, it's so hard. Wait. Did we take fall damage? It's weird. It's like we were doing an invisible pull up over there. It's like we're doing a pull-up on an invisible bar. What happened? Okay, but hold on. I saw that there's also an item over here. Bro, move. Move. Move, plants. Plants, please move. Or I will bring out zombies. We'll play plants versus zombies. How in the world am I... Oh, how am I supposed to get there? Wait, this is a new Pokemon, right? I don't think we've seen one of these. What is this? What is this little guy? It almost looks like an ant. What is this? It's like some kind of small ant over here. Scatterbug. Let's try... It's level four. Can it survive an ember? It's kind of rare. Well, I don't know how rare it is, but I mean, we haven't seen one yet, so I'll just use round instead of ember. Oh, and that actually almost defeated it, so it's a good thing we didn't use ember. Unless it has, like, super, super high special defense and low normal defense. But yeah, I think that was the right choice over there, and hopefully we catch it. Wait, ah, oh, that's the top of a... What is it called? A palm tree in the background. It almost looked like a scyther. I'm like, no way we're getting a scyther this early in the game. Oh, nice. Some of our Pokemon are getting more level ups. Very nice. Wait. Oh, and Hoppip learned Tail Whip. Nice. Soon our... Soon we're going to have a full party, aren't we? Like, I think you can only have six Pokemon at a time. I'm guessing you can. In most games, it's like that. Any poison this Pokemon takes in is converted into a black powder and secreted. That's why Scatterbug can eat poisonous leaves and roots. Nice. Oh, it's just a bug type. I thought maybe it'd be bug poison. Hey, let's see. Were there any other items around here? I could have sworn that I saw some other items around here. Anything else around here? Maybe some items back here? Any items back here? Wait, oh, we can almost walk up this. Wait, oh, we actually can walk all the way up. Oh my goodness, okay, and there are more items here. Okay, another potion. It's crazy the slopes that you could walk up in this game. And Ether, okay, nice, so you can restore PP. Wait, 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 what is this? What is this? Who are you? What in the world is this? Are you a squirrel? What are you? On, let's have a look at that. Is that the plush, plushy thing that we saw in our room? Young Goose. Let's do a round over here. This might defeat it, though. We might be too strong. I hope we don't defeat it, because we haven't seen one of these yet. Oh, no! We defeated it! Oh, no. Okay, I guess we have to use Tackle if we see one of those. Or use a different Pokemon. Oh, no. That's so sad, because we actually wanted to catch that guy, because we haven't seen one of those yet. Okay, let's keep looking around. Seeing lots of Lechonks around here. 
Lots and lots of la chunks. Many, many chunky piggies over here. Okay, but there is an item there, and there's a piggy. I don't want to battle the piggy. Here we got. Okay, just another potion. Okay, so we've got a. Wait. Oh, I, I saw the shadow, and I was hoping that it was some kind of big bird Pokemon, but it wasn't. Okay. There is. Oh, there's an item right here. Let's go. And. A revive! Wow, that's so cool. Okay, so we've got a revive now. So if a Pokemon faints, then we can use that to revive it, as the name implies. For here, another potion. Man! I'm actually quite surprised at how many items there are to collect in this game. Like as we move around, it seems like there are items to collect everywhere. Paralyze heal, interesting. Wait, there's a shiny spot right here. Cherry berry, hey! Okay, okay, that's also another berry. I'm pretty sure cherry berry heals paralysis. It's the same as in other games, and if I remember correctly. Okay, another revive, so that's great. Wait, oh, the lighthouse is over there. Wait, let's check this path over here. Maybe there's gonna be something nice for us over here. Ah, oh, what, what happened to that young goose Pokemon, though? Wait. That kind of looks like an Eevee. Wait, wait, wait. Let me save, then. Let me save. If we don't catch it, we could just, uh... Wait, battle me, bro. Come on. Come on. Like, I walked right up to you. Okay, let's go. What is this? Oh, me. Oh, that's a nice name for it. Okay, so let's go like this. I don't think Round will defeat it, because it's level 5. So it should survive this. Okay. Thundershock! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, no, 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 not battle. Okay, let's use a Pokeball. I don't know if we'd catch it. This might be the first time that our Pokeball actually fails. We do have a lot of Pokeballs, though, so hopefully we're all right. Let's see, and come on. Yeah, we got it! Okay, great! Homie, I've never seen this Pokemon before. I wonder if it's a newer one or if it's new to this game. Homie, mouse Pokemon, so it's kind of like Pikachu. It has underdeveloped electric sacs on its cheek. These sacs can produce electricity only if Palmy rubs them furiously with the pads on its forepaws. It sounds kind of similar to Pikachu. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I accidentally pricked, picked uh, add to party. Okay, so you know what? Let's get rid of... Who do we want to get rid of? Ah, uh, because I don't know who we want to uh, evolve, who can evolve. Let's get rid of Scatterbug for now, and let's add this guy instead, because he's probably more useful. You can keep six Pokemon in your party at once, right? And then the rest of them go into boxes. Makes sense. Oh, Palmy's over here. Okay. Wait, where's that young goose guy? Need a young goose, because we've seen a young goose, but we haven't caught it. I see a shadow there. Is someone up there? Oh, yeah, there's the Hopip. The Hopip is up high. There's another one of those little bug guys. Oh, that's too bad that we didn't catch that little squirrel thing. Okay, still lots of piggies around, though. I guess we'll probably, uh, start making our way up then. Or, well, not start, but I guess continue making our way up here. And checking all the side paths. Wait, what's happening? Cutscene? There's an item I wanted to collect. I'm not ready for a cutscene. Hey, ZX Manny! You're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? I haven't seen you in so long that I actually forgot about you. Let me see, so far you've caught... Oh, she's so impressed. Whoa, what was that? Oh, I thought she was very impressed. Okay, I guess maybe someone's falling somewhere. Oh, oh, I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, ZX Manny. Just be careful, there's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. All I know is your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your step. Watch your step by these cliffs anyways. Okay. Find the source of the mysterious cry. I wonder what it was. Okay, there's another ether. That's nice. Is there anything over here? Or did we already investigate this top part over here? Top plane over here. Let's see. Okay, we probably don't want to drop down because we already were down there. Item up there. That's a steep cliff to up there, though. Okay, my friend. Let's go look for that cry. Why are you just standing here? Shouldn't you be looking to? Whoa, part of this fence is knocked over. Wait a minute, is that where we want to go? What's going on? Wait, shouldn't we be heading to school? What time does school start? Okay, our character runs over here. This is a cutscene that's happening right now. Oh, that's a big, deep drop over there. Is someone down there? Did someone fall? There's a tree. Oh, it's that Pokemon! Look, it's that Pokemon! Dot, dot, dot. Oh, these are what? Houndours or Houndooms? Wow! 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 Who is this? I think he's gonna scare them away. Is this Pokemon injured? Whoa! Oh no, are we falling? I think we might have fallen onto the sand now. Whoa! Did that hurt? Oh, our phone helps us! That's how we do the pull-ups on the invisible bar. Yep, yep, yep! 
Oh, the dogs, they run away because they're scared. We get to catch this Pokemon out. Imagine if we could catch this Pokemon here. Oh, I kind of want to save. I kind of want to save. What if we could just catch this Pokemon right now? How crazy would that be? Wait, there's the cave. Is it trying to get to the cave? Let's go up to the Pokemon. Battle me. Battle me. I'd like to battle. I'll throw a Pokemon at you. Ugh. I'm actually so surprised that we're seeing this Pokemon so early on. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help perk it up. The sandwich! The sandwich, right? Because when we were given the sandwich, it was a key item. So I'm like, okay, we're probably not going to eat it. We're probably going to give it to someone else. Notice that it was a key item. Its shadow looks so weird. Yeah? Come on, take the sandwich. The sandwich. I've got a sandwich for you. Yummy, yummy. Don't bite my fingers, though. Smells it. Gum. Gum, gum, gum. Eating the sandwich. Oh, wow, now it heals you. Why didn't I use a potion on it? This Pokemon isn't going to join me right away, is it? Agias! Wait, what does that mean? What's going on? We're just looking at each other. Come on. Are you going to be my friend now? Oh, it wants to go back in the cave, right? It probably wants to go into that cave. You going into that cave? It must be a dangerous cave. I don't know if I can head in there. I don't know if it's appropriate for me to head there right now. And? Are you going- are you going to say thank you? Agias! Why does it keep saying that? I wonder if in Pokemon, uh, Violet instead of Scarlet, if you see a different Pokemon instead of this one. Wait! Glowing! Agias, wait! Are you ready to battle now or something? Oh, maybe it's going into the cave to battle someone! Maybe that's why it's going in there? Is it ready to fight? Oh, I thought it was gonna breathe fire for some reason. They're like, whoa, what's going on here? And? Okay, in it goes! Marching on into the cave with determination. Like, wait, I never even got a chance to know your name. Then the camera pans out. I don't want to go into the cave now and see, but we should probably go to school gonna happen I'd like to start moving oh whoa 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 the thing suddenly appeared okay but it doesn't look like there's anything else that we could really do over here look at how fast this water's going over here all right I'm gonna walk over to you then because there's nothing else I can do let's go can I come into the cave with you hey where are we going bro inlet grotto grotto or grotto oh we can't run anymore oh now we can run all of a sudden oh Oh, I think you can only not run when you get close to it. So that you can't get ahead of this guy. I'm guessing that's the way that it's going to work. What is that up ahead? Oh, I thought that was like a Pokemon or something, but that's just a rock formation. Oi! CX Mini! I want to get that item there! Oh! Is that our friend up there? Yeah, our friend's up there. There you are, ZX Mini! You okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. He nod. Thank goodness, I was really worried if you'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You've just got to find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. No, I will keep looking here. Hey, what's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. Kind of seems like it's waiting for you. Does it want you to follow it? Yeah, that's what's happening. And I can't pause right now. It doesn't let me save. Oh, this is a crazy time. Oh, is it going to move that? Oh my goodness! It used Rock Smash, and it destroyed those rocks there. Wait, is that another Hound Doom over there? Whoa, that was amazing! That Pokemon might be as strong as mine! Maybe stronger! Wait, what's this over there? Growlithe! Let me battle the Growlithe! Or wait, no, that's not a Growlithe, that's a Young Goose! I wanna battle the Young Goose! Can I finally catch it? Young Goose, right? Young Goose level 2, so even a Tackle might defeat it. Hopefully it doesn't. Come on! Yes! It's still alive. Very good. Okay. I was wondering if we'd be able to come up to these Pokemon or if the Pokemon that we're following will just scare them all away before we even have a chance to get to them. But wait! If we catch this Pokemon, is the game going to auto-save now? I wonder if it'll auto-save now. Okay, but we did catch it, so that's great. Oh, and we got two youngest fur. Its stomach fills most of its torso. It wanders the same path every day, searching for fresh food. Look at its face. It's so funny. Let's send it to boxes. It can go to boxes, because we already have some pretty nice Pokemon with us here, so that one can get sent away. Okay, so now I think that we're not really missing any crazy important Pokemon or anything. Wait, 
There's another young goose. We already have a young goose, so I'm not worried about that one. The lighting around this Pokeball looks really weird. Okay, let's grab it. Potion, nice. Is there anything back here? I don't see anything back here. Wait, why can I not walk this way? Is it like you can't get a certain distance away from that guy or you can't like, <gasps> a Diglett, a Diglett, a Diglett. Gen one Pokemon right over here. Look at this little guy sticking out of the ground. Okay, hey, what level are you? Level three. Around Mike defeat, because Diglett has super low defense, if I remember correctly. So tackle. Yeah, tackle's even almost enough to take him out. Okay, use sand attack. I think Dugdrio, the evolved form of Diglett, could actually have a pretty high speed. Wait, I don't know if there's a new evolution to uh Dugdrio, because originally it was only Diglett and Dugtrio. I don't know if there's like final evolution form of that or a newer evolution. There used to not be. I don't know if there now is. Oh nice, our bird leveled up. Fletchling learned quick attack, lovely. Wait, okay, yeah, I'm like, come on, is this gonna get added to the Pokedex? It lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots. Sometimes it appears above ground. Wow, 148 in the Pokedex, okay. Oh, and we got two Diglett dirt, nice. So, is that a young goose over there? Okay, that looks like a young goose. I wanna go get that item over there. Can we please get that item, bro? Can we please get that item, bro? You know what's funny, like in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire? Wait a minute. <gasps> there are the doggies! So many doggies! Are they gonna attack us? What's going on? Oh, are they like barking at us? Okay, I guess we scared them away. I don't know what those blue heart things were, but I guess we scared them away. Wait, wait, but bro, hold on, hold on. There's an item over here. Let me get this item first, okay, before we continue. Hey, heads up. Some pretty rough and rowdy hound doer live here. I'm glad you got your bodyguard, but watch your back. They're strong. Okay, I will. And we got another revive, so we should be good. We've got all these revives. Be great. Yeah, it'll be great. Okay, so let's see. Wait. Oh, I thought that there was something up on top of that. Hold on, on top of that stalagmite or stalactite? Ah, someone gave me a good mnemonic device to remember stalagmites and stalactites, but I actually forgot it. Okay, but we broke through that one. Yeah, because stalagmites and stalactites, it's like one of them are on the ground and then the other one, they come from the ceiling. Yeah, I can never remember which is which. Oh my gosh, it's straight up Pulverize that rock. I wonder what move that was. I mean, I want to see it up close. It was probably rock smash. At first I thought it would use strength, but then it looked like it was going to be rock smash. Can I jump to down there from here? I'm so tempted to try to make it down there. Let's try this. Let's run. Wait, is this dive? Let's go! Oh, you can almost make it to there. You managed to scramble back out of the water. We end up back here. This would probably be like a speed running skip if you could do this. I wonder if there's vectoring in this game. If there's vectoring, that'd be so cool. Cause in a lot of uh, Mario games, if you move at a 45 degree angle from the direction that you're facing, then you start to move faster as you move. But yeah, I don't think that we, well, maybe there's some speedrunner that could figure out how to do it. But in the way that we're casually playing right now, I don't think that we'd be able to make it. You could get kind of close to the edge. Yeah, I don't think that we'll be able to figure out this skip right now. Wait. Oh, come on. Is there an invisible wall that's pushing you back? Because it looks like you could actually almost make it there. That's so crazy. Look at that. Ah, oh, you could get so close to it. Walk a bit this way then. Wait, where's our friend? Our friend's right over there. CX Manny, look out! Something's coming! What is it? What's coming? What is coming? Is something sneaking up on us? Behind you! It's behind you! Oh, it's the evolved form! Uh-oh. Very spooky. Doom! Okay, so I guess that one's Hound Doom. Wait, I'm not ready to- I'm not ready to battle you! You're too strong for me. What level is that? Yeah, level 40. I'm sorry, I can't battle level 40s. You can't find an opening to swap Pokemon. Great, I guess our Pokemon's just going to die then. Wait! What if I just throw a Pokeball and I catch it right now? How crazy would that be? Your hands are trembling so badly you can't pull items out of your bag. Oh my goodness. Wait, can we even use a healing item? We can't even use a healing item. Oh, that's so silly. It'd be fun to uh, hack this game and see what happens. Okay, yeah, and we're probably dead in a single hit, right? Use crunch, unless our friend blocks the attack. Let's see, come on. He used crunch. Are you gonna use crunch or no? Wait, what's going on? Our friend notices. Are you gonna protect me? Yeah, you're like, yeah, it's worth protecting. Okay, let's go. Wow, wax it with its tail. Roars. Are you gonna run away? Oh, you're not scared by this. Oh, here come all the other ones. All the other little doggies. So many of these doggies. Gen two doggies. 
I'm surrounded. So is my friend. My friend's not afraid. What are you gonna do? The doggies just keep coming. There's so many doggies in this cave. I bet that person's gonna go, you know, I'm not gonna fight you guys up. I gotta save my friend. You saved me. You gave me a sandwich. Now I will protect you. Hey! Up here, quick! But no, there's an item down there. I wanted to go down there. I guess we come up here. Look at that clapping. Wait, why is the clapping like so laggy like this? It's so weird that this is so laggy. This is on console. Okay. So how is that? The lighting's a little weird here too. Way to go! For a second, I thought you were both goners. How strong is this Pokemon here with us though? It wanna get to the lighthouse? What's gonna happen? Are you just leaving now? I wonder what type this guy is. Is he water? Is he fire? Is he a dragon? Is he flying? Oh. Whoa, what's wrong? All of a sudden he's hungry again. Need more sandwiches. Maybe it used up all of its power. What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a thick lizard, but I've never seen one quite like this before. I've never heard of that Pokemon before. Now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? Hard to say or I don't know. Hard to say. It's quite hard to say indubitably. You can't tell either, huh, ZX Many? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fella look perfectly in sync facing down that Hound Doom. Maybe I should catch it. We're like, no. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Like, oh yeah? Okay, it gets back up. Yeah, sometimes it walks on four, sometimes it walks on two legs. Oh good, looks like it's perked up a little. You think this fella was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Yes! Oh man, oh man, oh man! The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems! If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it! Okay, I'll destroy your entire team with just that Pokemon. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Look at how the grass is flickering, that's so weird. I like how our phones just fly like this. Wait, is that how you exchange numbers? This is how people will exchange numbers in the future, their phones will just fly around. And here! This will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help battle stronger opponents. Oh, nice, we got Swift. Okay, Swift is a move that never misses. That's pretty cool. A star-shaped star -shaped rays are shot at opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. Think before you use it though, TMs can only be used once. We've both been through enough for a minute. I think we should better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. But I wanna go over there. There were some items to get down there. Ruff, ruff, gruff. You hear Houndoom barking an awful lot. Maybe you'd better not go in there, but I want to go in there, no! I gotta hack the game and see what happens if we go in there early. That'll be fun, okay. Let's go to the lighthouse then, finally. All right, let's go, my bros. Gotta go to the lighthouse. Who's that at the lighthouse? Wait, and we're trying to get to school this whole time, too. Like, uh, when does our school begin? This seems like it's gonna be a long day, actually. Who's this over here? By that little... Who is this? Right. What are you doing here? Oh, is that your Pokemon? Maybe that's his Pokemon. Oh, I thought I was gonna catch his Pokemon. I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Wait, I know. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? Aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Seda? Has nice boots. Doesn't matter who my mom is. Oh, I thought they meant his dad is the professor. Okay, but his mom's the professor, a researcher or whatever. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing here. And what is with this form it's in? I'm mean, at the bottom of this cliff. It saved me from a tight spot. You know, let's help out the Pokemon. It saved me from this tight spot. See, we heard this strange cry and we tried to investigate, but CX Many fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterward, but you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Coradon takes in battle, that's its true form. Coradon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? Ajiajias! Can't go in the lab, it's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around. Given the uniform, you go to the academy too. Do you? I like his orange pants. Horidon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. Special. 
Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? Dot dot dot. He's like, come on, just look at it. It's special. You think you're up to ordering Corrade on around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Uh, I should probably heal my Pokemon, but you know what? Let's battle. I'm fine. Ha! Well, look at you. Quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these Doldrums away. Uh-oh. Oh, it smacks his face. Let's see, how strong are your Pokemon? You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Arven! Sent out Squalvet! Wait, I wonder if that's the evolved form of that squirrel. Okay, what level are you? Hopefully you're not too strong. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth, and I want it gone. Oh, he's only level five, bro, you're so weak. Wait, and I'm fully healed somehow. I'm guessing the squirrel's probably a normal type, so let's use Ember. How strong is that? Get wrecked, bro. Okay, you're almost defeated. You use tackle, deal only three damage. Oh my goodness. For some reason, it's like no matter what attacks me, I only take three damage of HP. And I'm really glad that we picked this guy. I like this fire guy, great starter. Okay, how many more Pokemon do you have? Is that it or do you have more? Pop up, learn to absorb, great. Wait, that's all you have? Oh my goodness, I thought that he had like a legendary Pokemon. All he has is this level five squirrel. Oh, it's so weird how his hands are in his hair like that. Seems like you know a thing or two about battle. Got $300 in prize money, Poke dollars, I guess. Okay, so what's going on now? Can I have your legendary Pokemon now, please? Have it. Wow, ZX Mini, that was awesome. She's so impressed with how I battled, look at her. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. It looks like he's so prepared. He has so much gear, he has such a big backpack, but all he has is one little squirrel. But if you think you can take Koridon off my hands from me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Bruce kept- Wait, can I have him? You obtained correct. Wait, I could just have- I thought this would be like the legendary Pokemon that we have to catch at the end of the game. But I could just have him right now. I thought it'd be like Groudon or Kyogre and Ruby and Sapphire where the whole game you're trying to get them and like you get them near the end of the game, but I guess it's just this. Okay, sure. Koridon's Pokeball. A Pokeball that can hold the mysterious Pokemon known as Koridon. Boy named Arvin gave it to you. So, why'd you have it? Dot dot dot. I stole it from my mother. That thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. And he just runs away. What? Why? Can you not hear me or something? That's so funny how he just runs away. Okay. Fine, be that way, but you better actually show up for school. Oh, I guess that's our school over there. What a weirdo. We look like such a kid over here. It's so funny. Get in the Pokeball. Wow, and he actually behaves and he went in the Pokeball. What happens now? Oh, I hit my controller on the table by accident. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Yeah. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. But all right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. Hey, uh, what if we climbed the lighthouse and looked at the view of the school hat? Wouldn't that be like so cool if we did that together? Yeah, let's do that. Wait, wasn't there an item to pick up over here? Thought I saw an item over here. Was there an item or was there just the person that we wanted to battle over here? Is there anything back behind here? Oh! Whoa, Pokemon. Okay, I don't want to battle you. I don't care about you. Let's get this Pokemon! Or sorry, Pokeball right over here. Hey, hey, hey I don't want to battle. Leave me alone, bro, okay? I've already seen one of you before. Okay, so let's go this way. Hey, now there's a piggy over there. You know what? In Pokemon Legends Arceus... Wait. Oh, it's just a sleeping piggy. Yeah, in Legends Arceus, there are even really good incentives for catching multiple of the same Pokemon. And I thought that was so cool. But in this, okay, South Province, area one. I don't think there's anything like that in this game, at least not yet. Okay, so we got up to the top of the lighthouse right away. I was wondering if maybe there'd be some other rooms that we had to go to first. Look, CX Many, that's Mezagoza. What's Mezagoza? Is that a Pokemon or an area? Oh, that's the school, right? And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school! How do we live so far from the school? It's gonna be so great having you in the same class, CX Many. I'm looking forward to it, or all that schoolwork. I'm looking forward to it, I am. I don't mind schoolwork, I love homework. Right? I can't wait to get back! We're gonna get to learn so much and battle so, so, so much! She loves battling. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Yeah, pretty cool view. Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. Quite impressive, yes. Lots of Pokémon. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokémon! That's right. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldia. Thank you, Nimona. So Paldia is this area, I guess. But anyway, as you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Yeah, our school is so far. Oh, we have to get through that uh, 
Little town first. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. There's so much like Spanish references in this game. Vamos, come on. Yeah, there's so much Spanish reference. There's so many Spanish references that she says vamos. Vamos, that means let's go in Spanish. It is the plural conjugation of to go. The we plural. Okay, so let's go this way. Okay, there's a little bug over there. We don't need that little bug. Wait, what is this Pokemon? No, I know it's just a kid. Hey, let's battle. Oh, I can avoid him if I don't want to battle, but you know what? Yeah, let's battle. Let's just take a look at our Pokemon first. Everyone's full health. Wait, wait, is Coridon like someone that's always with me? Wait, I can't go down to him. Why can I not go down to Coridon? Okay, let's try making... I try making this guy the leading Pokemon. What attacks do you have? Let's check your attacks. Electric type, Thundershock, Growl, and Scratch. You know, maybe another time we'll use Palmy because this guy, he probably has a... Oh, wrong button. Let's go. This guy, he probably has... What is it called? Wait. Oh, I'm like, did you not notice? How small is this kid? If you're gonna talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. All right, chump, let's battle. Okay, let's go. You're challenged by Youngster Alien. Are those Pokeball overalls? He sent out, okay, he sent out this little, uh, I'm gonna say snake, spider, that's what it is. That's the correct word. But yeah, I was expecting this guy to have like bug or grass types or something because we're in that kind of area. So yeah, I thought that fire would probably be better than electric for now. Hey, do you have any other Pokemon or is that all? that all? Let's see. Okay, that person learned to move. We defeat him. So far, everyone that we've faced has only had one Pokemon. This game's way too easy so far. Your Pokemon are strong, huh? Got 220 Poke Dollars in prize money. Nice. What do you think about that, kid? Here in Paldea, you gotta talk to a Pokemon trainer to challenge him. We can't tell if you want to battle just by making eye contact. That's so funny. In every Pokemon game that I've ever played, if you make eye contact with a trainer or if they see you, then you gotta battle. But over here, you actually have to come up and talk to them. Wait, is that, uh, is that, uh, Azuril over there? Baby Meryl? Because there's Meryl and Azumarill. I think this one's Azuril, right? Is that what it's called? Azuril. And it's level 7. That's kind of high. So you know what? What's better, Ember or Brown? Because Ember is 60 power, but we get 1.5 times that damage because it's same type attack bonus. But then it's in half because it's not very effective against water. The round would do more damage. I don't think that we'd defeat it. We probably even have to use this maybe once or twice. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, water gun though. Uh-oh, six damage on me. That's a little dangerous. Okay, let's use a Pokeball. I don't know if we're catching it. Is this going to be the first time that our... I saw Psyducks in the background. Is this gonna be the first time our Pokeball fails? Let's see if we get it or not. It didn't get it. Oh my goodness, the first time that our Pokeball actually failed. Should I attack again? You know what? Let's also use a tackle. Hopefully we don't defeat it with this. Don't be a critical hit. Okay, good. I could probably even use one more tackle, but you know what? Let's try and use this Pokeball now. Let's use it. Go, Pokeball! Ah, oh, and I keep seeing those Psyducks in the background. I'm like, we gotta go get some Psyducks over here. Isn't Meryl such an adorable Pokemon? And it can learn some pretty good moves, too. You can teach it Surf! Like, what other moves can you teach it? Oh, you can probably teach it Ice Beam. You can probably learn Ice Beam from a TM or something. So funny how we can see through the floor right now. We can see, like, the bottom of that mountain there. Wait! Azuril's a normal fairy? I thought it was a water type. What in the world? I guess maybe its type changed. Its tail bounces like a rubber ball. It flings that tail around to fight opponents bigger than itself. Want to give it a nickname? No. Let's, uh, keep it with us then. Let's add it to our party. Who should we get rid of? You know, Hoppip? Probably close to evolving, but maybe we could actually find the evolved form of Hoppip around somewhere. So let's swap like this. I think that'll be nice. Because we don't know what Pokemon we actually want to evolve because it's based on like, if you can find the evolved form of a Pokemon in the wild, then that'd be better. Wait, can we walk through this water? We can, very nice. You know what? I'll battle you, Psyduck. You have to get so close to a Pokemon to battle it. Hey, whoa! What in the world? What are you standing on? The effects of the weather dissipated. What in the world is going on? Okay, let's use round attack over here and how's that? Wow! Psyduck's defense must be very good or something because that didn't do much damage at all. It's still in the green. Its HP still up high. Okay, now it's in the red. Okay, so now hopefully we can catch it. Use Tail Whip. Psyduck's so funny. Psyduck's such a funny Pokemon. I remember when I was a kid when I'd watch like uh, the Pokemon anime. 
I remember asking my parents, like, what Pokemon they liked. I remember my dad liking Psyduck, because Psyduck was pretty funny. Like, Psyduck would have, like, a headache, and then he could have psychic powers. That was fun stuff. Hey, okay, nice. Oh, Psyduck down. That's interesting. So what? That's, like, the feathers of the Psyduck or something? Not sure what down is. It is constantly racked by a headache. When the headache turns intense, it begins using mysterious powers. Yeah, that's how, like, Psyduck can learn, uh, psychic-type moves and stuff like that. Okay, let's send Psyduck away. Psyduck's over there, number 55. Okay, so we're filling up our Pokedex slowly but surely. What if we run off this waterfall? No! Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a secret behind the waterfall? Okay, it doesn't look like there's a secret behind the waterfall. That'd be so cool, because that's something that you commonly see in a lot of games. There's a secret hidden behind a waterfall. And I want to keep going down and exploring seeing what's down this way, but we do want to head to, uh... We want to head to school. You have to be a good student. We do have- wait, what in the world are these? Oh, oh, those are just more zoos. Yes! This guy! This guy over here! This orange guy. What's his name? Boizel or something? Hey, battle me. I'd like to capture you, because we don't have one of you yet. We caught these in Pokemon Legends Arceus also. I think- yeah, Boizel. He first came out in Gen 4 in Pokemon Diamond, if I remember correctly. I don't know where Azuril came from, because- he evolved for Meryl. Is that... Am I saying that correctly? Meryl? I think it's Meryl and Azumarill. Wait, was that just a critical hit there? Yeah, Meryl and Azumarill, they're from Gen 2, but I don't know if the baby form was also in Gen 2, or if it didn't come out until Gen 3. I'm pretty sure you could have Azumarill in, like, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Yeah, I don't know if there was a baby form of Meryl earlier. Okay, so let's see this. Sea Weasel Pokemon. It spins its two tails like a screw to propel itself through water. The tails also slice clinging seaweed. Let's not give it a nickname and let's send it away. It has an evolve form that's pretty cool. I think that Pokemon actually has some pretty good stats if you evolve it. Like it has pretty good speed. So let's see. Where do we want to go? Okay, lots of Psyducks and water Pokemon and stuff over here. What is this? Oh, that's just flowers. I was thinking, what Pokemon is this? Just flowers. Flowers are not Pokemon. There are some flower Pokemon, I guess, like... Uh, what is it? Like, Rose... I want to say Rosalina. No, but it's not Rosalina. It's like, Roserade or something? Maybe it is... Rosalina? What's that Rose Pokemon called? Wait, what in the world? Like a Sea Diglett. What in the world are... Hey! Hey, do I have to get you guys from far away or something? Wait, is that a Hoppip up there? Or is that Wingle? They're Wingles! They're Wingles! Wingles! Battle me, bro. Battle me, bro. How do I throw a Pokeball? Battle me, bro. Come down here. Come down here, you coward! Fight me! Why is it just staying there? It's so weird that the shadow is just there. Oh, now it's moving. Oh, and there are Hoppips up there still. It's so weird that it's just standing there. Oh, I can aim like that! Okay, so you hold ZL to aim at someone, and then you press ZR to battle. Okay, that's how it works. Okay. Wingle's pretty cool. Uh, Round will hopefully not defeat it. Let's see. A hey, water gun's super effective on me. That did a lot of damage over there. And, oh, you know what? If we used our Electric-type Pokemon, we would probably defeat these guys way too quickly. Because, oh, and I even see some fish in the background. Of, there's a Psyduck right behind me. It snuck up on us. That water diglet thing is so weird. Anyway, but did we get the Wingle? Very nice. Yeah, because since this is water flying, Electric is double super effective on it. A Magikarp! Magikarp. Magikarp can eventually evolve into Gyarados, so maybe we should try and capture that. Wingle. It soars high in the sky, riding on updrafts like a glider. It carries food tucked in its bill. This is a nice, uh, Gen 3 Pokemon over here. Okay, number 132. Very nice. Come here, you Magikarp. Wait, is the Psyduck still following me? Psyduck, go away. I don't want a Psyduck. I aim onto that over there. I threw it at it! Wait! Bro, why'd you run away? You're supposed to battle me. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's battle this Magikarp then. Magikarp's only level three. Wait, are we in the water too? Oh, we're a few steps into the water. I thought this might be dangerous for us. Okay, is this going to defeat it or no? Uh, maybe I should use a Tackle because I don't think that Magikarp's going to damage us too much anyways. Okay, yeah, good thing that I used Tackle. If we used that other move, we probably would have defeated it. Okay, Magikarp only uses Splash. Now we can... Hatch a Magikarp. We're running out of Pokeballs. We only have, well, we had seven right now. We have six Pokeballs left. And maybe there will be like a really cool Pokemon that I want to catch. So maybe I should be a bit wary of how I'm using these Pokeballs. Maybe I want to save them up a bit. I want to use this Polish word, but I don't know how to translate this directly to English. I want to say that I want to Shanovac. 
these Pokeballs over here. And it basically means like, save them and not use them in a situation, not waste them. That's basically what it means. An underpowered, pathetic Pokemon. That's so rude. It may jump high on rare occasions, but never more than seven feet. You know what? I kind of want to keep it with us so that it can evolve into a Gyarados because Gyarados might be good to have. I don't know if Gyarados will be the water type Pokemon that we want to keep or if we'll have like a different water type Pokemon because Gyarados has some pretty good stats. But maybe we could have someone with like higher special attack than Gyarados. I really want to battle these guys. These guys over here. Battle me, you coward. Let's see, anyone else around here? No, just seeing a bunch of Magikarps. Hey, can I not walk across to the other side of the thing? I guess the water's too deep over there. Okay, so let's go around like this. Funny how easy it is to avoid the Pokemon in this game. Hey, 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 hey. no running, guys. Battle me. Finally, we got a battle with you. Okay, what in the world are you? You're like a Wiglet. That's so weird. Okay, let's do a tackle, because it's only level four. And, okay, very nice. I wonder if this is considered different from Diglett, or if this is gonna show up as Diglett in the Pokedex. Okay, Pokede this Pokeball might work, it might not. Its HP is still a little high. I like how the Psyducks are right behind us. There's a house over there in the distance. And do we catch it? Whoa, it looks so weird in the water like that. Got a weird, like, bubble on the middle of the screen over here. Okay, but we did catch it, which is very nice. Oh, and we got Wiglet Sand. Garden Eel Pokemon. This Pokemon can pick up the scent of a Veluza, I don't know what that is, just over 65 feet away and will hide itself in the sand. I guess a Veluza is like a predator of this one. Wait, wait, does this mean that this Pokemon turns into Wig Trio instead of Doug Trio? That's so strange. It looks like such, whoa, 288, oh my goodness. So there must be very many Pokemon that you could get in this game. Okay, guys, stay away from me. And I'm gonna make our way back now. Let's head back up over here. And yeah, so it's a good thing that we went down there. Got a bunch of new Pokemon. Man, it's funny. We're gonna go to a school. It's gonna be our first day of school in a moment. And we're gonna learn all about Pokemon. Funny thing is, we're gonna get to class and we're already going to know so much. We're already going to have a pretty strong team. We're going to have so many Pokemon with us. They'll be like, today we're gonna learn about the Pokedex class and we'll be like, I already have so many Pokemon. We'll be like, my Pokedex is already full. That's what'll happen. Okay, there's an item over there. Man, what a big world to explore. Well, it seems pretty big so far at least. Okay, but my Pokemon are getting a little weak. Well, at least my first Pokemon. Okay, nice. We got a Paralyzed Heal and a Potion. Wait, was it a Potion? Sorry, a Pokeball. We got a Pokeball. What's that? Okay, lots of Lechonks over here. I don't want to battle you guys because I already have Lechunks. Okay, of course there's an item back here. Wait, it's gold. Does that mean it's like rare or something? What is this? Protect! Oh, it's a TM. Okay, I don't know if I'll use that move or if I'll teach that to anyone. It could be really useful in certain situations. Wait, are you a new Pokemon? Yeah, we've already got one of you. I don't want to battle you. I'm not interested. A potion, that's fine. And hold on, is this just a closed off area over here? Or does this lead somewhere else? Let's see where we're going over here. Well, you know what? I should stop my recording. I've had a recording going for a long time. The thing is, it's like, when you record, you want to be... If you have a lot of really short recordings, then it takes longer to edit that. Okay, let's take this, another TM. Struggle bug. Oh, I didn't get to read it. It went away too quickly. Wait, wait. Wait, this guy looks weird. What's up with this guy? Why are you turning away from me? Stop turning away from me. You look weird. It's like your eyes are shiny or something. Is there something special about this one? Let's battle it. Let's just see. It has yellow eyes. Does it normally have yellow eyes like that? Level 7. You know what? Let's just defeat it. Because, yeah, we already have this captured. I think that's what that Pokeball symbol there means. Okay, super effective. Defeated. Oh, and a critical hit. Nice. Yes, you're defeated. Okay, and there's some ruins back there. Man, there's so much to explore in this game. I'm, I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. You know, I really did want to play some more Pokemon. So it's very nice to be playing some more Pokemon. Okay, but hold on. Let me stop my recording after we get this item. Then we'll continue. Let's see what this item is. Paralyze Heal. Okay, so I just took a little break so that I could rest my throat so that my throat doesn't give out on me because I have a feeling that this is going to be a long game because Pokemon games, there's normally a lot to them. <gasps> drowsy! Wait. Oh, oh, and those are just those birds over there. Okay, let's go to Drowsy. Yes, yeah, so the evolved form of Drowsy is Hypno. And hold on, isn't Hypno used in a bunch of Friday Night Funkin' mods? I wonder why that is. Okay, this guy's only level five. 
Oh, we're almost dead, so you know what? Let's you round over here. Maybe we should actually swap the Pokemon in our front right now. Oh! Wait, disable? Disable on what? Round? Is it on the move that you just used, or is it random? Okay, yeah, round was disabled. Okay, that's fine. You know, its HP is still a little high, so I'm just gonna do a tackle over here. Oh, boy, that almost defeated it. Okay, use hypnosis. Wait, am I gonna be asleep now? Uh-oh, I'm asleep. I wonder if my Pokemon is still going to be asleep after the battle. Because normally, sleep is a status effect that still lasts after you leave the battle. But I think in Pokemon Legends Arceus, if I'm remembering correctly, because this was a while ago, I think status effects got cleared after a battle in that game, so I wonder if it'll be the same in this game. Let's see what happens. Oh nice, our Magikarp is level 4. Oh, and Drowsy Fur is a thing? It remembers every dream it eats. It rarely eats the dreams of adults because children's are much tastier. That's so weird. It's so funny how it has like a little elephant nose like that too. What a strange creature Drowsy is, isn't it? So weird. And what number is that? 66, very nice. That means Hypno 68. I wonder who 69 is. No, my guy's still asleep. Okay, you know what? Let's put Palmy at the front then. Palmy's at the front now. And yeah, let's just wait. What is that? Is that a Pokemon? This is a Pokemon, isn't it? What what are you, bro? Battle me. Battle me. Go. No, 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 not you, Drowsy. I'll come to this thing, whatever you are. Battle me. Nope. I didn't mean to throw there. Ah, I started a battle with the Drowsy. What's this little thing over here, though? I don't want to battle this guy. Let's just, uh, should I just defeat it or run? You know what? Let's... Ah, oh, man, because Drowsy might actually, like, deal some damage or put us to sleep or something, so I'll just run away. There we go. We ran away safely. Hey, but you're still there, bro. Bro, I don't want to battle you. What in the world is this? Oh! Gimme ghoul coin. Mater Wait. Oh, boy, it goes by so fast I couldn't even read it. Okay, well, we got some kind of item. Okay, now what? Is it just Drowsies around here? So many Drowsies here. Wait. <gasps> I was like, I know there's got to be an item around here. Awakening! Oh, that's so funny that we got an awakening right after being put to sleep. Okay. Wait. You have another one of these coins for me? Give me gold coin five. What in the world are these coin things? And why have I not noticed them before? Is that a trainer over there? Flamingos! The flamingo's charging at me. Wait, are we going to battle that? It's so weird. It doesn't even look like a Pokemon. It just looks like a normal animal. Wait, is it actually just called Flamingo? That is such a lazy name for it. That's funny. Okay, it used copycat, but it failed. Okay, hopefully this doesn't defeat it in a single hit. Okay, nice. Good amount of damage. Okay, now let's just do quick attack or scratch. Oh, both are 40 power, 100% accuracy, but quick attack makes us always go first. Let's use scratch then. Oh, double kick. Oh, that hits hard. Yes, static paralyzed it. Okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, now hopefully we don't just defeat it. I don't want to accidentally defeat it. Okay, we're almost defeated. Now let's see. I like how you can just see the Pokemon moving around in the background. Like, where did that Drowsy just go even? But yeah, since this Flamingo has a status effect active, that means that it should be even easier to catch. So this should be an almost guaranteed catch, right? It'd be so silly if it happened to get away this time. Okay, it seems like catch rate, at least so far, is really high in this game. Like, it doesn't seem very difficult. Oh, should we learn the move charge? Maybe we should. Let's see. Okay, this boosts the power of the next electric type move that you're gonna use, and it also boosts special defense. I guess maybe that's better than Growl, because I don't think that we're really gonna be using Growl, but yeah, let's do that. I gotta sneeze. I gotta... <coughs> oh, excuse me! Okay, oh, that's right! We see the Pokedex entry. This Pokemon apparently ties the base of its neck into a knot so that energy stored in its belly does not escape from its beak. Oh my goodness, yeah, it ties a knot around its neck. That is unbelievable! That is a super interesting type combination. Flying, fighting. Would you like to give it a nickname? No. You know what? I might actually want that with us. I really wonder what its stats are like, because it looks super useful. Okay, but you know what? Uh, I think I've got to send it away. Maybe one day we'll use it. But for now, I'm sending it away because... Whoa, 346! How many Pokemon are in this game? My goodness. Hey, this water looks dangerous, right? I think this water's too steep. Oh, is the Flamingo going to run to me? Flamingo, stay away. Ah, the flamingos are chasing us. Okay, okay, let's stay away from these. We're actually in a bit of a dangerous situation because our Pokemon are starting to take some damage. I should probably go and actually uh, heal up or something. Go to a Poke Center. I hope Poke Centers are free in this game. Confuse Ray! Oh, that's pretty cool. That might be useful. I remember in Pokemon Stadium... Wait! 
What are these sheepy things? Oh, those are, th I thought they were sheep, but they're ghastlies. Wait, is it nighttime or something? It's not nighttime, it's so bright. So what in the world is going on here? Let's see, it's level seven. I'm only level eight. It might be defeating me right now. Let's just use a Thundershock. He used Hypnosis. Ah, your attack missed. Okay, we avoided the attack. Go, Thundershock. Okay, let's try one more Thundershock and then we'll use a Pokeball. Lick, are we dead? One HP left. One Thundershock and... Okay, and is it paralyzed also? It looked like it's also paralyzed. Yeah, it's also paralyzed. Perfect, okay. So we should be getting this Ghastly. So Ghastly evolves into Haunter, and the way that you normally evolve Haunter is you have to trade it, and then it turns into Gengar. So I wonder if in this game, if it's the same, if you have to trade some Pokemon for them to evolve. Because sometimes you have to either trade a Pokemon or trade a Pokemon while they are holding a specific item to make them evolve. Okay, so Ghastly's Pokedex entry. It wraps its opponent in its gas-like body, slowly weakening its prey by poisoning it through the skin. That sounds dangerous. Okay, let's send Ghastly away. Weight 0.2 pounds. Yeah, I think Ghastly is one of the lightest Pokemon. I think also that one Pokemon, like Nato or Nato, that one little bird that evolves into Zatu, that's also a super light Pokemon. Yeah, because I think in uh, Pokemon Stadium too, I think that you could sort Pokemon by like how heavy or how light they are. And oh boy, this must have been a very long time ago. But yeah, I remember looking at that. And I remember also seeing, wait, that's probably a trainer that just wants to battle. So you know what? Maybe we should uh, go, not home, but uh... Actually, let's keep the bird at the front. Let's see how good this Fletchling bird will be if we need to use it. But yeah, I think uh, going back home home or in the direction of home would be a good idea right now because we definitely have to heal up wait who is this this is a new pokemon and it looks like sphinx not sphinx shinx that's the name of it the i think it's gen 4 okay this guy's called choodle i have no idea what type it is is it water or bug or what could it be oh it used water gun okay maybe it's part water then okay let's use another peck over here and man, we gotta go get some more Pokeball soon. Wait, is that a Wooper up there? That looks like a Wooper up there. Okay, we've only got three Pokeballs left. Oh boy, hopefully we don't waste them. Let's see, please get it. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, we got it. Okay, okay. Very nice. Choodle was caught. Choodle, it is a water type. Snapping Pokemon, so it's like a snapping turtle. Its face looks hilarious. Its large front tooth is still growing in. When the tooth itches, this Pokemon will bite another Choodle's horn, and the two Pokemon will tussle. Okay, that was a pretty cool battle. Wait, where did that- Oh, there's a Wooper. It's down there. Is it gonna walk up the wall? There's also a Wooper over here. But let's see, should I maybe grab a Wooper from over here? Can I reach you? Let's go battle me, bro! What? I thought I threw my Pokeball at Okay, I'm like, come on, are we gonna battle or no? Oh, you got the Wild Wooper off guard, nice! Does that mean this is like a sneak attack? Do we get an extra attack or something? That'd be really cool if we could get like a sneak attack on it. You get to attack twice. It was caught off guard and couldn't move. Let's go. Okay, so let's do one more attack. Why is the Wooper this color? Normally Wooper's blue, right? What's going on over here? Okay, great. Tail Whip. Wait, my defense was not lowered. Oh, I guess it's because of my uh, special ability. Every Pokemon has a special ability. So that's pretty cool that our special defense wasn't even lowered for the battle. Okay, these textures actually look almost like Nintendo 64 textures. They basically look like GameCube textures. Like, look at the side of that platform there. This looks like GameCube textures. That's actually so weird that they'd have something like this in this game. Oh wait, someone learned Ember. One of my Pokemon learned Ember. I didn't see who. Oh, this Wooper is a poison ground type instead of water ground. After losing a territorial struggle, Wooper began living on land. The Pokemon changed over time, developing a poisonous film to protect its body. Wow, so it's like evolutionary. In like the evolutionary story of how Wooper changed over time and it has adapted to a different environment now. Okay, number 53. Nice, nice. So we're filling in a bunch of uh, spaces over here. We've got some ideas about like which Pokemon will be where in the Pokedex. Okay, hopefully this over here is going to be a Pokeball. Let's see what item this is. It is Awakening. I don't care about Awakening. We are already awake. Okay, where is that town uh, that we were supposed to try to get to earlier? What's down there? Okay, more flamingos. Got flamingos to my left, flamingos to my right. A okay, whoopers over there, Psyduck's here, whoopers here. Oh, there's a Lechonk. Wait, is that a trainer over there? That looks like a trainer. That looks like a person in the middle of a field there. Looks like he uses fighting type Pokemon. So you know what? We have a flying type Pokemon at the front of our party. That might be a good idea. Let's first get this item over here. Looks like there's an item there. Who are you? You're one of those little scuttlebug things, whatever you're called. Oh, TM? TM Rock Blast. Oh, 
Hurl rocks at your opponent up to five times in a row. That sounds like it might be useful. Okay, you birds. I don't think I care about you guys because I have one of those birds at the front of my party. Wait. For you? Oh, you're just... Yeah, I thought that was that. I thought that maybe that was something else, though. Anything here? I keep thinking that the flowers are Pokemon. I'm the strongest in Area 1 of the South Province. Okay, maybe... I should be afraid. Let's save. Yeah, all my Pokemon right now are pretty weak, but... Let's take him on. Let's battle, bro. Oh, you want to battle? Do you think you can topple me, the mightiest martial artist here? Well, I don't know. I'm just trying to get to school. I'm not ready. You're challenged by Alejandro, the black belt. Let's go. He looks very serious. Sent out. Rock rough. Wait. Is that a rock type dog? I hope it's not a rock type. I hope it's a fighting type because he looks like he has fighting types. Cause... Oh, we learned Ember. That's amazing. Are we like a fire flying type maybe? That would be great. Okay, so you know what? I actually just tried to battle this guy after saving, and he is a little too tough for us right now, because our team is a little bit damaged. He's got this rock-type puppy, and we don't really have anything good against rock-types right now. So maybe we could have won the battle. Wait, is this a tiny spot? Nice, a Lepa Berry. That's lovely. Yeah, so maybe we could have won that battle, but... Uh, it would have taken us a lot of resources to do so, and it would have been a really long battle. So I don't think that it's really worth it right now. Maybe if we get into a better position, then we can do that. Wait, can we climb up here? There's something up there. I see something up there. There's something up there. There's definitely something up there. Okay, I don't know if we can walk up there right now. Maybe we could get around to it. And I don't mean like, hey, one day we'll get around to it. I mean like, quite literally, if we could walk around. Come on, so close. Come on, bro. Come on, bro, you're so close. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta be able to make this. Come on, bro. There's got to be something here that we could do. Go! You're so close, bro. Come on, bro. It just looks like we can climb up, doesn't it? Ah, oh, man. And then we slid all the way down. So silly. Yeah, like, I'm not sure if these platforms, if you're meant to be discouraged from trying to climb up them. But on so many of them, it just seems like you could get so close to making it that it is really tempting. Oh, wait. Actually, it's a uh, much less steep over here. We could probably just walk along like this, and then we could go and get the item over there. Okay, so what is this item going to be? Another TM, perhaps, because it's golden and shiny? Swift! Wait a minute. Don't we already have a Swift? I think that means that we have two Swifts now. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait, and here are the guys that give you those uh, ghoul coins or whatever. Give me it. Thank you. Give me ghoul coin. Oh, that one gave us just one earlier. One of them gave us five. That's quite interesting. Okay, and over here, you gotta keep your eyes open, because in the tall grass, it's actually a bit harder to see if there is a Pokemon there. Like, you might accidentally run into a Pokemon if you're trying to avoid a specific Pokemon that you already have. And Endure! That could be a good move. Like, if someone's doing a move that they charge up, or you know that someone's gonna do a move that might kill you, then you can use that. That might be good. Okay, let's- wait. Is that the kid that we battled before down there? Okay, let's just get this- <gasps> Are those Skitties? Are those Skitties? Wait. No, it's not Skitty, it's something else. Wait a minute, what in the world is this? It's like Bambi, but pink. What in the world are we doing? You got the wild deerling off guard. Oh, okay, okay. You know what, let's try Ember. How strong will that be? Okay, pretty, oh, it's super effective. Okay, that's nice. Wild deerling was caught off guard and couldn't move. I wonder if it's like a grass type then or something. Okay, and. How strong are these moves? 40 and 35. Let's use Peck then. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Use Growl. Okay, and I think Peck is physical, so that's good. We probably shouldn't kill it. Oh, I guess that's a Pokemart over there in the distance. Okay, good thing Growl was used on us. And this is our final Pokeball. I really hope that we can catch this Deerling over here. Let's go. And can we catch it? Please tell me we can catch it. And come on. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Deerling was caught. Okay, let's read the Pokedex entry. Come on, give me the Pokedex entry. Okay, we got Deerling here. Deerling have different scents depending on the season. In early spring, these Pokemon give off a delicate, sweet, and calming scent. Okay, let's send it to the boxes. How many Pokemon do we have in our Pokedex? We probably have quite a few. Oh my goodness, that's number 190. And yes, there are quite a few Pokemon that you can get in this game. Rolls! I need Rolls and I'm out of Pokeballs! Oh my goodness! Rolls is one of the best Pokemon in the game, especially its evolved form. No, I need those guys. No, this is so sad. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I don't want that Ralts to get away. I really want to get that Ralts if we have the chance. Okay, this should be a... Wait, is it Poké Center? 
shop and like online battles all together? Oh, I see X-Many over here. Yeah, come on, I need some Pokeballs. We don't have a lot of money though, do we? This here is a Pokemon Center. You can come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon. But I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Look at how laggy the people are moving in the background. You do see this in a few games, but this actually looks ridiculous where sometimes this happens. This happens in some parts of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And if you add a lot of mods to Super Mario Odyssey, this happens where things in the background, they have super low frame rates. Happy to be of service and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Is this the shop owner? Here on my left is the Pokemon counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs or potions. Hello, we accept payment in both cash and in league points. LP, one LP is worth one Poke Dollar. And what's this? And this to my right is the technical machine, TM for sure. Wait, it's, you can make TMs? Okay, you pay in LP. Oh my goodness, that is so cool that you can make TMs. Okay, yeah, because when I, whenever I played Pokemon, I'd almost always save up my TMs and try to keep them for special occasions or really special Pokemon. But if you can make TMs, that's amazing. Oh, and I could have some league points, thanks. You get league points for winning battles? Plus 5,000 league points, oh my goodness. Some of these too, wait. You received lots of Pokemon materials, thank you so much. At the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers and find yourself some adventuring companions. This is so cool, wow. Had a rough adventure? Get to a Pokemon Center. Sometimes you know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. Mnemonix help out, here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Wait, wait, I don't get it. Send out your lead Pokemon with R. What in the world are you talking about? Pressing the R button is a quick and easy way to tell your lead Pokemon. All right, buddy, let's go. Once you give the go ahead, your Pokemon will be set out on its own to battle nearby Pokemon or pick up items it finds in the area. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I love the Poke Center theme that's playing here. It's actually a very nice version of it. When your Pokemon starts a battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders. It can battle on its own with auto battles. Wow, so your Pokemon can just keep battling while you explore? Oh my goodness, that's super cool. So your Pokemon can choose its own Okay, so I guess if you wanna like train your Pokemon, you can do that, okay. Let's heal up first. Yes, oh, I didn't even pick, I just picked the default option by uh, default. I just picked the top option. I don't know if that was the right one. Wait, what are these? Oh, I'm like, what are the numbers? But it's just like they're numbered one to six because that's the order of your Pokemon. Flushing and the rest of your team should be all better now. Oh, by the way, did you know? When you don't know where to go next, you could ask for help at the Poké Center. The staff can give you tips about what you might want to try. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can go there if you're lost. Did you know that already? Well, I hope it comes in handy. Come back and see us whenever you need to. Thank you so much, Nurse Joy. Okay, now you, sir. Hello, sir. Nice haircut you've got over there. Nice modern looking haircut over there with the short sides. We need Pokeballs. Wait, if you buy, I wonder if you buy 10 at a time or more than 10 at a time, if you also get a Premier Ball. There you are, thanks for shopping with us. Have one premier ball on the house, let's go. Okay, does it work also if you buy 10 Pokeballs? Let's see, 10. Yeah, okay, so if you buy at least 10 Pokeballs, I don't think that it works with nine. I think if you buy at least 10 at a time, actually maybe it also works with nine. Okay, let's see, is this, uh, let's get another 10. Let's get another 10, that'll be fine. Because our healing items and other stuff we don't really use, wait. Oh, okay, we have five of these already. I think that's fine. Let's get out of here. I really want to go get that Ralts. There's a Ralts over here with my name on it. Where did it go? Ralts, where are you? Where are you, Ralts? What in the world is this? Where's the Ralts? Where's the Ralts? The Ralts is gone. No, I can't believe that we are out of Pokeballs. Okay, now there's this little puppy thing over here. Fido is its name, that's a nice funny name for it. Okay, let's use an ember over here. And, oh, that doesn't do too much damage at all, really. Okay, let's use one or two more, I guess one more of these and then maybe a weak attack. Or maybe we'll just use a Pokeball. Uh, maybe we could also use a quick attack because it did use a you-know-what on us. It used Growl on us. So let's go like this, quick attack. Okay, it's almost defeated. Okay, so it's really good that it used Growl on us. Wait, 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 did it use Growl on us? Wait, if it uses Growl on us, I think our uh, ability is that Growl doesn't lower our, is it that we can't have our attack lowered or we can't have our defense lowered? That's the special ability of this Pokemon. I can't remember which it was. Hey, okay, Fido was caught, lovely. This Pokemon is smooth and moist to the touch. Interesting description. Yeast in Fido's breath induces fermentation in the Pokemon's vicinity. Oh, it's a fairy type. I thought it was poison for a second because I saw that it was like pink or purple colored over there. That's interesting. 
<laughs> has a kind of cute look on its face. Okay, I guess I don't have you, so I'll get one of you. I don't have an Iglypuff. This is the baby form of Jigglypuff. I think this originally came out in Gen 2, actually, because Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, the evolved form of Jigglypuff, they've been around since Gen 2. Wait, is this super effective? Don't kill it. Okay, good, good, good. We didn't, we didn't defeat it. Okay. Yeah, but, um, I think Iglybuff, the baby form of Jigglypuff, I think this came out in Gen 2, if I remember correctly, in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Wait, I was put to sleep. I wasn't even paying attention to how we were being attacked. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's use a Pokeball over here. I need the Ralts, though. Oh, I want the Ralts so bad, because Ralts, it's final evolved form. Well, actually, I think now it has, like, multiple final evolved forms, but it could turn into Gardevoir, and Gardevoir is so incredibly powerful. It has fantastic stats. Wait, who wants to learn Bite? Let's see, someone wants to learn Bite, and Bite's actually- Yes, bro! Yes, bro, let's go! Okay, that's amazing. Okay, let's get rid of Leer, then. Let's do this. There we go, very nice! A Iggly Buff Balloon Pokemon. Its body has a faintly sweet scent and is bouncy and soft. If it bounces even once, it cannot stop. Ah, that's sweet. And it weighs 2.2 pounds. Yeah, so it's definitely heavier than Ghastly. Weighs under one pound. I think it was 0.2 pounds. According to the Pokedex here. Whoa, oh, oh, I thought that that was something else in the water over there, but that's just one of those over there. Oh, and you know what? Maybe having a water Pokemon with us would actually be a good idea because we don't have any... Rawls! I need you! I am not coming on too hard and I'm not clingy. Don't worry, guys. I'm not actually like that. Okay, wait. Ralts' ability is... Oh, oh, Ralts traces the ability of the Pokemon that it faces up off against. That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't want to kill it by accident, so let's use a quick attack. Oh, I'm asleep! Okay. Okay, so I guess... Wait, does it know teleport? Is it gonna teleport away? Okay, good, it didn't use teleport. Because I remember in Gen 3, when you first face off against Ralts, like when you see wild Ralts, they often use teleport, and then they teleport away from the battle. Please don't teleport, Ralts. Please don't teleport. Growl, that's fine. Fine, I just need this Pokemon to wake up, grab a brush, put on a little makeup. Okay, and... We woke up good, now we can use Quick Attack. Hold on, let me have a sip of my water. Hmm... Actually dealt a lot of damage there, so you know what? Let's... Let's use a Premier Ball, because I think having Ralts inside a Premier Ball would look even cooler, because this is gonna be a Pokemon that we're gonna be using, so it'll be pretty cool to use a Premier Ball. Hopefully we can catch it. Come on, baby! Yes, baby! There we go! Ralts was caught! Thank you so much! I love you, Ralts! Ah, oh, how great is that? Okay, we're definitely having Ralts with a Psychic Fairy type. The horns on its head provide a strong power that enables it to sense people's emotions. Let's give it a nickname, yes. Let's name it Wally, and this is a tribute- wait, was Wally from Gen 3 like this, or with IE at the end? Yeah, okay, we're calling Ralts Wally- wait, 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 add to your party, yes, add to party. Okay, who are we gonna get rid of? Let's get rid of this weird spider guy over here. And yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, how great is that? Yeah, but we're naming him Wally in reference and to pay homage to- Is it- is that how the word is pronounced? Pay homage? I don't think it's pronounced pay homage. I, I'm guessing it's pronounced pay homage. We're gonna pay homage to Wally from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Because Wally had a Ralts, and Ralts is the super cool Pokemon. I love Ralts. I'm so glad that we got that Ralts over there. Okay, now that we have that Ralts, I think we're ready. We can continue through the game. And you know what? Hold on. I keep pressing this button for the map instead of this button to check my Pokemon. Hey, this guy over here, doesn't this look like that one enemy from Super Mario 3D Land, except it's red instead of blue? But yeah, I really want to train our Wally over here. Ah, I'm so glad that we got that Wally over there. That's amazing. Wait, what are you doing over here? Who are you? A great spot! Yes, it is. Puka Center is a great meetup spot for when you're getting together with friends. Yes. Hello, I'd like to heal my Pokemon, please. Can I register my birthday? Oh my goodness, that's so cool too. I wonder if they give you a gift on your birthday. Need your Pokemon for a few seconds? It's so far away from my birthday though. It's like nine or so months to my birthday right now. Hey, come on, heal my Pokemon. Please, please, I'd like my Pokemon to be healed. Thank you very much, Nurse Joy. By the way, did you know there are all kinds of handy functions registered to your directional buttons? Check them out. Oh, I didn't know that. Use emotes, open camera app. Change outfit or look, check notices. Cool! You already know that. Wow, thanks for the tip. I actually didn't know that. Wait, so there's like a 
And remote- Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Is this like Pokemon Snap now? I thought the, the camera would be looking at us. Wait, is it for taking pictures of Pokemon? Are right, you take a selfie with Pokemon. Okay, and you can change filters. Cool. Oh, cool! Yeah, let's take a selfie with our friend over here. Wait, do I press A or what? How do I take the photo? I don't know if I took any pictures or not. I remember when I was a kid- Oh, this is such a funny story. I remember when I was a kid, I was given a camera Let's take our time. I was given a camera as a kid, but there was no film in it. And I would like try and frame the best shots that I could in my camera. I'd like look at such cool things and try and frame it so well and take a good picture. But there's no film in it, so I couldn't save any of the photos. And my parents, they told me, they're like, yeah, we don't have any film. So yeah, you're not going to be able to have any photos. Like I could just press the button and like roll that wheel just for fun, but it wouldn't actually take any photos. I remember as a kid thinking like, oh, I wonder if maybe one day if we'd actually be able to take these photos, maybe there'll be a way to actually recover these photos. But of course there isn't. Well, unless there's like time travel or something one day, then people can look back at this and go, oh, wow, isn't that funny? You can actually go back and see them. Our desserts will melt your heart. No, thank you. I don't want dessert. Dessert is for children. Okay, let's see. What is this? First one out. Wait. Oh, yeah, I see there's an item over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. I saw Baby Chansey off to the side on the mini-map over here. That means that I could go catch one? Because I saw it on the mini-map. Like, there's a lot to do in this town, actually. Should I go speak with these people? My paralyzed heels! Oh, did they come from Amazon over here? Did you order them from Amazon? Everyone, please leave a comment saying thank you to Jeff Bezos for Amazon. You know about Pelipper? Yeah, it's the ball form of Wingle, and I have a Wingle, actually. Wait, is that an item up there? Yeah, wait. Yeah, there is an item up there. Wait, 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 wait. Do we want to start going there? Yeah, because our town's over there. South Province Area 1. And that guy that we saw earlier, I think when we first tried to battle him, it said, uh, he said that he is the strongest trainer in all of Area 1, the guy with the rock puppy. Oh, it's these guys over here. Oh my goodness, I remember them from Gen 3. Let's go, battle me. Battle me. I'm ready. Come on, battle me. Bros! Why are you bros not battling? What are you doing? Okay, how about like this? Go, battle them. Bros, come here, battle me. Bros, I fell in the water. Managed to scramble back out of the water. Bro, you gotta fight me. Fight me, bro. Fight me. Go. These guys not want to battle or something? Go, battle. That's so weird. They're right there, but they won't battle. I don't know if I can get them to battle me. Maybe we actually can't. Oh, me? I go to school every day and learn lots and lots about Pokemon and things. Like, did you know that every Pokemon can remember up to four moves at a time? Okay, I imagine that a lot of people here, academy students who live here in Los Platos, don't bother with the dorms. We commute to school each day directly from home. The hill does make it pretty tough. Yeah, I would also commute to school instead of living on the dorms. Hey, but, yeah, because living on a dorm, oh my goodness, it is so expensive. Like, you could definitely save a lot of money by living from home and trying to eat as many home-cooked meals as possible. Wait, what are you saying? It does take a lot of walking to get around here. <laughs> hey, let's have a chat. Just speak to me. Wait, you don't want to talk? Is that all you say? You're a literal NPC. All you do is walk around and say, sure does take a lot of walking to get around here. <laughs> Wonder if I could lure him like out of the way. Hold on, because he keeps wanting to walk to the middle of the path. I kind of want to push him out of the way. Let's go. Hey, 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 no going this way. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, what, you want to go around? You want to go around, do you? I kind of wish this was Grand Theft Auto right now. They should combine Grand Theft Auto and Pokemon. How good of a game would that be? Oh my goodness. I think that would make for a fantastic game. Okay, but something that I was going to say earlier is that I imagine that a lot of the people in this town, they say like basic beginner stuff, like if you're brand new to- Wait a minute! How did you get over here again so quickly? You were back there a moment ago. Okay, well, let's head up here. What do you have to say, ma'am? To school, is it? Off to school now, dear! Careful on the road! And remember to jot down things so you won't forget what you've accomplished! Yes, let's go. Let's go. Oh! I'm like, what is that red line that is appearing over there? Wait, are these Pokemon? Hey, that's just those birds over there. Those birds aren't a problem. Man, when we first got a Lechunk, I'm like, this is such a cool Pokemon. But when you see them everywhere, you're like, these are just common swine! No offense to them. Oh, but yeah, if it's like a really common Pokemon, then you're like, oh, maybe it's not as cool. But you know what? You know what? Even then, like, as a kid, when I played through, it was either Fire Red or Pokemon Blue. 
But I really liked Raticate, even though it was a super common Pokemon. Oh, this is the, wait, is it called Bonesley? It's the baby form of Pseudo Wudo. And you know what? Pseudo Wudo is such a great name for a Pokemon. Wait, what attack should we use? Let's use Confusion or Double Team Stronger. Or sorry, Confusion or Disarming Voice, I mean. Uh, but yeah, let's use this. Wait, what was the last thing I was saying? Oh yeah, Pseudo Wudo is such a great name for a Pokemon. Oh wait, is it gonna use the same move back on me? Oh, that's so funny, it uses the same move back on me. Ah, it only does one damage, not very effective, nice. But... Use Fake Tears, that's an interesting attack, what does that do? Special Defense, Harshly, harshly Fell, that's really interesting. You know what? I was actually just listening to the Mikaela Peterson podcast, and she was saying that there's actually a chemical in women's tears that activates pain receptors in men. I think that that's what she said, something like that. And that was really interesting. I hadn't heard that before. But yeah, as I was saying, oh my goodness, I've got like a million topics on my mind right now. But, oh wait, let's first read this description and then I'll talk about the name Sudowoodoo. In order to adjust the level of fluids in its body, it exudes water from its eyes. This makes it appear to be crying. Interesting, it almost looks like one of those little chrono guys from Sonic Frontiers, doesn't it? The way that its face is like that, kind of like the blank expression. And it almost looks like a stone or a rock. It is a rock type. But yeah, Sudowoodoo, when you first see that Pokemon, you think that it's a tree because it's shaped like a tree. But it's actually a rock type Pokemon, which is super interesting. Wait. Have we caught one of these before? I know that we've seen them and we've battled against them before, but I don't know if we've caught these before. What is this? Cheek pouch. That's an interesting ability. Got it. Oh, I guess we haven't caught one of these before. Okay, let's try Psychic then. Let's see how good this will be. Confusion. Or sorry, did I say Psychic? I meant Confusion. It used Tail Whip. That lowers our defense over here. Let's do another Confusion and that shouldn't defeat it. Oh, and I gotta stop my recording and continue another one. Because, yeah, if your recording gets too long and it crashes, then you lose all that gameplay, and that would be absolutely horrifying. Because what would you even do if you lose, like, 30 or 40 minutes of gameplay? What would you do? You know what? Right after I catch this Pokemon, I'm going to end my recording just so it doesn't crash. Because usually I stop my recordings, like, every 20 or 30 minutes just to make sure that we're not losing anything. Okay, perfect. We got this guy. Squavit! It stores berries in its cheeks. When there are no berries to be found, Squavit will stuff pebbles into its cheeks to stave off its cravings. I don't know if that is a good strategy for when you're hungry. Oh, I'm hungry! I'm just gonna put rocks in my mouth, so I'm not going to be hungry anymore. I don't know if that is a good idea. Oh, I see a shiny light in the distance over there, and it's not like- Wait, 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 what is that? What in the world? Looks like this Pokemon's wearing sunglasses. What are you? What in the world are you? Like some kind of rat or something. It's like a rat in sunglasses. Shrewdle, is that its name? Oh my goodness. Wait, look at its level, level eight. It's a higher level than we are. Oh, and it knows bite. Wait, is it a dark type? Oh no, we're almost dead. Confusion. And, oh, it's super effective. Okay, yeah, so it's probably like poison or poison something. Okay, let's uh, return Wally. Let's keep our Fletchling out for a bit. We could bring out Fire Dino later too. But I like that we're still wearing this hat the whole time. Oh yeah, that's right, we have to go to school. How could I have almost forgotten that we have to go to school? Okay, this is a pretty strong Pokemon that we're facing off against over here. Let's do a quick attack. That should be a nice weak attack, right? Yeah, I think quick attack will be a nice weak attack. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. Okay, good. Very good. Fury Snipes, please miss. Oh my goodness, now it attacks us two to five times and every hit does some damage. Okay, come on, come on, come on. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Okay, let's go with a Pokeball over here, and I think we'll save the Premier Balls for if there's like a really cool Pokemon that we see that we want to catch. But yeah, Ralts, uh, I'm so glad to have Ralts. I also really like our Fire Dino, our Fire Dino Pokemon. I'm so happy with that choice. And this bird over here, Fletchling, is pretty cool. I'm guessing it's gonna be a Fire Flying type maybe, because it knows Ember. A Shrewdle, Poison, Normal type. That's an interesting type combination. Though usually a mellow Pokemon, it will sink its sharp, poison-soaked front teeth into any object that... that anger it? Oh, that anger it instead of that angers it. I guess they're talking about, like, plural, because Pokemon is probably the plural. That sounds weird to me, that anger it instead of that angers it, because... It. That makes it sound like they're talking about just one, so that makes me think that they should say angers. Anyways, causing paralysis in the object of its ire. Okay, and where's this guy? 202. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's by Wiglet. What a weird Pokemon, Wiglet. Okay, let's see. Hey, look out, Piggy. Look out, Piggy. I'm coming over here, Piggy. Hey, give me that. There we are. Paralyze you. Oh, that's too bad that it's not a better item. Oh, wait, that's the town right there, right? 
What is the town called? It's not like Los Poyos. It's something like that. I know Los Poyos. Uh, I think that a lot of people might know the phrase Los Poyos from Breaking Bad. Los Poyos Hermanos. Means like the Chicken Brothers. That was a restaurant in the series Breaking Bad. I don't know if that's a real restaurant, too. If anyone has ever been to a real restaurant called Los Pollos Hermanos, you guys could let me know in a comment. Okay, let's get that over there. Another item over here, just avoiding these squirrels. I don't want to fight you, I don't want to fight you. Don't come close, don't come close. Why are you crying? It looks like it's crying. I almost interacted with it. Wait, but there's our school up there. Okay, do we want to go to the school? Or you know what, let's look around here. What are you? You're like an owl or something. Wait, who's at the front of my party right now? Oh yeah, we want someone else at the front of the party. Let's put Fire Dino back in the front. Battle me now! Oh my goodness, I threw the Pokeball right at its face. Are you caught off guard now? Sw Wait, how do you even pronounce that? Spoopa! Let me give you a... Let me give you an ember over here. Let's see how you like this. Ah! Oh man, that was too good. No, I wanted to catch it. I didn't know that'd be super effective. Oh no. Okay, Magikarp's level 8. Which I guess is good. But man, I wanted one of those Spoopas. Where are the other spoopas? We need some more spoopas. Oh! Oh, those are Pokemon over there. They almost look like Pokeballs. They almost look like Voltorbs, which is kind of funny. <gasps> Shiny, that means berry. Yeah, orange berry. There we go. I wonder if there's a place where you could plant berries in this game. I'd really like to go and plant berries somewhere. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty steep over there. wonder if we'll be able to make it over there. I wonder if that's something that's like later in the game. Oh! Viking's real simple. Oh wait, no, that's a lady actually. Oh boy, do we want to battle you? Wait, if you're a hiker, and it looks like quite an adult lady. She looks like she's much older than my character over here. So you know what? If you're a hiker, you probably have rock type, so you might actually be a really tough challenge. You know what? Let's battle, though. I'd like to battle you. Wait. I'll tell you all you need to know about hiking. Rule one, work those legs. Rule two, work those legs. That's such a funny line. I can imagine that, uh... People taking screenshots of that and using that in a bunch of places. Okay, Hiker Lucia. Okay, she sent out Rolly Coley. It's like Rolly Poly Oly. Um, what am I gonna do against you though? Oh, it's only level seven. Okay, that's not too bad. Wait, I wonder if Bite will be normally effective or not very effective. Please tell me this is normally effective. Come on. Yeah, that's a nice hit over there. Uh oh, smoke screen. Wait, does that make my accuracy go down? Okay, my accuracy fell. So you know what? Let's swap right away. And who do we need? Who will be good? Ah, uh, nobody really has any good attacks. I guess maybe Lechonk might be good, because maybe the fairy attack will be okay. I don't know what fairy is good against, and what fairy's weakness is either. Okay, tackle. Okay. Hey, you use just a tackle. That's not bad. I'll use a disarming voice over here. Wait! Oh, and it looks like she only has one Pokemon in the top right corner, I just noticed. Okay, almost defeated. Hey, it used Tackle. Okay, it looks like Lechonk is finishing off this one over here. Yeah, in the top right there, you can see that she has just one Pokeball. And there you go, Roly Coley is defeated. What a funny name. It kind of reminds me of that one Pineco Pokemon. What does Pineco evolve into? Fortress, I think that's what it evolves into. Okay. You want to know the third and fourth rules? There are none! It's all legs, kiddo! That's so good! $420 in prize money. Very nice. Thank you for the money, ma'am. Climbing mountains means tackling some slopes. I'm sure even a kiddo like you can make it up a hill. Like the one leading into Mezagoza if you try. Yes, I will try that. Like I'm standing at a very strange height compared to her right now. Okay, I think that's enough of this. Okay, let's get going over here. That's that's enough of that. Okay, everybody. Psyduck's up here and some of those. Let's just get this right here. Another TM, I hope. Swift. Why do I keep getting Swift? There's like Swifts to be collected everywhere. Do you fall here? Don't fall! Oh man! Oh, now there's a bunch of fish here all of a sudden. Well, I guess, uh, Magic Herbs. Oh, whoa, 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 And hold on, and hold on, and there's one of those Pond Skater guys. Let me battle the Pond Skater guy. No, not Magikarp. Yes, no, 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 come here. Aim at that guy. Go, battle me. And? Okay, I'm like, come on, are we gonna battle him or not? I remember these guys from Gen 3. They're near the beginning of the game. Sir Skip. Let's use round or bite. Wait, that's 60, that's 60. Let's use this because maybe they might flinch. Oh, you're using water gun. Oh, that's super effective. Oh, this isn't good. How strong is bite? Not very strong. You know what? Did I swap just so we take less? Nah, I'll just heal myself after. We do have lots of healing things. I don't have to save up all my healing things forever. Hey, okay, Quick Attack did only two damage, so that's good. Bite, 
almost finished you off. Now we should be able to get you with a Pokeball. 32 Pokeballs left. Well, sorry, 31 now, because we're throwing one right now. And we also have two Premier Balls. Okay, hey, hopefully this catches, because your HP is low. Nice, we're at an almost 100% catch rate. I think only one Pokeball has ever failed. So we're doing pretty good over here. Nice that you also get experience for catching a Pokemon, that's great. They usually live on ponds, but after an evening shower, they may appear on puddles in towns. Looks like a pretty cute Pokemon, cute little spider. Wait a minute, oh boy, I remember seeing this one children's cartoon that my sister was watching when she was little. What was it called? I think Little Miss Spider? Oh boy, I just had a memory unlocked from that. It's like seeing that Pokemon just unlocked a memory. It reminded me a little bit of that show. That was weird. Okay, let's see. Are we gonna be going to the town now? Or sorry, to the school now? There's all kinds of stuff around here. Okay, lots of those hop-up guys over here. A potion over here. Wait, who's that over there? Is that a trainer to battle? I wonder if that's gonna be a trainer to battle over there. There's a wall going around here. What are we going to want to do? What if we go on the other side of the wall? No wall can hold me down. Oh, maybe we could head down here. I wonder if this is going to lead to like some kind of cave or something. What could be down here? There is a little suspicious down here, isn't it? It's so cool how you can press B to go like that. Ah, oh, but then you start crouching after that. It's like you do that cool uh, dive like that, but then you seem to go kind of slow after that. Uh, it's just a bunch of Psyducks and Magikarps swimming around here. Don't really care too much for them. Wait, unless... Um, unless we could do something like this, maybe. Wait, let's bring this guy to the front. Can I make you battle them? Go! Can you defeat those? Oh, look at him go! Look at him go! Wait, and do we all get experience? Yeah! Oh boy, what a guy! What a guy! He's going around and defeating... He's like electrocuting all the Pokemon in here. That's great! Look at that! We keep getting experience. Oh man, this is amazing. Wait, I wonder if you use up your uh, PP when you do this. Like, he use moves like this. That's actually such a good way to get experience. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I could just sit back and relax while this guy takes out all these Pokemon. The Psyduck's like, question mark? What's going on? Hmm. But look at this, man. Oh my goodness. Everyone's just getting destroyed here. Keep going, bro. Keep going, bro. Come on, come on, come on. There are a few more over there. I'll just send you over there and I'll just be on my way up. You could defeat them though, okay? You can do it, right? Right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, you're doing great. Oh, he did take a bit of damage. That's actually great, though. Oh, my goodness. Get quite a bit of experience for that. Well, actually, you probably get less experience than a normal battle. I'm guessing you do. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing you do. Okay, I don't know if there's any need to stay on this side of the wall, so let's stay on a normal side of the wall over here. And now, are you a trainer that wants to battle? Any trainer worth their salt knows knows what? Pokemon right in front of you. Do you know that? You know what? I'll battle you. Even though I've got this electric guy at my front, let's battle you like this. Another older lady. Pop quiz! What happens when a Pokemon's HP runs out? Pokemon faints. That's what happens. It's funny that we're playing as a kid, so these ladies, they look so much older than my character over here. Oh, slack off! A nice Gen 3 Pokemon. Gen 3 might probably be my favorite generation of Pokemon ever. I absolutely loved Ruby and Sapphire as a kid. Oh my goodness, I would play that all the time. Oh nice, you used Encore, that's fine, that's fine. I'll keep using this attack, that's fine, I don't mind using that. Let's take a look at our Pokemon to our little electric rat over here. It's like a newer version of Pikachu that's combined with Ursaring or something. But yeah, um, something that I really liked about Pokemon Ruby, I remember playing that game when I was taking swimming lessons as a kid. And then, wait, does this lady have any more Pokemon or no? Oh, that's it. Okay, well, that's easy. Okay, hold on. Let me finish this swimming story. Let's just see what this lady has to say over here. The answer is, as you can see, they get too exhausted to fight. Yeah, $420 in prize money. Very nice. We have to say, when a Pokemon loses all its HP and faints, you can't make it better with a potion. You've got to take it to a Pokemon Center. Or you could use a revive. Come on. Come on. We're not Pokemon amateurs over here. We know better than that. Yeah, but uh, I remember going to swimming lessons as a kid. I was playing Pokemon Ruby, and every time that we'd come in, it was like almost every day that we had swimming lessons. It was like, I don't know, probably like two or four times a week or something like that. Then, oh, here's another uh, trick. Wait, he almost looks like he's doing some like Naruto ninjutsu over here. Let's battle him too. And yeah, I had a friend in swimming class that I met in swimming class there. I came to Mesagosa to make some deliveries, but let's have a quick battle. All right, sir. Yeah, and to my friends, every time I would tell them like, hey, now my Pokedex has this many Pokemon. I have this many Pokemon now. And my friends are so impressed at how many Pokemon I had. 
how many Pokemon I was catching. Okay, so we're facing off against some kind of bird. I haven't seen this bird. You know what? This has happened a few times in a few battles where the camera, I guess it kind of glitches out and it lets you see under the level. Like, I don't think that that's intentional, but it is something that does happen in some games. Okay, so it's nice that he has a flying type so we can take it out in a single hit. Does he have more or is that it? Oh, that's it. So many people, they have only one Pokemon. It's so weird. And he laughs. He's like, ho, ho, guess I delivered you a win. You are actually hilarious. What a good guy. $552 in prize money. That's what happens when you have a job. You have more actual money. Oh my goodness. As it goes, it's so massive, it's easy to get lost if you don't check your map app. Yes. Oh, oh, and before we go into the school... Wait, is this the school? I think this is the school. Been having some nice battles. Yeah, do you want to have a battle with me, bro? I'll have a battle with you right now. Hello there! I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice battles? Well, good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1 of South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far, you've defeated four trainers here. Yes! On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. We get LP Thunder Wave. Okay, that might be useful for catching Pokemon. Oh, and they're holding this, uh... This in, uh, other areas as well. Okay, cool. Hello, uh, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yes, I'd like to heal my Pokemon, please. A stitch in time saves nine. Interesting. That last move was fantastic. I taught it to my Pokemon with a TM. Uh, should we buy anything else? Maybe we can buy some stuff. Let's see. What do you have for sale? I'd like to buy some stuff, please. We've got 21 potions, 31 Pokeballs. You know what? We have quite a bit of money, so let's buy another 10 Pokeballs. Maybe we'll be able to get, uh, great balls soon, actually. Oh, nice. And we also get the one premier ball because we bought 10. Very nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Wait, is this right here? I was gonna say our house. Is this our school over? Oh, I walked into a Pokemon! I didn't even realize because my camera was facing the other way. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting to get jump scared. Wait, that's a big Lechonk. Like the biggest Lechonk we've ever seen. And I don't want to battle right now. Yeah, I'll defeat you anyways though. I wonder if there's like a daycare center. Oh my goodness. It has super high special defense. Okay, you know what? Let's swap then. Two. Okay, it's a normal type. You know, let's send out Wally, even though this might not be a good idea. Maybe Wally will get some more experience for being in the battle. I'm not sure if that is how it works. Hey, okay, let's see. What attack are you gonna do, bro? Tackle or something? Gluttony, what's that? Oh, I copied its ability. Okay, it uses disarming voice. That's not very effective, right? Oh, I guess it's just normally effective. Okay, let's see. Confusion and this one. Okay, this one's a bit stronger and it may also confuse the target. Oh, I could also use double team right now. Actually, using double- oh, okay, never mind. Oh, maybe double team would have been the better move. Oh, I'm a little scared at, uh, how hard we might get hit over here. Let's see, because we really want Ralts to get some experience. Come on, so close. Yes, it's confused. Okay, if it hurts itself in confusion, that's amazing. Let's see, look at the little birdies going around. I guess they're like little ducks. Confused? Ah, still use Tail Whip. Okay, but we should be able to finish it off with one more confusion now. Then hopefully get a lot of experience, and hopefully we have some strong Pokemon. You know what? I just thought of another really good idea. Sometimes we come across those big flocks of birds, and when we see a big flock of birds like that, we could just keep this electric guy at the front, and then he could take out the birds really easily, because he could do, like, Thundershock or something and take them all out very easily. That'll actually be a good idea. Yeah, I didn't really think to do that before, because, yeah, you could press the R button to send out a uh, Pokemon like that. Okay, now what's this? Did we make it? Is our friend going to be here all of a sudden? I think this is the school that we have to go to. I'm actually surprised that the textures don't look more HD. That's a pretty huge door. And the person's standing by it like this. Are we allowed to come in? Why is the door not open? Oi! CX Mini! It's our friend. Hello, friend. How do you do? Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you... Wait. How about you show me how much you all have learned in a battle? Let's do it! I'm ready. All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, ZX Manny, let's have us a fruitful battle. Wait, but I still never use that legendary Pokemon. What's going on with that? Okay, time to battle our classmate and friend and neighbor over here. Come on now, let me see your Pokemon. we are challenged by Pokemon trainer Nimona. She's got the Poke Center right behind her. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot that she has the grass type starter over here. What level is it? You seem like you're getting better at this, so now I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time! Okay, here Pokemon's only level 8 though. So that's not very effective. Quick Attack is normally effective. You can also swap. You know what? Let's just uh, swap, because this will be super effective. Uh, I was 
thinking of maybe sending out Wally, but I'll just go like this. We can just have a nice, easy battle over here. Wonder what our second Pokemon's gonna be. Well, look, there's a Quillfish up there. Well, there was. Not a real Quillfish, it was just a picture of one. I used Tail Whip, that's fine. My defense goes down, that's okay. These starters must be new, right? Like, these starters can't have also been in other Pokemon games, right? Because in Pokemon Legends Arceus, I don't think that they had new starters. You really work your type matchups well. I can tell how badly you want to win. Yeah, we want to win so badly right now. Okay. Wally levels up. Very nice. Wally wants to learn Hypnosis. Should I learn Hypnosis? You know, let's see what other moves we know, and maybe we could replace a move. Hypnosis has only 60% accuracy. That's the thing that's so sad about it. But I think I'd rather have Hypnosis than Growl, because Hypnosis, it might be useful if we want to catch a wild Pokemon, if we want to put it to sleep, give it a status effect. Actually, I think Thunder Wave would be better. Wait, she's about to send out Palmy. Wait, Palmy is uh, the guy that we have, right? Hold on. Palmy's this electric guy, right? Yeah, the electric guy. Do we have anything good against electric? I don't think we have anything that's particularly good against electric. Wow, doing even better than I expected. You're legit, ZX Betty. What a great line. I like that. I like hearing that from this lady over here. All right, so, did we give her an ember or a bite? I guess, oh, they'd probably both be just as strong because 40 times 1.5 is 60. This one's also 60. This one might make the target flinch. This one might give the target a burn. Let's go for a bite first. Battling you is a blast. I think I better pull out my ace in the hole. Wait, what do you have? What's your trick? Whoa, what is that? What is that? She's got some kind of special Pokeball? Is she gonna catch my Pokemon? Wait, what in the world are you doing? What? You are a statue now! You've got a golden diamond above your head! You've got a brand new light bulb over here! You are the Albert Einstein of Pokemon! Okay, now I'm paralyzed. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait, 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 what's going on? Are you gonna be like super strong now? Terrestalizing is always a solid strategy! It gives move of it gives moves of the Pokemon type more powerful! It makes them more powerful. Okay, Thundershock will probably hurt a lot then, right? Oh, I was expecting that to be, uh, <laughs> much stronger, actually. Um, but let's see, we are paralyzed, so we might be in trouble. Let's just use Ember. Ember should finish it off. Yeah, I'm expecting it to be faster now, because we are paralyzed. This will almost defeat us. Oh, it was a critical hit, so really, really almost defeat us. Okay, now that should finish it off. Perfect, we finished it off. There we go. That was a good fight. Goodbye, you little teddy bear thing. That's really interesting what they did there. Do, do you have like, is there like some new game mechanic now? To like, boost your Pokemon's strength? What was that that she just did? I like her freckles a lot. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. Ah, oh, she's like a big sister looking at her little brother over here. What's going on now? Are you proud of me? Amazing! Look at you, taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem! It was a little tough, to be honest. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your own Pokémon, right? Don't worry, I'll get that taken care of. You're so good with Pokémon battles, I forgot how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyways, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as thanks. Three revives, wow, thank you! Thank you, miss. What now? Are we gonna go through that door? I wonder if we're healed automatically after that battle or not. Now, Mesagos is waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is. Oh, so that wasn't even like where our school actually is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm gonna take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. For a second, I thought that we'd be walking to school every day, but we're going to be living on the dorms, right? Or in the dorms? I'm not sure how you say it. All right, pretty cool city over here. Looking nice, a lot of buildings over here. Got some people walking around. The people, they look like they're staged, like they don't look like they're naturally walking around. Looks like they're specifically supposed to walk here. Well, kind of because they are. Like they're literal NPCs. In the most literal sense. Okay, and... Cool looking city over here. Reminds me a bit of a... We party, some of the cities you see in there. All right, here I am. We finally made it, huh? Yes, we did. This is Mezagoza, the biggest city in Paldia. Wow, uh, I guess this must be a kind of small place because this city isn't too huge. It's a big, it's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Is this where they have the Grand Exchange? Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. Oh, there's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. You can change your hair if you want. I like our hair though, I don't think I'm gonna change it. 
Her hair is nice too, the green like that. What do you want to see first, CX Mini? The hair salon? Tasty food! Ha! I didn't have you pegged for a big eater, but that's smart. You can't battle well with a growling tummy, right? Oh, and speaking of battling, is she gonna go let's battle again or what? I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, ZX Many. There's a few things we gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bike, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you've gotta see Deli Bird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Deli Bird's from Gen 2, cool Pokemon. There's a really cool Deli Bird minigame in Pokemon Stadium too. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs to the school are no joke. Yeah, it looks like there's a big staircase to there. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. All right, all right. Pretty cool game so far. Oh, and it just says you got 540 Poke Dollars. It's battle for me. I'll focus on my decks. Okay, let's make our way up then. I wonder. Oh, hello there, ma'am. Your phone can reveal your past lives to me. Wait, are you like a psychic? Get away from me. Eevee, I want an Eevee. I recommend them all. I recommend them all. Why are you just repeating the same thing? Stop clapping. Nobody is here. Hello there, ma'am. Lovely day, isn't it? Rain in Paldia. Rain in Paldia isn't that cold, and it stops really quickly, so nobody here uses an umbrella. Hello there. What's your favorite Pokemon? Pommy, Pommy! Lechonk, maybe? Great choices. I like how they only say Pokemon that we've seen so far. Whoa, that looks like a place where you could go battle down there. Wonder if anyone wants to go battle down there. Oh, wait a minute. Aren't you a Bronzong or something? Or Bronzor? It's so. Oh! Wait! This is a person that's inside an outfit? Why is it, like, going over his head like that? What in the world is going on here? Are you wearing a costume, or are you inside your Pokemon? Oh! He, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, they overlapped! Look at this! That's so weird! That's so weird! I thought he was wearing a costume, but they're actually two separate people. Yeah, I'm like, they're not bobbing up and down in sync. What's happening? Buenas! Okay, we are back in Spain now. We are in a Spanish city over here. Oh, that's so cool! This little comb guy, Combi, I think that's what they're called. I remember the Elite Four in Pokemon Diamond. They've got, like, okay, this guy is just walking by saying, Buenas, buenas, all day. Hey, bro. Cheek kebab at your service. How about one fresh off the grill? Oh, interesting. Wow, that looks expensive. Wait, 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 what does this do? Heal powers, item, drop power, dark, teensy power, dragon, experience power, rock. Does this, like, change? Oh, it looks like if you eat a certain type of food, you can make like certain kind of Pokemon appear because it says encounter power fairy. Does that make you like more likely to come across fairy type Pokemon or something? I wonder how this food works. I guess we'll see. Oh, this is interesting. I guess these are like all the types of Pokemon. Like this is meant to be normal fire, water, grass, electric over there. This is fairy. This is probably steel, dragon, dark, ghost, rock, bug, fighting, flying. Don't know what this one is. Did we say steel already? Because I don't think that steel would be this color. What could this one be? Because that red one's fighting. Yeah, I don't know what this one could be. This one, maybe it's steel. Wait, did we have steel yet? I think maybe I said that one is steel. I don't know. Yeah, this one, I don't know what type this is because I don't think this is fighting. I think that red one might be fighting. This is poison. Wait, no, this one's definitely fighting. What in the world is that red one then? Okay, then this is ice. Yes, yeah, so there are a few types that I don't know. Did you study for that test? Not at all. Oh man, me neither. These people are such bad examples. I would always study for my tests and get the best mark. Okay, let's head up here. It's time to, whoa, you just suddenly appeared. That's something that happens. Like, look at how funny this is. Preparation is the key for success. Like people, they just suddenly appear when you get close enough and their movement. Wait, that looks like the guy from uh, My Hero Academia, the guy with the half white and half red hair. What's his name, Todoroki? It's Todoroki-san. It's literally Todoroki's son over here. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Oh, he has glasses though. Dot, dot, dot. His name's Todoroki. I don't care what they name him. His name's Todoroki. Seriously, what's wrong with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Uh, I'd rather not. I love how he has an Eevee backpack. That's so adorable and marketable. Help her out or walk away. Wait, this is a her? Oh, this is, I guess, the female version of Todoroki. Huh? You want in on this too? 
I wonder what happens if you just ignore them. If you're here to sign up, we'll get you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star Kid. We burned too bright to even look at directly. But you knew that, right? I wonder if this is going to be a two versus two battle. No, I did not know that. I don't know who you are. Ah, another ignorant little nobody. What a little crybaby. Look at her go. I like how she repeats that. That's actually so funny. I don't want to have a... I kind of want to see a video of this just on a loop for 12 hours. No, 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 no. You know what needs to be done instead? This clip right here has to have the audio of a very intense drum solo put to it. Because it looks like she's playing drums very quickly over here. I think that could match with it very well. Uh, another ignorant little nobody. Here I am, finally part of Team Star, and still I get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. She's still playing drums. Oh, she stopped all of a sudden. Hey, we can't let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. Oh, sorry, they're gonna be two separate battles. I thought it'd be a 2v2 battle. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. Wait, where are you guys going? Are we gonna battle from far like this? I want a 2v2 battle. Oh, ha, <laughs> that's so funny that they make the shape of a star like that. You're challenged by Team Star Grunt. Okay, so is this like Team Magma and Team Galactic from like previous ones? Oh, and I guess Team Rocket, that's probably the most well-known one. Wait, wait, it's got like a poison type over here. Yeah, Shrudel, he's poison, right? Okay, so this should be effective and that's also normally effective, but this is same type attack bonus, yeah, so. Thundershock is definitely the right move here, and it also might paralyze. Okay, that didn't do too much damage at all. Okay, it uses Leer. That's fine, defense fell. That's okay. Just do another Thundershock here. Oh, you know what? If we could send out our Psychic type, if we could send out Wally, then we'd be able to do Confusion, and that'd be super effective. Okay, it used a lot of those attacks, actually. Okay, but now Thundershock will finish it off. So our defense is decreased a lot. But if we swap Pokemon, then that gets reset if we send out this Pokemon again anyways. So uh, let's see, who are you sending out? Wait, or is that all you had? That's your only Pokemon? How come I'm the one seeing stars? It's because you're looking up 416 Poke Dollars in prize money. Too bad it wasn't 420. Ah, why is a nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right, I'm not a nobody. I'm gonna be Pokemon League Champion. No way, he beat you? Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up in Team Star's ranks? Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Oh yeah, it's our Spanish friend over here. Ah, it's that student council dweeb. Oh yeah, that's right, she's in the student council. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, ZX Many. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. <laughs> that's not really what, that's really not what happened. It was those team star punks. That's really not what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. Yeah, they've got literal stars on their helmets. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi, we, we're not doing that. We weren't doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you! Oh, can I do that thing polar- Pokemon polarization or what was it? The Terra Orb. Put the Terra Orb in your bag's key items pocket. An orb that holds within it the power to crystallize. When it is charged with energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to terrestalize. Okay, that's where terrestalize. Not polarize. Polarization is a bit different. With this Terra Orb, you can terrestalize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestalizes, I'm pretty sure your Palmy will be... An electric type! Wait, it already is an electric type. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you! Aw, oh, thank you. Now, time to give it a whirl! You'll learn how to use it faster in battle than if I explain it to you. This person's like, uh-oh! Wait, what? You want this kid to practice walling, wailing on us with his Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Uh-oh, they're like, no, 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 never mind. I'll take my chances with the new kid. Then take your places and battle! Let's go. This is gonna be an easy fight. We can win this, no problem. I wish I could swap my starter Pokemon right now, actually. Oh, they make the star shape like that. Very nice. You're challenged by Team Star Grunt. Let's go. Sent out Young Goose. Wait, didn't I want to catch one of these? I think I accidentally defeated it, but I never found it. Okay, here in the Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon. They call it terrestalizing. Oh, and there's a terrestalize button, okay. Okay, so moves of the same type will be more powerful than usual. 
Oh, after terrorizing a Pokemon once, you won't be able to do it again until you heal up at a Pokemon Center. So use this strategy wisely to seize victory. Interesting. You know what? Let's do it with Fire Dino. I want to do it with Fire Dino. Hopefully that uh, rat that she's got isn't a water type. Look at how that! Look at how their teammates cheering for them in the background. That's actually so funny. Okay, hey, let's go. Okay, Young Goose just used Tackle. That was a pretty strong tackle over there. Where's my Terra Stylize option? I don't see the Terra Style. Oh, there it is. Okay, so once you attack, then you can do that. Okay. And now... I guess Fire Attacks will be more powerful because we are a Fire type. Let's see. Okay, we've got this orb over here. Power up my Pokemon! Fire power... Wait. Is that fire? It almost looks like ice. Okay, we've got a candle on our head now. Oh my goodness, it's like we become glass. I wonder if, uh, wait, wait, how powerful is this going to be? Ember? Look at that person just cheering still. Okay, you're destroyed in a single hit now. Goodbye, young goose. It looks like it's pretty powerful, I guess. You defeated the Team Star Grunt! <laughs> Your Pokemon burned so bright. Yes, it did. 468 in prize money. Very nice. How was that? Nice, ZX Many. You pulled off Terra Stylizing. No problem. Wait. Have we even met any other guys in this game yet? Other than the one postman that we met and like the school warden. I think everyone else in this game is a woman except for us. Moves of your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even, will hit even harder when it's Terra Stylized. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. That's really interesting. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team though. Yeah, makes sense. Well, well, I'll be on my weary way then. Hasta la vista! Me too! Hasta la vista! Off they go. There's so much Spanish in this game. So yeah, wait, what, is she winking at me right now? What's happening? So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class. And when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them from what I hear. Uh, excuse me. It's Todoroki! I, uh, just, well, uh, thanks. Are you gonna leave now? So yeah, uh, see you around. And off they run. Goodbye, Todoroki. Oh, look at you, ZX Many, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. How do you know that that person is a girl? That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the troubles died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get up, go climb the worst staircase in the world. Okay, I don't know about the worst staircase in the world. There's like the infinite staircase in Super Mario 64. It keeps going up forever. Well, it doesn't keep going up forever. It keeps teleporting you back if you don't have at least 70 stars. And you can do BLJs. Yeah, look at how laggy they are. Until you get close, or until they get close. Oh, the way they walk downstairs is so weird. Oh my goodness. So much stuff is so weird here. Okay, let's see. Okay, lots of Psyducks and stuff here. Yeah, like the way that the Psyduck is moving is pretty laggy, but now he moves normally. So strange. How uh, stuff far in the background is like super laggy like that. Like they look like they move very robotic. It's actually so strange. I wonder if that's going to get updated or changed. Okay, I'm guessing we got to go through this door. Okay, we're in some nice place over here. And... What's going on? Here we are, ZX Mini! Welcome to Naranja Academy! This here is the entrance hall! You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off to the side lead to different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason, they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. I wonder what the reason is. People are like destroying all the books and everything. Master to ZX Mini, Miss Nimona. How do you find your first school commute? It's quite far. We had a blast, though. That's true. I imagine Miss Nona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion-ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, ZX Many? Wink, wink. Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star Kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down by the stairs at the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. It is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, ZX Mini flexed on him and ran him off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try and help a fellow student, Master ZX Mini. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And, Miss Nimona, do you remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles? Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. Child with an EV backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. Penny for your thoughts. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Oh, and Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jack about this Team Star business. 
As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such goings on. You got it, sir. Ah, uh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, zx Many, Come on, I'll show you the- That's so funny. Of course we're in class 1A. I can't read this writing here. Don't know what this says. Maybe it says class 1A? Orange Academy, Naranja Academy, what could it be? Oh my goodness, we're actually in a class. It's so weird how like laggy all of these uh, animations are. Like look at their feet, the way that they're moving, and even the kids, the way that they're moving their hands around. It's so weird. Good morning, Mr. Jack. Hello, hello everyone, hello. We've got some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, me, me, I wanna <laughs> Why would a kid just randomly say that in class? Me, me, I wanna hear it. All the kids are like, Mimi, I want to hear the news. Oh, I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Is it going to be me? I wonder what they'll be like. All right. Uh, you, you can come on in now. And here we are. Hello. I'm ZX Many. Please like this video. Could I trouble with you a few words of uh, introducing yourself? Sure. I'm ZX Many. Right. No, sure, because we're more enthusiastic. Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Wait, is that all he said? Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, ZX Mini. All right then, who wants to be the first to ask our friend a new question? Yes, please leave your questions in the comments. Hey, me, can I ask a question? Uh, what's your favorite color? Oh, what's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like battling, collecting, playing, everything. I like everything about Pokemon. That's such a specific answer. Really awesome, I'm totally the same. I like how I didn't answer their question. Well, maybe I could be saying that I like everything equally. Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me, I have a question. Will you go on a, d I mean, uh, you went all the way, you went through all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill ZX Benny. What did you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? I want to complete the Pokedex. I want to be a strong trainer. I will complete the Pokedex. I'm glad I got you set up with that Pokedex app if you like collecting that much. Well then, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself. I'm Mr. Jack. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher, and I'm wearing sandals. That's your seat. Second row from the front. Oh boy! Wow, yeah, I would often uh, like sitting near the front of the class. All right, you ragamuffins! Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jack. Get to know the Academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. I want to, uh, wait, yeah, where is Nimona? Looking for Nimona? She got called to the staff room just now. Wait, why? Yo, new kid. Yeah, let's have a chat. What's up? Yo, new kid. Glad to have you. Wait, that's all you have to say? Oh my goodness, okay. You can now move around the school. Try checking out places on the map where you see that someone might hang around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Now choose the location and start exploring. I just want to do the game. I just want to. I just want to go the game. Oh my goodness! Where's the main storyline? Let's go. Where do you want to go? Oh, oh! You actually choose where to go. Okay, so we can go cafeteria there, or there. Okay, let's go here. Let's go to our friend Nimona. Okay. What's going on? Who's she speaking with? With whom is she speaking? That real hair? Oh, it's a lady. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. And off she goes. He notices us. Oh, pardon me. We just smile. <laughs> Who's the guy sitting there? Oh, ZX Mini, hey! Who was that? Or she looked awesome! Yeah, who was that? <laughs> she looked awesome is such a weird statement to that. She looked awesome! <laughs> like, you don't even ask about who that is or anything. Peak to your interest, huh? That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong, she can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. This is starting to sound a lot like the writing of She-Hulk. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? I hope we learn some more about the backstory of these characters. Hopefully it's not just like, this character is so amazing and they can do anything and nobody can stop them. Like, that'd be such a boring story. Like, unless it's something like One Punch Man, which is actually funny. Now, I know you said you're all about completing that Pokedex, but hear me out. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah, I will. I'll do it. Oh, wow. Hang on. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. That's what I'll do. I'll do it. I'll do it. 
That's the point of the game. And to do that, you have to do more than just take glasses here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. That's what I want to hear. But once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. I'm ready. And once you pass that, then at long last, you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got going on here. Should happen soon. I want that little blue guy down there. That blue guy down there. What is his name? Like Riolu or something? Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe. I don't know yet if there's an answer I'm looking for. But Go on. Is there more to say? Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger in you if, if you and I were both working at it. Are we gonna talk to this guy now or no? Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for- Yes! 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 That's what I want to do. Give me that. Give me that. Give me those locations on my phone. Okay. Oh, nice! Kadai Gym, Cascarafa Gym, Portondo Gym, Alfornada Gym. Did I accidentally set my game to Spanish? Pokemon gym locations have been added to your map app. Like, there's so much Spanish in this game, I'm actually surprised. Wait, Victory Road? Wait, what's going on? What's going on? Give it some thought! Okay, can I go to the gyms in any order I want? How does this work? And I want to have a chat with this guy over here. So colorful. Are all of the men stupid in this game or something? It's like all of the women are all very confident and all in positions of power. And the men are like, oh, colorful. Oh, look at this. A lot of the teachers here are real colorful characters. I need to try harder to stand out. Okay, let's try going to the cafeteria next then. Munch, munch, munch. Should I get seconds? Yeah, I think I'll get... <laughs> I think I'll get seconds. It's full of nutrients. I really like the way that they said nutrients there. That's so funny. That is so funny. I love the way they spelled that. Did you know they're great in sandwiches too? Everything's better together. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't I see you before? Hold on, aren't you the guy that gave me my legendary Pokemon? Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Oh, from the lighthouse, or I don't think we've met. Yeah, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all, buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No need to tell me your name, ZX Many, right? Oh, it's good that he remembered. Old school seems to be talking about you. New kid has showed up with the president of the student council. Oh, so we're popular in school. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you. Our new celebrity. Gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's this dream first? Ha, huh, caught your interest, have I? You wanna hear all about my dream, right? Let's hear it. Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food. See, I found this book the other day, and it had a section about this Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them, once they've been powdered, will give your blood flowing, provide nutrients, and prevent aging. It'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea, and rare to boot. Okay, so we've got to find, like, the five magical herbs for Wait, it's guarded by a Titan Pokemon? Why are Titans showing up everywhere now? We've seen Titans in Attack on Titan, and then Sonic Frontiers, now in this game? Oh my goodness. Wow. There are scary titans over here. As we descend further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these huge ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Interesting. Okay. Then this other one- wait, oh, this is a photograph that they caught by chance. A Pokemon known as Donphan. We know what Donphan is. Oh, but it's like much bigger, I guess, and it's got great tusks. Okay, are you gonna show me all of them? Oh, he just showed me two of the Titans, I guess. Really want to get the herbs for myself, but not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I've never heard the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. I can't ask her. But here you, Walter. You've got to help me with this. You'd be perfect. Uh, you know what? Sure. If I could get some of the rewards. No, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems the Titans may be on the map for you. Alright, sure, tell me about them. The Titans layers have been added to your map app. Path of Legends. Oh, I guess this is like the name of another, uh, 
storyline quests that we could work on. There's like Victory Road and then there's Path of Legends. Let it stew a bit and we can get more into the details later. In the meantime, take this. He's got nice boots, doesn't he? A little gift for listening and all. A bag of stardust. Wait, can't you sell that for like quite a bit of money? It can, oh, it can be sold at a low price to shops. Okay, I see. Is this honeycomb guy his? Give the idea some serious thought, please. We will. It's something that we'll consider. It's so weird how there are just like a bunch of kids over here at this school and we're just all like dealing with Pokemon. Oh wait, I guess that's my phone, the Rototo, the Rotom phone. This is ZX Mini, correct? Who's calling? I hacked your smartphone so I can talk to you. Hope you don't mind. We're like, nope, nope, please go ahead. Just take all of my data. This is what happens if you don't read the terms and service agreements, guys. When you're downloading TikTok or another app and it says we'll download all of your data and sell it to advertisers and track your location and access your photos and all that stuff. This is what happens. I'm sorry, who are you? What do you mean hacked? Well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. Wait, so can you switch all the locations and make them all fake? My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's what I want to talk to you about. I hear you're a trainer with a serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's a something I'd like to ask you. Tell me, you know about the Team Star, right? No, who are they? Yeah, we know about Team Star. Great, I appreciate you being up front to here. Team Star is a group of a troublemakers formed by some students from the academy a while back. They cause a headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to a disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. That's a great name for it. The person in the background looks like they're pretending to eat. Like they're not eating. They can do that for hours and I'm sure that that sandwich isn't going to shrink. Maybe it will, but I highly doubt that that sandwich is going to shrink. Yeah, Operation Starfall, that's actually quite the clever name for it. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them, sure. I guess these are maybe like three main quests. No need to reply this a second. We can discuss the details later. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye now. Munch, 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 gulp, gulp. Everyone's just talking in the background all of a sudden. Ah, oh, Master ZX Mini, I presume? Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information after all, hmm? Yes, you have signed the terms and conditions of joining this school. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. That's a good point. You go on then, young man. Wait, what if this person's actually like part of Team Star or like he's actually evil? Doesn't he look like he's secretly evil? Yeah, look at the way that he looked over there. Team Star, you s- wait. Team Star, you say? Is he secretly evil or do they want us just to think that he's secretly evil? Ding dong, ding dong. Wait, is there another class now or can I leave? I've had enough school. Calling Master ZX Mini to the director's office, please. Uh oh. Once again, Master ZX Mini to the director's office, please. Oh no, it's like back when you're in school and you do something bad, and every time the phone rings, you think that it's because you got caught and you're gonna get sent to the principal's office. Where in the world is the director's office? Hello, can you bring me to the director's office, please? Morning, Master ZX Mini. What class would you like to take? I don't care about biology or math. I think I already know enough of this. Maybe we can come by another time, but right now I've got different priorities. Oh wait, is this a map over here? So should I use the computer? Yes, that's fine. Are they just gonna talk about that for hours? Where do you want to go? Oh, you use this to teleport. Okay, now we can go to the director's office, okay. Okay, here we are. Are we in trouble? Are we in trouble? Oh, he noticed this one. Thank you for coming, Master ZX Mini. Have you been enjoying your time here at the Naranja Academy? Yes. It is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. What is it? Is that a leaf fossil up there that he has? Got a pretty big TV over here. Oh no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Allow me to connect us. Are we gonna look at them on the TV? Wait. You're gonna go, Google, please turn on the TV. How's the TV gonna turn on? Is anyone gonna hit a button or something? It just turns on. Who is this lady? Okay, we're looking at her now. Hello, ZX Medi. It's nice to meet you. My name's Professor Seda. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea at a site known as Area Zero. 
Okay, interesting. It seems like there's so much happening, and there are so many main storylines. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. CX Many student ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Coridon, is that correct? Yes, it is, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you, I appreciate that you are honest in confirming the facts. And so what? Oh, not that I do mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. With what? Oh, out comes my Pokemon. Agia? We're like, what? The Pokemon came out. Oh, how good to see that you're well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Yes! Too bad we can't actually use that guy in battles. Coridon was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I ask of you. Will you continue looking after Coridon on my behalf? Yes or no? Yeah, I do want this guy over here. I do appreciate your agreement. Coridon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. I guess that's why we can't use him in battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. I was wondering that. I was wondering if, like, we'd use this guy for flying or going on water or something. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain its capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out your phone. My phone just comes out by itself. Great. Thank you for your contact information. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Uh, actually, that's fine. I just want to go get these gym badges and beat the game. Until then! He looks like a hunter. Oh, yeah, guess! He's like, where did the lady go? No, no, my friend. It's just a television screen. She wasn't actually here. Wait, could this Pokemon have its origins with Area Zero? No, he shakes his head. Sutter, don't tell me you actually did it, did you? Oh, there's more to this story than we thought. So, well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Coridon. We nod. Yes, yes, we will. Okay, so, yeah, let's get out of here then. I've had enough of this school life. I'm ready to leave. Hello, excuse me. Oh, it's our friend. Oh, you're still here, ZX Mini. Oh, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in so much trouble already? She's laughing so much because this is so funny. Look at her laughing. Nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. What if we're like, it was. We're getting expelled. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, ZX Mini. Let's go check it out. She looks very excited about uh, me having my own private room and really wants to check it out with me. What if we're like, no thanks. I want to go get some badges right now. Okay, but let's go. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is my room. Ta-ta ta chan From today, this is your own room! This looks much nicer than where I am living right now, actually. Maybe we could swap. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. She looks over at the bed. <laughs> Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy, and you must be pretty worn out from all this. Okay, she's being very, very suggestive today. Oh, you must be pretty tired from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? Quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you're all rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. Wait, where's your room, though? Okay, goodbye, mess. Cool, so I guess we do have to rest. We probably rest to continue the story, right? Ready to call it day? You'll need to rest if you want to be prepared for your new school life. Yes, this game is now The Sims. We're going to wake up, then we're going to have to shower, then we're going to have to eat and use the bathroom and everything. Day two. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Naranja Academy. And then, at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Finally! Okay, thank goodness we don't have to go through, like, an entire school year or something before this story begins. Ding dong! Dong dong! Attention all students! Today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more detail. Got it. Oh! Hello there, friend. Didn't expect you to come in. It's time! Time for what? The time to duel? It's time to duel! 
I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Let us go. Am I ever going to be taller than her? Why is she taller than me? Where do you want to go? Well, I only have one option. Why are you even asking me? Okay, wait, is there gonna be like some kind of tournament or something? It'd be so cool if there's a battle tournament. Excellent, seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. What is it? As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. Everyone's like, yes, I love treasure hunts. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. And? You have all learned so much within the walls of our fine academy. Oh, that's the fighting Pokemon. But now, it's time to turn your eyes upon the widened world and deepen your understanding. Explore Palgio's abundant nature. Soak in its rich culture. We've got a slow poke there. Discover the Pokemon that live there. Oh, wow, those guys. And get to know the people, too. So many cool Pokemon. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin! Onward! Look at us all cheering and some of the people are laggy the way that they cheer with their slow animations. Okay. So, I wonder if you have to do the gyms in a specific order or if you can do the gyms in any order. Wait, oh, oh. Come here! It's time for the great outdoors! Come on! Sick Lizard, we're riding out! That's a pretty cool looking Pokemon. Wait, is she gonna hop on it? Oh, we don't even see her getting on it. Take care, everyone. Oh, it's like the end of a video. And take care, everybody. And remember, the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. Oh, do I want to go there? I'm probably going to be forced to go there. I wonder if I'll get kicked out of school. What are you waiting for, ZX Mini? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I'm ready. Can we go? Come on, come on, let me move. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so where do we want to go? I wonder if there's gonna be like another story trigger right here. Cause wait, there is a symbol right here. Am I gonna have to battle my friend again? Wait, wait, let's see, who do we have at the front? Uh, you know what, let's send Fire Dino up to the front. Wait, can I go like this? Can I reorder them? Oh, I can go like this. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, you can change position like this, great. Okay, let's keep Fire Dino at the front. I think this is nice, or you know what? Let's go like this. I think our electric guy at the front is nice. ZX Mini! ZX Mini! Yes, Namona. The treasure hunt! It's finally starting! Okay, yes, we're aware of this. What do they mean by treasure? What are we supposed to do? Yeah, what are we supposed to do? And what do they mean by treasure? I'm wondering both of those things. We have fair question! Since it's your first time, come on, let's walk and talk. Okay, and we're walking. The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Naranja Academy school year. Wait, what if I don't press A? Or do we just stop here until I press A? The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. Wait, are we gonna- oh, now we keep walking, okay. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea's got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted even. There's stuff we'd never learned sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it! And? Plus, there's so many chances to battle! Which is obviously perfect for me. Yeah, she loves battling. You and me for sure gotta battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Oh, battle- how about we battle right now, even? Are we gonna battle now or no? Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? Oh, that's pretty cool. You could try setting one for one of the gyms. That way you can get there easy. Okay, shh. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends insider advantage? Oh, look who it is. Uh, Arvin? Yeah, is Arvin like a rival of hers? He walks up to us. Insider advantage? Sheesh! You make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gyms. It's up to him where he goes. The X-Men, he's gonna have his hands full searching out the Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time on something like chasing the champion rank. No, 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 I kinda do want the championship rank. Sorry, bro. 
Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the lairs of titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. Wait, what if getting the Herba Mystica would help you become the champion? And Serio, don't go filling his head with weird stories! Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to ZX Many whether he goes, right? Ah! Roto to to to! How's ZX Many? Your phone's ringing. And is this gonna be the person who hacked my phone now? Such a weird uh, story trigger. It's like, uh, yeah, here's a uh, Cassiopeia. It's about the Operation of Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of a five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to all the bases and beat the squad bosses. Team Star grants might get in your way, and I'll be helping you out from a distance. And a heads up that the bosses specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews, and you'll figure it out. Still, don't worry, you're more than up for the task. I'll go ahead and add the base's locations to your map. Okay, Fire Crew, Poison Crew. <laughs> Fire, dark crew, fairy crew. I wonder what type of Pokemon they use. I wonder what type of Pokemon the fire crew uses. So funny. I thought that it'd be like a bit of a more cryptic hint. I thought it'd be like the hot burning crew or something. Or like the spicy crew if they use fire types. But not actually like the fire crew. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait a second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. Wait, when did it start raining? They're not ZX Many's problems. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to ZX Many to decide whether he wants to go or not. Wasn't that what you said, guys? Everyone's like, oh, yeah, he can choose. How do you know my... I'm looking forward to see what you can pull off of ZX Many. Bye! My friends are gonna go now, they're gonna be like, wait a minute, is your phone hacked? What was all that about? ZX Many, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try to not get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Yes, please do send me those pictures. That's so cool. Wait, how did you take that picture if you're right here? Oh, and I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what to do, ZX Many. Go where you want and do what it is you want to do the most. A treasure. Our very own. For me, that's gotta be my- I mean, uh, the, the big dream of tracking down Herba Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life! Like, whoa, the best sandwich ever? Wait, where do you wanna go? This person's like, I wanna go to the crater, actually! Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? Oh, haha, that's so funny. Haha, <laughs> well, you're not getting one. Yes! Yes! It seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on ZX Many? <gasps> Can I hop on its back and move quickly now? Use the plus button to jump onto Koraidon. Wait, is it like a motorcycle? Hold on. You can press B to jump. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Let's ride on the Pokemon. So instead of having a bike, we ride a Pokemon? It's kind of like Pokemon Legends Arceus where you ride that like Stantler thing. Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some weird kind of cyclizer. As long as you've got Koridon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea is your cloister, so we don't even have to get HMs? Can we just go literally anywhere? Well, if you're gonna search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say go to the East Gate. But since DX Many is actually headed to some of the gyms, I'd say go to the West. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. Shh, man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. See ya, little bro. Isn't that something that people are saying now, little bro? I'll head to a gym. See you around, DX Many. I'm gonna go to a gym, too. I wonder if she's gonna be the champion that I have to face after the Elite Four. The treasure hunt has finally begun! This special event is held by the Academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide wherever you want to go and search for the treasure all on your own. Okay, let's go. Hey, how fast does this guy go now? Let's see. Oh, a bunch of classes are available. Oh, and there are mass uh, outbreaks occurring now. Wait, can I go any faster? Seems like we're not actually going very fast. This doesn't seem much faster than actually just Running. Look out! I'm gonna jump on you! That kid is just like, I wanna go home! <laughs> hey, hello there. Welcome! Yes, thank you for the welcome. Wait, can I jump over this? Whoa. Oh! No, you can't- Ah, invisible walls. That's so silly. Okay, so it looks like we have to exit here. Let's go. We're like a frog the way that we jump. It's so weird. Okay, let's get through here. Okay, now where are we gonna go? Wait, we already battled that guy. Okay, but it is raining. Okay, wait, so the first gym or, well, a gym that we can go to is to the west, right? Wait, are our Pokemon healed? Okay, Pokemon are all healed. Oh, whoops, don't want to auto-heal. 
Let's go. Oh, that's the map button. I always think that minus is the map button because minus is the map button in a lot of games. Let's see, where are the gyms? Is this a gym over here? What is this? What do these, what do these symbols mean? Oh, what is this? Contando gym. Oh, AKA the sugar bug. Wait, this bug type user is a recommended first stop for anyone considering taking on the Pokemon League. So sweet as a treat, this baker of bug themed pastries shows a bold streak in battle. I want to go here. Okay, let's select this spot. Set as destination. Okay, so now do we have a marker that we're going that way? Okay, perfect. Perfect. We have a marker that shows us where we're going. Wait, 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 but let's do this, bro. Go. Go, take out all these guys. We got some of those guys. We can get some experience, right? Yeah, we'll all get experience. Very nice. Good job. Let me just drink my tea now while he takes these guys out. Yeah, there you go. Good job taking these all. Yeah, and look at all that experience that we get over there. Okay, now just one more. And we get a bunch of items too, which is pretty cool. And now... Hold on, hold on. Let's switch to... Let's get our... Fire guy up front. Now, fire guy, you should be able to take out these guys. Oh wait, but it's raining, so I wonder if our fire attacks do less damage. Yeah, we can take out these guys pretty easily over here. Yeah, we can defeat the hop-ups in like, a single hit like this, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's get going, though. Let's see. So we want to head somewhere over there. I wonder if we could climb while we're on this guy. Oh, and an item, wait. You can even pick up the item while you're going like this. Oh my goodness, this is unbelievable. Can I basically go anywhere now? Wait, what is that? What is that little thing? Oh, is that one of the electric, uh, things? One of those little electric-type Pokemon? Yeah, I think that's a little electric-type Pokemon. We have faced those before. Okay. Can I climb up this now? That is the question. We go up these walls. Can you climb? Bro, I thought that you'd be able to climb anywhere. Oh my goodness, I guess you can. Can you go in water? Wait, maybe we can make a nice jump to there? We can't go in water. Oh my goodness. I thought that we'd be able to go anywhere with this guy. Maybe we could make a jump across though, and yeah! All right, all right. Okay, you can make the jump, but wait, can we make it back? Bro! Bro, okay, do we scramble back to the shore or back to the middle island? Okay, back to the middle island. What do you mean I can't ride him here? Go. And, okay, it might be tricky. If you make a jump to somewhere, you might accidentally end up getting stuck there, actually. Okay, now there are a bunch of super potions around, which is super cool. Hey, come on up here, bro. Come on up. There we go. Man, this game is surprisingly laggy sometimes. I'm actually quite surprised at how laggy this game is sometimes. Okay, but let's see. We can probably get something here. Nice, that's an ether. Okay, and now I guess do we want to go around and then go up that way? That's probably what we want to do. Let's see. You know what? Also send out our friend over here to take out some of those. Go! Go! Take them out! Take them out! Are you gonna take out any of them? Are you gonna take out any of them? You gotta go take them out. Is he defeating anyone? I think maybe we went too far, so he's not defeating them. Oh, this is an extremely tricky jump right here. Well, it's not extremely tricky, but it looks kind of hard. Go! Bro! Bro! Come on, bro. Is there an easy way to get back up? Okay, we got a TM at least. Sword power. Okay, interesting. Another item, but wait, but there's a Pokemon right there. Move, Pokemon, I don't want to battle you. You know what? Send out this guy to defeat you. There we go. Oh, and you even picked up the item. That's great. Okay, go fight these guys. Fight them. Fight them. Okay, good job. Defeat them all. And there's an item here. Good. Now defeat these guys. It's so weird how you could get these experience. It's so weird how you could get this experience and just like get items and defeat Pokemon and you don't even have to go into battles. It's like, just takes care of itself for you. No! I walked into them. Oh my goodness. Okay, but uh, it should be an easy victory. Yeah. Oh, and that's nice. It doesn't actually use up your attacks. You don't actually use up your PP when you're just defeating people in the field like this. How did that not defeat it? Oh my goodness. And it used Peck. That actually dealt a little tiny bit of damage. Okay, I actually just took a little break, so, uh, can we finish it off with a quick attack? Because I don't even remember what was happening in this battle over here. Wait a minute, are those the Gen 4 birds? And there's also a Dunsparce there! Hey, this is looking cool. Okay, wait, let's save. Because last time I failed this jump, and I really would like to make this jump across over here. Okay, so let's see. Hey, there isn't really much delay, so let's just go like this. Okay. Okay, I hope this works. Go! 
Oh, yes, baby! We made it! Oh, man, oh, man. Wait, what is this little guy over here? Some little purple thing. A little purple critter. What in the world are you? Are you a new Pokemon or no? Because I haven't seen this one. Toxel. It's either new or Gen 5 or newer. Wait, level 21? That's stronger than any of my current Pokemon. Am I taking some shortcut that I'm not allowed to take right now or something? Because why are these Pokemon such a high level? These guys are going to be stronger than like all of my Pokemon. Okay, it's probably like a poison type or something or poison something. Oh, I was wondering what that face was. That's one of my po- Wait! Why did we do so little damage against it? Uh-oh, this isn't good. Okay, let's keep using uh, Thunder Shocks over here. Let's see, wait. Oh wait, is it also an electric type? Just hold on. Yeah, electric's not very effective against it. I guess it must be electric, or maybe it's like electric poison or something. Because yeah, it's using electric type attacks on me, so that's kind of funny. I wonder if we could paralyze each other, or if we have like a status ability so that we can't get paralyzed. I wonder what'll happen here. Oh, it knows flail. Okay, that's a little dangerous. Now then, should I use potions? Or should I just let my Pokemon faint and then we'll keep going? You know, let's do this. Let's swap to Magikarp. Magikarp will be like a sacrificial Pokemon over here. And then we could have a free switch to Ralts. And hopefully with Ralts, we could put that Pokemon to sleep with Hypnosis. That would just be amazing. That'd be the best case scenario. Oh, I only know Splash. I don't think there's a point in Terra Stellizing Magikarp to use Splash. That might be a little funny. Okay. You know what? While we are like this, Let's heal uh, this guy over here. Let's heal our little electric rat over there. You know what? I should have named that electric rat Pikachu. That would have been so confusing. If someone skips forward in the video, they're like, wait a minute. Why is this Pokemon called Pikachu? It's not a Pikachu. Hey. Do I waste another potion just to fully heal this guy? You know what? Let's just go like that. Yeah, so he'll be fully healed. I just want this Magikarp to get defeated. Just defeat my Magikarp, please. Please defeat my Magikarp. Stop using that move. I don't care. I don't care. You know what? Wait, is it starting to rain now? It's starting to rain all of a sudden? Okay, you know what? Let's swap to Wally. -E. Please don't defeat my Wally -E in a single hit. I just want to use Hypnosis on you. That's all I want to do. want to use Hypnosis on you, put you to sleep, and hopefully we can catch you, okay? Hey, don't be too crazy, okay, bro? Oh, Static! Okay. We copied its Static ability, so it might get, uh... Wait. Ah, uh, we're almost dead! Wait, no, I'm paralyzed now. No, that's not good. Uh-oh, I wanted it to get paralyzed, not me to get paralyzed. Oh, well, I guess let's use a potion over here. We might be using up a few potions in this battle over here. Don't keep using Nuzzle. Use a different attack, okay, bro? Hey, bro, use something else. Flail. That also does quite a bit of damage. Let's try... You know what? I'll use Double Team. Hopefully that Nuzzle doesn't kill us. Okay, Nuzzle killed us, so it doesn't matter anyways. Okay, so we're not putting him to sleep, it looks like. You know what? I think Palmy is actually our best option because electricity... Yeah, I know that we had Palmy out earlier. But I think that this might actually be our best shot because look at this. It try. Wait, does that lower your special attack? Oh, just regular attack. Okay. Oh, and special attack. It lowers both of them. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're not dealing much damage anyways. I just want that Pokemon over there to get paralyzed. That would be the best case scenario. Like, we're not going to be dealing much damage like this because attack and special attack keep falling. So we're probably going to get to the point eventually where we only deal one damage per hit. That might even be what we're doing right now. But why won't that Toxel get paralyzed? Come on, like, I should be able to get paralyzed too, right? Or since we're both electric types, can we not get paralyzed? I'm not expecting that it'll work like that. We should be able to paralyze them, right? Oh my goodness, that attack did so little damage that it looked like it actually did nothing. Okay, maybe I should swap. You know what? Maybe we could use an ember on it and make it get burned. But if it gets burned, then we have to be careful to not accidentally uh, defeat it. Okay, and it is raining, so I guess that means that ember is probably going to be weaker. So, let's see. And our, uh, our stats were lowered a bit there. Okay, so let's try ember. Okay, it uses nuzzle. Don't kill me. Okay, that does almost no damage, but we're paralyzed. That's the bad news. Please attack, though. Hooray! We did an attack. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, so hopefully... Okay, Flail's starting to deal some damage. I want it to get his HP into the yellow. I want to get his HP into the yellow. So far, we've been able to attack every time, and Paralysis hasn't stopped us from attacking. Hopefully, we could also attack this time. Please. No, oh, couldn't move because it's paralyzed. So sad. So sad. 
Okay, let's get another ember over here. And is it in- Okay, it's not in the yellow yet. You know what? We've got 42 Pokeballs. You know what? I think I might try like three or four Pokeballs now. Even though its HP isn't in the yellow yet. I don't know if this actually makes it easier to catch. Let's see. Oh my goodness, we got it. Okay, that's very lucky. Okay, I'm so glad that we got that. Okay. Yeah, because that could have been a very long battle. And you know what? I think I'm going to have that guy just... Oh! Wow, we get a lot of experience for that. Wants to learn the move Incinerate. Should another move be forgotten? Well, let's see how good this move is. How good is Incinerate? What does this do? 100 accuracy, 60 power. I like that a lot. The user attacks opposing Pokemon with fire. If a Pokemon is holding a certain item, such as a berry, the item becomes burned up and unusable. That sounds very useful. Let's get rid of Tackle, because there isn't really much of a point in having Tackle. Well, I guess Tackle is physical and Round is uh, special. But let's get rid of Tackle. That's fine. I'll prefer this move. Okay, and hold on, before we continue- Oh, right, and, uh, that's right, we also get the, uh, uh, Pokedex entry here. It has no problem drinking dirty water. An organ inside Toxel's body filters such water into a poisonous liquid that is harmless to Toxel. We want to give it a nickname? Oh, Poison Electric! Okay, so I was right about that. Okay, let's add it to our party. Who do we want to replace? Poison Electric type is pretty cool. You know, that might actually even be better than just having an Electric type over here. Are we going to be replacing Palmy? I kind of like Palmy though. Lechonk? We're not really using Lechonk, so you know what? Let's put away Lechonk for now. Let's swap like that. I think that'll be a good trade. Okay, and where's this guy? 198. Okay. Oh, and the game automatically saves after that. Okay. Now, wait, wait, wait. We've got some of these, uh, bird Pokemon over here, right? Right? Yeah, we've got a bird like this. This is the Gen... Gen 4 bird, that's what it is. And this isn't even the first evolution form. This is the second evolution. Yeah, Staravia. Okay, so our attack fell, which is fine. It's level 22. Wait, does Nuzzle always paralyze? It looks like it always paralyzes. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, let's try... Wait, what is Belch? 120 power, 90 accuracy. Oh, the user must eat a held berry to use this move. So that's a really powerful attack, but you have to be holding a berry to be able to use it. Okay, wait, don't kill me. Okay, good. Wing attack didn't kill me. Oh, not very effective. Right, because we're electric type. That's amazing. Okay. So that's super effective and you're paralyzed, so that's good. Oh, look at how the shadow is moving there. That's so silly how it's moving there. That looks ridiculous. Wait, Toxel's not listening to me? Oh, is Toxel too high of a level? Is that why it's not listening to me? Oh, no. Okay, and it's starting to use double team. You know what? Let's just use a Pokeball right now, though. It is paralyzed, so maybe there's a chance that we could catch it. Let's try. Even though its HP is super high, it is paralyzed. Let's see. Come on, please get it. Please get it. Yeah! Okay, amazing! Nice, we got a Stravia. Okay, so we've got some high-level Pokemon, but I guess they're too high-level to listen to us right now, which is a little scary. Okay, but the others are leveling up a bit, so this is great. Recognizing their own weakness, they always live in a group. When alone, a Staravia cries noisily. That's so great. They're social animals, just like humans. And you know what? Staravia is actually a pretty cool Pokemon to have in your party, especially the evolved form. But you know what, for now, I'll keep this little Firebird that we have, because I don't want to always use the same Pokemon that I always use. I don't want this to be the exact same playthrough that I had in a previous Pokemon game. So, yeah, hopefully we could also get some other Pokemon, some new Pokemon. Wait, 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 no, I don't want you to follow me. I don't know who you are. Let's take a look at who this is, and then that little dinosaur thing. There's like a little Velociraptor over there. What in the world is this, though? It's some kind of, like, fire dog? Mass Chip. I haven't seen this before, either. Okay, well, let's just use a nuzzle over here. Oh, headbutt, don't kill me. No! I don't know if we can catch this guy now. That's not good. There's so many unique Pokemon here that I haven't seen. This is so strange. Oh, there's a Murkrow in the background, too. Murkrow is cool. I don't know if it's super useful, but it's a cool Pokemon. Okay, so you know what? I think we kind of do need a Poke Center now. Uh, headbutt, how strong is that? It's a... Okay! Oh, oh, at least it got uh, paralyzed by the static ability. That's nice. Wow, this doggy is very strong over here. Taking out, like, all my Pokemon in a single hit, which is quite wild. Choose our next Pokemon. I guess Magikarp. Magikarp might get defeated in a single hit. Okay, he is paralyzed, the guy that we're facing off against right now. But let's try using a Pokeball over here. If we can catch it, its HP is full, so maybe we won't. But the good news is that it's paralyzed, so let's see. Oh my goodness, our crash rate is insane. That's cool. Oh, it is funny. We just have a Magikarp out here. What level does Magikarp evolve into Gyarados? Like 20 or 40 or something? Fletchling wants to learn Flail. Let's see if it's worth learning Flail. 
I guess we could get rid of Growl. Mass Shift. Rascal Pokemon! It always scowls in an attempt to make opponents take it seriously, but even crying children will burst into laughter when they see Mass Shift's face. That's so funny. Oh, and it's a dark type Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Wait, let's see what moves it knows. Bite, Roar, Headbutt, Hone Claws. I don't know what Hone Claws does. Wow, we are getting some pretty cool Pokemon. Okay, you know what? We want this guy in our party? Having a dark Pokemon might be nice. Oh, but you know what? We know Bite. Fire Dino knows uh, Bite. Maybe we don't need a dark Pokemon with us right now. That's fine. Okay, let's send Mash Chip away. Wait, Fire Dino is evolving! Oh, man, what a cool place to evolve to. We're looking back. We can see the... Pokemon Academy in the background over there. Oh, that was a quick evolution. Oh my goodness, we have like a Sombrero now. Broccolore! That is so cool. Okay, data has been added to Pokedex. Wait, I wanted to read it. I didn't get to read it. No! Hey, don't fall off now. No, 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 no. No, why did we fall off? No! No, our Pokemon evolved and we fell off. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. Okay, you know what? Let's go back to that Poke Center over there, and then we'll come back up after. That's what we'll do, I guess. Okay, let's try and make this jump. Lots of doggies over there. Go! Wait, is this a new one? No, no, no. That's just the doggy that we faced off before against. Now there are a bunch of Murkrows over here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's bring this guy to the front, and then we could probably use a Nuzzle attack. Wait, wait, wait. What I should actually do is aim at them like this and throw a Pokeball. Then I could catch them off guard and maybe we get a free hit. Maybe that's the way that it'll work. Oh wait, and Murkrow, I think in uh, Gen 4 or so, I think they actually added a new, what is it called? Oh, Haze, wait, what does that do? That just changes, uh, that just, yeah, resets like status, stat changes. Toxel pretended not to notice. Come on, bro, Toxel, don't be toxic. Oh, but what I was saying was, I think in, uh, I think in Gen 4, they added an evolution to Murkrow. Murkrow originally came out in Gen 2. Toxel, stop pretending not to notice. Oh my goodness, bro, I need you to use a Nuzzle attack. Come on. Nightshade, so that does as much damage as what the level of the Pokemon is. It did 23 damage, so it must be level 23, right? Yeah, okay, exactly. Toxel, come on. Come on, Toxel, bro, you gotta attack, bro. Toxel, no being toxic, okay? Toxel. Finally, you use Nuzzle. Oh my goodness, there we go. Had to use that like five or so times. Okay, Murkrow's paralyzed, so it may be unable to move, and this is a good time to use a Pokeball. Even though its HP is super high, it is paralyzed. So maybe we'll be able to- Oh, no! The Pokeball broke free, and it used Nightshade again. That's fine. Did I heal now? Let's heal. Yeah, because- Oh, we're actually starting to run a little low on potions here. I have only three super potions. I have like 18 or 19 potions now. Hopefully the Murkrow keeps using Haze, cause uh, yeah, okay, there we go, yeah, it uses Haze. And if it does try to use Nightshade, hopefully it's stopped by Paralysis. I'd like to catch this Murkrow, please. Please, capture the Murkrow. This is a new Pokemon 4-hour Pokedex. Oh my goodness, Pokeball broke free. Do I have to lower this guy's HP more or something? Okay, I'll try one more time, then I'll try to start lowering its HP. Unless this one is really close, let's see. Oh my goodness, wow, Murkrow must have like a more difficult catch rate or something. Or I was just really, really lucky with the last few catches. Yeah, Nuzzle doesn't do much damage, but it's like our best move. Okay, and this guy keeps pretending not to notice. Okay, maybe I should swap Pokemon. Maybe someone else will be able to deal more damage. You know what? Fire Dino might be able to deal some more damage, especially with Incinerate. Hopefully Incinerate doesn't defeat it though. Let's do this then. Maybe even swapping to our electric Palmy, maybe even a Spark would be able to do more damage. Because Nuzzle's super weak, I think it's only 20 power. Wait, and let's take a look at this Dino over here. Oh, what a cool Dino we've got over here. Look at him, he's like a little fire crocodile with the sombrero. Okay, let's use Ember. How powerful is that? Okay, not bad. Okay, Murkrow couldn't move because it's paralyzed, that's good. I don't want to accidentally defeat it after all this work, so let's just use another Ember instead of Incinerate. Oh, I probably could have used Incinerate. Okay, this is fine. Your HP's a little low. You know what? Hopefully we can catch it now. Don't kill me, Murkrow. Don't kill me, Murkrow. Let me capture you, okay? Come on now. No! Haze. Okay, that's good. You used Haze. That's fine. Should I use one more Ember? I'll use one more Ember. 
Let me use one more ember over here. Get his HP a little lower. Probably not in the red, right? Oh, actually, in the red. Okay, that's good. Oh, Gus, does that kill me? That does kill me. Wow, so the Murkrow actually does no different moves other than Haze and Nightshade. Okay, so we'll send out Toxel, and hopefully now we can catch it. We're using up so many Pokeballs on this Murkrow right here. And there's also a cool-looking lizard Velociraptor-like thing in the background. Okay, perfect. Finally, we caught the Murkrow. Okay, we got its HP low, and we caught it. And it's paralyzed. That was the toughest Pokemon to catch yet. Murkrow. Fear then loathed by many. It is believed to bring misfortune to all those who see it at night. Uh-oh. We saw it at night. Does that mean that we're gonna have misfortune? Okay, let's send away the Murkrow. Murkrow is a cool Pokemon, but I don't think that its stats are very good, so we're not going to be using it. Like, what's that little weird Velociraptor thing over there? Let's crouch here. I wanna aim at that guy right there. What? The guy that just noticed me. Oh! Are you gonna run at me, bro? Psyduck, stay away from me, bro. I don't care about Psyducks. I already have a Psyduck. Let's get that berry. Hondu berry! Not to be confused with Honda berry. There we go. Level 33? Bro, can I even catch you? How powerful is this guy going to be? This is the highest level Pokemon that we've seen yet. I feel like... Is that jump that I made over there? Is that a skip or something? Incinerate. Are we dead? We're dead. A critical hit. Uh-oh. This guy might be taking out my entire team, actually. Is there anything I can do against him? Paralyzing him would probably be the best strategy. Hopefully, we can paralyze this guy. But, uh... He takes out Palmy in a single hit. There isn't really much we can do. We could try to revive our other friend. Oh, sweet scent. Okay, that just reduces our evasiveness, so that doesn't really matter. Evasiveness harshly fell. Thundershock, please paralyze. That did almost no damage. Should I terrestalize? Can I terrestalize and then attack? Oh, let's do this. Okay, okay. This is a crazy strategy, but we're gonna try this over here. Let's go. Oh, the Psyduck in the background had a question mark. That was so funny. Okay. So let's become our uh, Albert Einstein light bulb guy over here. Use Poison Fang. Are we dead? Oh, great. Amazing. Yeah, good. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Pommy static uh, paralyzed. Okay, that's great. That's actually great. Okay, come back, my friend. Ah, the crystal broke. The Psyduck in the background is just watching like, Psyduck, Psyduck, Psyduck. Okay, now this is a crazy idea, but I'm just gonna try some Pokeballs now. His HP is almost full and it's paralyzed, so we probably have almost no shot at this, but it is paralyzed. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, couldn't move because it's paralyzed. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, because trying to deal damage, I don't think it's gonna help that much. I think we have a better shot if we just keep throwing Pokeballs over here. Because, yeah, we're not gonna be able to deal a lot of damage onto this guy. Ah, oh, come on! First it went one, then it went two. Hopefully this time it goes three. Okay, I love when you do these attacks that don't damage because that means that I just get one more shot at throwing a Pokeball, which is great. We do have quite a few Pokeballs, which is very nice. Looks like that Psyduck is part of my team. Oh, come on. That time it was zero. Okay, Poison Fangs. We're dead, right? Yeah, of course. Magikarp can't survive that, which is bad. Now, am I going to have to start using revives soon? That is the question. Oh, boy. I think if Fletchling faints and we make it down to our final Pokemon, I think I'm just gonna start trying to run if that happens. Okay, so let's just try and throw some Pokeballs here. Psyduck just there in the background. Okay, we might not be catching this guy. Oh, couldn't move because it's paralyzed. Okay, very nice. I wish we had Great Balls instead of Pokeballs. I think Premier Ball has the same catch rate as Pokeball. It just looks different. Ah, man, it broke free. But couldn't move because it's paralyzed again. Okay, this is great news. Okay, come on now. If we could catch it, that'd be great. I don't have super high hopes, though. But if we do, it'd be nice. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. Okay. And are you defeating me now? Incinerate. Wait, aren't we a fire type? Okay, I guess we're not a fire type. Okay, so now we're just gonna try and run. That's what we'll do. Let's run. Got away safely. Okay, let's, uh... Just find somewhere nice to go. Oh, an actual Meryl! Oh, and there are those guys over there! Wait, what are those little guys called? I think their name starts with a B. They're from Gen 3. Okay, but my Pokemon are all almost dead. Hold on, let me take a look at the map. Is there a Poke Center near here? There's a town over there. Are there any towns around here? We want to go over there. That's where the first gym is. Oh, wait a minute! I went through the south gate, and I'm trying to get to over here. I should have just gone through the west gate. Okay, so that jump that I took 
basically is a shortcut. Oh, and this looks like the evolved form of uh, my electric rat Pokemon that I'm using. Okay, so you know what? My entire team is almost defeated. These guys are too strong. They're not going to listen to me anyways. Whoa. I bump into a Pokemon there? Is that a Murkrow in the bushes there? Oh my goodness, a Nugget! You could sell that for 5,000 in most games. Let's see if we could also sell it for 5,000 in this game. That's pretty cool. Experience candy, extra small. Okay, so I think we're gonna have some pretty good Pokemon. Uh, let's go like this. Ralts, go take them out. Take them out, Ralts. You can do it. I know you can do it. You could go use Confusion and stuff. That will defeat them. Oh! There's a Poke Center over here. Los Platos. It does take a lot of walking to get around here. The guy just all day he walks and that's all he says. Okay, but we like to have our uh, Pokemon healed, please. Okay, I'd like to sell something. Let's sell our nugget. Oh, and we could also sell that other thing. Hold on, what was it? There was the, uh, the like bag of dust or something, whatever it's called. Stardust is 1500, not bad. Okay, so let's sell that. Yeah, I'll sell that. I don't think there's anything else that you could do with Stardust and nuggets. I think the only, uh, purpose for them is that you could sell them and get some money. Okay, nice. 11,000. That's pretty nice. But you know what? Let's buy uh, 10 more Pokeballs while we are here. Hopefully we can get Great Balls soon. And let's buy like five more potions. There we are. And we'll probably be buying like super potions and stuff. How many revives do we have? Oh, we have nine revives. We have so many revives and we never really use any because we just keep stopping by, uh, keep stopping by the Poke Center whenever our Pokemon faint. Wait, let's see what TMs we can make. Making TMs. To make TMs, you'll need to gather up material from Pokemon and earn League points. The TMs you can make will expand as you pick up new TMs. Wait, can you only make TMs that you've made before? Bud Slap. Eh, super weak power. Is there anything useful? Ice Fang. Oh, but we can't make this. Well, you do not have the required material. Yeah, there's some kind of material that we need. Okay, I think the most useful moves that we could learn right now are Ice Fang, but we don't have the materials. Psy Beam, we do have the materials, and we could teach that move to Ralts. And Metal Claw, but we don't have the materials. But Metal Claw, it's not even that great of a move. Okay, so let's do a uh, Psy Beam. We can make one Psy Beam, I guess. Let's do that. Want one copy of Psy Beam? Yes. All right. Would you like to have one of your Pokemon learn Psy Beam right away? Yes. Which Pokemon would you like to teach it to? Wally, of course. Which move will be replaced? Will we get rid of Confusion? Yeah, Confusion is 50 power, Psybeam is 65 power. Oh, and Psybeam can also confuse the target. Okay, yeah, so this is just better in almost every way. Confusion has five more PP, but yeah, Psybeam has 20 PP, so that's not bad also. Okay, you know, I'm happy with that. Wait, where's the, uh, where can I uh, get Pokemon from my boxes? Is this where you get Pokemon from your boxes? No, I don't want to join a group. I don't want to join a group. Where are the Pokemon boxes? Is this where the Pokemon- Where in the world are the Pokemon boxes? I'd like to access the Pokemon in my boxes. Oh wait, you could just access boxes from the menu? Hold on. Wait, I wonder if you have to be at a Poke Center to do this, or if you could do this anywhere, because that would actually be wild if you could do this from anywhere. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty happy with our crew right now. We might be replacing this Fletchling guy over here with this bird over here, because when this guy evolves, this guy evolves, he can get pretty strong and he can learn some good moves. He's got really good stats actually. So we might be replacing Fletchling with that one. Oxel might be replacing Palmy over here because Palmy is an electric type. Toxic? Toxic. Oxel is electric poison, which is a super cool type combination. I've never seen a Pokemon that's that type before. Uh, I don't know if there's a Pokemon like that in Gen 4 because yeah, in Gen 4, I. That was like the most recent one I played, other than uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Okay, so let's go to, um, wait, attack some of them, go. Go, Palmy, attack some of them, okay. We want to go over there, and then we're going to go through the west gate, actually, because that would be a good place for us to go. Attack them. That's fine, don't attack them then. Okay, yeah, so here's the gate, so we're gonna go through this gate, and then we're gonna exit through the west of the town. And you know what? You can take out all those guys over there and get some experience. Good way to get some experience, right? Right, yeah. Uh, you don't get a lot of experience for doing that. It's just like a nice way to pass the time. If you happen to pass by a big flock of birds, then you could just have your electric type Pokemon take them out like that and get some XP and some items. Pretty, it's pretty cool how the items that you get 
can be used to make TMs. It's kind of similar in a way to Pokemon Legends Arceus, where you can collect items, and then the items and the resources that you collect, you can make other useful stuff like Pokeballs and healing items from them, which is super cool. I really enjoyed Pokemon Legends Arceus. That was super cool. I think the way that items are used... Oh, and it's one of these... Oh, wait, are you taking pictures with your, uh... Your, uh, squirrel Pokemon over there? Okay, come on. Get off Instagram. Come on. Why don't you live through looking through your eyes instead of looking through a phone screen? You don't have to document everything in your life. Come on. Okay, let's go through this gate over here. The west gate. Oh, Rototototo! Hey, it's me, Nimona. We should call and catch up and see how things are going from now on. You decide to start heading west from school, right? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Cortondo. That's where you'll find the bug type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you could beat her. Good luck. I'll call you soon. That is exactly where we are going. Yeah, so it looks like that uh, south path. Oh, wait, wrong button. Whoops. Yeah, so it looks like that uh, south path that we took was a bit of a detour. Oh, what are you? What the world are you guys? Oh, wait, you are young gooses. We needed some young goose, right? I think we saw these, but we accidentally defeated it. Did we ever end up catching one or no? Let's see. Oh, we did end up catching one. Okay, fine. Um, Let's just defeat it then. It's only level 9. We'll probably get some experience. This should be fine. Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. And you're dealing a lot more damage than I thought you would. So you know what? I don't want to battle you anymore. I'm going to run away. Goodbye. Whoa, Mareeps. Oh my goodness, there's so many Pokemon around. Wait, does this Eevee belong to this lady? Do you want to uh, battle? You want to battle, don't you? You want to battle. You know what? I'm going to send... No, let's keep Fire Dino at the front. I think Fire Dino might be our best chance. Our best shot. So weird how we're like inside the Eevee now. Or the Eevee's inside us. Oh, I'm talking to the Eevee. I thought that we'd be talking to the lady. I want to talk to the lady. Hopip. Yeah, Hopip, I'm going to defeat you. Oh, okay, defeat it like that. Good. That's what we wanted. Okay. Battle me. Oh, oh, did I just defeat that Mareep also? Okay, do you want to battle? My poor bag's full, bursting with ingredients. Here, let me share some with you. Oh, thank you so much. You got a variety of ingredients. Six strawberries, six cheese. Very nice. Three jam. Sandwiches are the best when you eat them outside. Try making some with the stuff I gave you. Three cream cheese, three pepper. Oh, my goodness. Hey, since we're here, want to have a picnic so you can rest up a little? Yes! Oh, my goodness. So, can you use this as a Poke Center, basically? I guess this is basically like a Poke Center. In some Poke- in some Pokemon games, there are stuff like this, where it's like you could just stop by, and there are NPCs that'll heal you, which is super cool. You know what? Let's battle that Marie right there. Oh, you didn't see me. Bam! I caught you off guard, right? Do I get a free shot now? Is that how this works? I don't know if it was caught off guard or not. Hey, okay, it's only level 9. Okay, will this defeat it or only weaken it? Let's see. Okay, that defeated it. That's a little bit too strong. Okay, so we'll use Ember next time. Okay, Wally's level 11. Very nice. Very happy with how Wally is doing here. Okay, let's go. You know what? I feel like... You know what? I think that picking a fire starter is really a good idea in this game because... Fire is just super effective on so many things early on in the game. Like in the original Pokemon games... Oh my goodness, and Ember almost defeated this guy. Okay, so now... Pokeball, hopefully we can catch it because his HP is super low. Like, there are so many grass types and bug types at the beginning of the game. But in the original, in Pokemon Blue and Red, well, and I guess Green in Japan, and uh, also uh, Pokemon Yellow, the first two gym leaders are Rock type and then Water type. So, if you have a Fire type, that's quite difficult. Unless you're playing, like, Fire Red and Leaf Green, and then you can teach Charmander Metal Claw. Okay, Mareep. If static electricity builds up in its body, its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you, no pun intended. Yeah, so Mareep is a electric sheep Pokemon from Gen 2. Never really used Mareep. It has an evolve form. It has one or two evolve forms. I actually can't remember. Urgh, I'm so careless. Do you want to battle me, bro? Want to battle me? Oh, it's a baby form of Chansey. It's so weird to see this just out in the wild. I don't even know what it's called. Did it just teleport in front of the tree over there? Oh, we can just see the trainer there. Wait, you can't see the trainer now. All you can see is the Pokeball. Look, there's a floating Pokeball right there. How is it moving around like that? And the trainer just throws the Pokeball up and down too. Okay, let's try an Ember over here. Hopefully this Pokemon has decent special defense. Okay, it does. Wow, that was even a critical hit and it dealt only that much damage. Okay, do you use Ember back on me now? Yeah, you use Ember back on me because you use Copycat. I love that it only did one damage. Not very effective. Okay, so now Pokeball, hopefully we could catch you. Let's see. And... 
Very nice, Happini. Oh, that's his name, Happini. Happini was cocked. So it's Happini, Chansey, and Blissey. Playhouse Pokemon. It carries a round white rock in its belly pouch, not an egg. If it gets along well with someone, it will sometimes give that person the rock. That is so sweet. That makes me think about how, uh, I think it was Franz de Wall, the primatologist, who was talking about this, that he was saying what happens if you give, uh, like a plank of wood to male chimps versus female chimps, how they'll treat it differently, or if you give them a doll, and it's like the females, they'll treat it like it's a toy. Or sorry, the females, they'll treat it like it's an infant and they'll want to play with it. But the males, they'll want to like open up the doll and see what's inside it and they treat it like a tool. That's really interesting. Okay, so let's have a battle. You want a battle, don't you? I can't believe I forgot to buy ingredients. Maybe a rumble will calm my rumbling tummy. Oh, you mean a rumble like a battle? Wait a minute, you're in orange shorts. Are you also a student here? Yeah, Noah the student. I thought that, I didn't know that Noah could be a female name. Interesting, oh, uh, I think your Pokemon's gonna get destroyed. I'm so sorry, I think I'm actually a little overpowered now because we took a little detour. Yeah, you're only level eight. You're going to get destroyed right now. I'm so sorry to do this. Yeah, I even used Ember. I didn't even use my stronger attack. Cause yeah, that's super effective and same type attack bonus. That means it, oh. Wait, who's getting sent out next? I don't even know who's getting sent out next. I didn't read it, I just pressed A. But let's give Wally a chance. We want Wally to do some battling too. Hopefully it's another bug. Wait, bug is super effective on Psychic, isn't it? That's actually bad then. Who are you sending out? Oh, Drifloon, okay, Ghost. But wait, no, Ghost is uh, super effective on Psychic also. Uh-oh. Okay, we copied its Unburden ability. I don't know what that does, but let's use... Use Psybeam. It used Gust. Okay, that should be weak. Oh! Okay, it was a critical hit, so it was a little strong. How strong is this Psybeam? Not strong enough. Oh, but you're confused. Very good. Okay, hopefully it hurts itself in confusion. That would be amazing. Uh, let's use... Wait, how powerful is this? 65, only 40. I don't know if Fairy is super effective on Ghost, because Fairy is a new type to me. I've never really experienced Fairy types much. Okay. Oh, it used Focus Energy. Okay, so the chance of getting a critical hit increases. Its previous gust attack was a critical hit. Wait, what if Drifloon is only a flying type, not a ghost type? What if it's a ghost flying? I don't know what type it is. Okay, let's use Disarming Voice now. Come on, hurt yourself in confusion and finish yourself off, please. That'd be great. Ah, use gust again. Is it a critical hit again? Critical hit again. Oh my goodness, look at this luck that you have. Okay, Disarming Voice, there we go, you're defeated. Get out of here. Get out of town. Is that all your Pokemon or do you have more? Hooray, we defeated Noah the student. Very nice. Are you crying now? Don't be sad. Oh, I'm so disappointed. $352 in prize money. Okay, Wally is a little weak. I'm tempted to heal up Wally, but let's just uh let's just continue on. Oh wait, is that where the uh gym is? Is that my marker for the gym? Not sure if that's where we are meant to go. Let's take a look at the map actually. Wait, where are we? We are here. Where in the world? Oh, that's actually so far away. Wait, is that really the first gym? No, that's something else. Oh, so there's basically a path that we follow along like this. Yeah, and then we're gonna make it over there. Cortondo! So yeah, let's just follow this path along and then we can make it to a gym. Wait, is there a Poke Center there? There are Poke Centers everywhere. Oh my goodness, it's just like the middle of fields with nothing else. You'll come across Poke Centers. Oh, oh, there's a fairy right over there. Oh, there, I thought there was. I thought I saw a shiny spot. I wanted my Pokemon to actually defeat that other Pokemon. Find the berry? I thought I saw a shiny spot right here. Okay, anyways, we'll continue on. Oh, birds. Defeat the birds. Defeat the birds. Okay, and someone over here. Have you seen the 10 sites of Paldea? Oh, I don't think I have, sir. Please tell me about them. Okay, I'm just defeating those birds. I like how the birds are running away as we're defeating them. Want to know the way to one of the 10 sites of Paldea? First, a battle! Is that what's gonna happen? You're challenged by Sergio, the office worker. We're finally seeing another man over here. Wait, why is an office worker just outstanding in the middle of a field? And I don't mean outstanding in the middle of a field as in like, he's amazing, he's outstanding in the middle of a field. I mean like, why is he literally out here standing in the middle of a field? Okay, even though it's raining, I'm gonna use this attack. Our attack should be weaker. Oh, I guess we're a lot stronger than I thought. Oh, look at our dino. Doesn't our dino just look like such a nice, mean little Pokemon? Is he defeated? Oh, that was his only Pokemon. Okay, even though it was raining, uh, we're pretty strong. Now he's clapping. This is a sight I've never seen. 
736. Oh my goodness, look at this. The people who have jobs, they get money. That's what I'm saying. The Grand Olive Orchard, one of the ten sites of Paldea, is a little past that Pokemon Center. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Okay, wait. There's something crazy over there. What is that? That's not where we set our marker, is it? What is that? Something... Something special over there that is beckoning us there. Okay, and there are also all kinds of, uh... Wait, what is this? Oh, that's a Mareep. I was wondering if it's maybe one of those, uh, things that we wanted to get. Okay, but lots of Mareeps over here. What in the world is this? Wait, wait, wait! It's like an ice thing! Like, uh, you know when we terrestrialize Pokémon? That's what it seems like. Go! Do something with this. What if I had an ice Pokémon? Okay, I don't know what we have to do with that. Maybe we'll find out what we have to do with that. Let's grab this. Oh, and there's a berry right there. Chesto berry. Very nice. Oh, wrong button. And let's see. Hold on. There's a Poke Center somewhere right here. Go! Defeat that Hoppip! Defeat the Hoppip. I'll get the item. You don't worry about the items. I'll get the items, okay? What TM is this? Low Kick. Okay, don't care too much about Low Kick. I think that's good against heavier Pokemon, right? I think the way that it works is the heavier the Pokemon, the better the attack is, the more damage it does. That'd be really good against, like, a Snorlax. Well, actually, Snorlax has super high normal defense, so it might not even be that good against him. Okay, let's defeat some of those. Very nice. Wait, your Pokedex was updated? Did we just attack a Pokemon that we haven't seen before or something? We must have. Wait, oh yeah! Yeah, we haven't gotten these guys before. We've gotten the evolved version of these guys, but we've actually never... But an actual Starly. Wait, stop running away from me. Come here. Come here. Yeah, so it's funny that we have the evolved form of this guy, but we don't actually have these guys over here themselves. So, hopefully Round will not defeat it. Please survive, bro. Please don't get defeated. Oh my goodness, even that defeats it. Okay, we have to use a weaker Pokemon. We're too strong. Okay, I want to make it over. Okay, I just have to stop for a little bit, but I want to make it over. To, uh, where are we going? We want to make it over to the first gym. Where's the first gym? But there are so many things on this side that are so distracting. It's like there are just so many cool Wait a minute, is that a truck? There's a truck over there. Like, look at that. I gotta go visit that truck, right? Okay, let's climb up here. Okay, nice way to climb the ladder. Climb on up the ladder. Is that a Pokemon down there? I can't tell if that's a Pokemon down there. It's like there are Pokemon down there. Okay, what happens if we come up here? Are we gonna have a nice view of everything? Oh, we can climb up even higher. I'm so tempted to jump off. Oh, oh, and... Electro Ball! The user hurls an electric ball at the target. Interesting. That might be a cool move. Okay, let's climb up even higher now. Oh wait, but this just means that we're gonna have to climb down when we're done. Oh, we are getting very, very vertically high right now. Wait, there's a chest. Is this like The Legend of Zelda or something? What's in the chest? Wait, why do we jump back? Wait a minute, what in the world? There's a thing to battle- wait a minute, I thought that you'd just let me have all the coins. I have to battle you? Okay, I'm gonna battle you then. Wait, wait, wait. Should we try and catch it, though? Oh! Oh, it's got a tiny bit of HP left. Wait, what if we capture it? And we capture it? What if we throw a Pokeball? Go! And? Let's see. Oh? Oh? No! It was so close! Uh, I was wondering, I'm like, wait, is this even a Pokemon that you can capture? Because we've seen these Gimme Ghoul things before, every time we saw them, they would just give us a coin and then they would run away. So, it's so weird that this one we can actually, uh, actually throw a Pokeball at him. Yeah, and we actually caught him. I didn't know that this was a catchable Pokemon. Okay, and we all get some experience. Very nice. That guy's level 50 and I wonder if he's gonna evolve now. Oh, Palmy wants to learn Dig. You know what? Let's learn Dig. It's not the best ground type move, but it'll be nice to have another type of move. Let's get rid of... Scratch is basically a worse version of Quick Attack, so let's do that. Well, it does have more PP, and maybe sometimes you don't want to go first necessarily, but yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, let's learn about this Pokemon that we caught. This Pokemon was born inside a treasure chest about 1,500 years ago. It sucks the life force out of scoundrels who try to steal the treasure, and it's a ghost. Oh, this is the chest form. Interesting. What a weird Pokemon. I've never seen a Pokemon like that before. I have no idea if that's a new Pokemon or not. Oh my goodness, 50 Gimme Ghoul coins for that. Good thing that we climbed up here. Wait, can I just drop down? Yes! Okay, oh, oh! Okay, good, good, good. I keep thinking that we'll take fall damage because you do in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Okay, but over here is just your phone pops out magically and saves you. Okay, so you know what? Let's head down here. Let's check out this truck over here. Wait. 
Wait, is this a bell sprout? Kind of looks like a bell sprout. You know what? No, we're not getting distracted by other Pokemon unless it's a really good Pokemon. Oh, cool, a soda pop. Okay, and there's this truck over here. This looks so low poly, and these textures don't look very high detail at all. Like, look at that! Look at those textures! Oh my goodness, it's kind of unbelievable that this is on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, let's head over here. Oh, nice, another Diglett over there. Okay, we've already got a Diglett. Oh, Heal Powder, very nice. Now, what is this over here? What's so shiny over here? Are you a Pokemon? Wait, is that a shiny Diglett? Bro. Bro, come here. Come here, bro. Battle me. Is that a shiny Diglett? Is that why it's so shiny? It's like very, very shiny. Wait, no, but it just looks like a normal Diglett. Oh! That's not a normal Diglett anymore. Oh my goodness. Diglett showed his ultimate form over here. Wait, if we capture this Diglett, then do we get to keep that orb now? How to catch wild Terra Pokemon. You cannot catch a Pokemon while it is Terra stylized. You'll need to reduce its HP to break through its transformation first. Only then can you try to catch it. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, level 17. Oh, it's the same level as me. That's actually, uh, that might make this difficult. Okay, let's... Oh, this is not very effective, though. I guess Bite would be normally effective. We could try this. What type is Diglett if Fire and Normal are not very effective? What is Normal not very effective against? Oh, maybe like Rock or something. I guess let's use Bite then. Let's see. Oh, Sand Attack. Great. I didn't want high accuracy anyways. Okay, let's see. How's our Bite Attack gonna be? Not bad. Okay, I don't know if we have to get rid of all of its HP to get rid of its uh, Terra Stylize. Oh, that's probably gonna hurt. That's probably super effective. Oh, don't kill me. Okay, it's super effective. It didn't kill me. That's good. Speed fell. Great. Yeah, I just want my stats reduced some more. That's fine. Okay, now do we break through or no? We still didn't break through. We probably have to take away all of its HP to catch it then. Okay, Magikarp. I'm gonna... S Pokemon can't be switched out, bro. Come on. Okay, I guess I'll use a potion then, and then hopefully it won't deal too much damage, and then we can get another bite attack. Then maybe we'll be able to catch it. Okay, let's see how this goes. Another sand attack. That's great. Yeah, I just wanted my... Oh, I wonder if we can switch because of Diglett's ability, because sometimes Diglett has the ability Arena Trap. That makes it... Okay, Bulldoze. That's probably gonna hurt. Okay, that's good. Does that lower our speed too? Speed fell. Rock Tomb? Rock Tomb. Rock Tome? Is it Tome or Tomb? How do you pronounce that word? Okay, and our bite attack missed. Great. Mm, let's use another potion then, because I don't know what happens if we faint here. I don't know if something really bad will happen if we faint. But yeah, all of Diglett's moves, well not all of Diglett's moves, but Rock Tomb and Bulldoze, they both lower our speed. Astonish, I think, has a chance at making you flinch, right? Okay, let's use a bite then. Sand attack. Stop lowering my accuracy, bro. That's like three times accuracy has been lowered. That's horrible. We're probably gonna miss now, right? Yeah, like, all of our bite attacks are going to miss now. Okay, so if our Pokemon faints, I don't even mind then. I'll just, uh... I'll just send out another Pokemon and hopefully weaken him or defeat him. Okay, bite. Missed again. Just keep using Astonish, bro. Keep using Astonish, bro. I'd be very astonished if you did- Okay, yeah, my accuracy was a little bit too high, so thanks for using Sand Attack again. Okay, we're probably missing, right? Yep. Oh boy, I remember there's this one Pokemon trainer in Pokemon Stadium 2. There's Koga in the Elite Four in Pokemon Stadium 2. He is, like, almost impossible to defeat if- well, I guess if you don't have a good team, then- Wait! Why did that do so little damage? Oh, it's because now we broke through that- okay, now we can capture him. I see. Okay. Can we just, uh, capture him right now? Hopefully this works. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of water over here. Hopefully I don't spit it out. Let's see. And- yeah! Alright, we got him! Okay, very nice! That was lovely. Wally wants to learn the move Draining Kiss. Wait, 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 wait. Does that let us uh, heal HP? Do we store, do we steal HP from someone else? The user steals the target's HP. Oh. It was restored by over half of the damage taken. Interesting, okay. So disarming voice is 40, but it never misses. So that's kind of like Swift, but it's a fairy type move instead. So you know what, for now, I think I'll get rid of Hypnosis because, eh. Hypnosis has only 60% accuracy, so that's pretty bad. Would you like to give Diglett a nickname? No, I, I don't. Is there something special about this? Do we get a new orb or something now? Diglett Dirt, oh, 2000 LP, nice, okay. 
Cool, so I guess there is some kind of reward for that. Okay. Make our way over here then. Let's pick up this right here. And you know what? I'm guessing the items like Pokeballs and stuff that spawn, I'm guessing they're random. Oh, that's so cool. We got some of these over here. Okay, you can probably defeat them. Go defeat them. Good job. Because, yeah, those, I don't really care for getting them right now, the Combies. Oh, but you know what is cool about the Combies? The evolved form of Combi, uh, Vespa Queen or Vespa Queen, I think it's called. There's uh, the first person in the Elite Four of Pokemon Diamond uses one of those, and he's pretty good. I always thought bug Pokemon were really weak because you usually see them at the beginning. Oh, usually you see them at the beginning of a Pokemon game when everyone's really weak. But yeah, you can actually have some pretty good bug Pokemon, some pretty good strategies. Gonna train up my bug Pokemon real strong. Speaking of weak bug Pokemon, take on this kid over here. And you know what? I will use potion there. You know what? Let's just use two potions over here. Let's just use our main fire guy over here. That'll be fine. I'm ready to battle you, kid. I'm out getting my butt Pokemon a lot of experience. Oh yeah, well it's time for me to get some experience. You're challenged by youngster Roy. Doesn't Roy mean king in a bunch of languages? Frickatot, you know, and I was actually gonna say, Frickatot is one of the worst Pokemon by stats, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I guess the vault form is pretty good. And in Pokemon Legends Arceus, you could have like the alpha version of these guys. Wait, why did I use Ember instead of Incinerate? It's like I knew that it would be so weak that I just went for Ember knowing that that would be enough. Is that all this Pokemon? Oh, that's everything. Oh, and we got barely any experience for that. Looks like he's quite upset about that. Oh man, I bet I could have beat you if I evolved my Pokemon 352. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of money. As he's just a kid. Kids don't have a lot of money, because where would kids get money from? Their parents? Okay, so let's get that. A revive, very nice. And a super potion. Wait, that's my hometown, right? I don't want to go that way. I want to go over here towards the gym. Okay, so I should turn around, right? We should go this way. Oh, and there's something very shiny over there. Man, it's so easy to get distracted in this game and just go like, Oh, shiny! I have to go get these shiny things over here. There are just so many things to collect. <gasps> I like that guy over there. That guy's pretty cool, but you know what? His evolved form, it isn't too great. It's not amazing, but it is a pretty cool Pokemon. It, it looks cool, but I don't think that its stats and moveset are so great that it's worth catching one of those. Wait, have we battled you before? I'm so curious about Team Star. You know what we can do then? Let's see how good Wally's going to be in a battle right now. Is Wally ready for a battle? Wait, wait, let's get out of this menu. Okay, now let's battle, bro. Is this like a Pokemon Ranger or something? You go to the Academy, right? Do you know about Team Star? Yes, I'm part of Project Team Starfall and I'm going to eliminate them all. You're challenged by Angel the Courier. What a great name. That shirt fits him quite well, I think. Very nice fitting shirt over there. Okay, Psyduck. Oh wait, he's got a water type. That's kind of surprising, okay. Uh, I should have sent out my electric type. Okay, we got the damp ability. I don't know what that ability does. But let's see. Oh, is Psyduck's a higher level than I am? So you know what? Let's... Should I swap to Palmy or should I just go for it? You know what? Let's just go for it. Maybe we could do something nice. Let's do... You know what? Let's do Draining Kiss. Just so we can keep getting healed. Yeah, because he's going first. Water Pulse. How strong is that? That's stronger than expected. Okay, let's do Draining Kiss. We don't get a lot of HP back because that didn't deal too much damage. Okay, yeah, brought it's back up to 15 HP. Yeah, so we're probably dead if he attacks again. So let's swap to Pommy. Hopefully you can survive multiple water pulse attacks. One thing that's kind of unfortunate is that you can't run around during a battle. Like in Pokemon Legends Arceus, you could. You can move around your character and like walk up to the others. Kind of sad that you can't do that in this game. Okay, let's use a Thundershock over here. It's nice that we are faster. Is that enough? That's not enough to defeat the Psyduck. Water Pulse, please don't make me confused, because I think that move can make you confused. Oh my goodness, we're almost defeated. Okay, but we're not confused. Is Thundershock enough to finish it off now? I really hope so. Let's see. Come on, Thundershock. Yeah! Okay, Psyduck is defeated. That was actually a pretty tough matchup over there. And when is my little mouse going to evolve? Wait, wait. Oh, I didn't see what he's going to use. I didn't see what he's going to send out. You know what? I'll send out Fire Dino then. Maybe it's going to be another water type that he's sending out, but I'm just sending out Fire Dino. That keeps happening, but I just... I'm just pressing A to go through the dialogue, and I'm like, oh no! I didn't know that he would have any more Pokemon. You know what? The only times I think that people have had more Pokemon is when I didn't expect any more. Oh my goodness, it is Donkey from the Shrek series. Okay, is this attack okay? Or is this gonna be not very effective? That dealt some damage. Oh, it's Defense Rose, what the? Oh, it's Orenberry was burned up. Ah, you can't use that. Uh-oh, that's super effective. 
Yeah, but my speed fell, so now it might get to go first. You know, an Incinerate should be able to finish him off. Wait, he's got three Pokemon, actually. I just noticed. Okay, so he's going to have one more Pokemon after this. Oh, wait, but we were still fast enough to go first. That's really cool. I like this Pokemon that we've got a lot. What a cool guy. Okay, he's going to send out Mastiff. Wait, Mastiff is the Dark-type dog, right? Okay, so we definitely don't want to send out Ralts. You know, let's keep out Fire Dino. That'll be fine. Mastiff is that dog, the one that kids laugh at, right? That's what the Pokedex said. Oh, my attack fell. Okay, well, that's fine because... This one is special. That's special. Our only physical attack is bike, and that is bite, not bike. And bite, I think dark, is dark not very effective against dark? I guess that it would be. Wait, it probably even says, okay, Hone Claws, what's that? Oh, attack Rose. Yeah, I've never uh, seen that attack, so I did. Oh, and accuracy. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so dark is not very effective against dark. Okay, so Incinerate should be able to finish this guy off now. And now we'll be done this battle over here, and I gotta have a sip of my water. Very nice. Oh, and Wally leveled up. I was so busy thinking about Team Star I lost. Good excuse. That shirt really fits him very well. Man, $2,240 for winning. Oh, yes, finally. I was about to say, like, when are my Pokemon going to start evolving? There we go. Okay, Fletchling is finally evolving. I wonder if this is going to be its final evolution or if it still has one more after this. It looks like it can still evolve one more time. Wait, is it Fletchinder? Fletchinder. Lechinder scatters him. Hey, I didn't get to read it. Come on. Lechinder wants to learn the move Flame Charge. So I'm guessing this is a fire flying type. Kind of like Moltres, I guess. Okay, Flame Charge. 50 power, 100 accuracy. Oh, and it also boosts its speed stats. So that's pretty useful. Ah, uh, do I care too much about Flail or Peck? Okay, yeah, and this is a fire flying type. We already do have a fire type, so I actually don't know if we're going to keep this bird. Maybe we're actually going to switch to that other bird. This bird is pretty cool, though, because, yeah, you don't want to have, like, all fire types. Not like we're a gym leader and you can only use one type of Pokemon. And your team star builds bases and claims whole little zones for themselves. Interesting. Okay, well, we can head down here. Any Pokemon around here? Is that a Pokemon? Oh, that's a Diglett. Go defeat the Diglett. Are you going to defeat the Diglett or get defeated yourself? Hey, nice. Wally defeated the Diglett. Good job, Wally. Wally's level 13. Now, wait. Okay, I thought that I ran by the Pokemon Center, but I'm like, wait, where is the Poke Center? The Poke Center is over here. Been having some nice battles? Yes, I am, sir. Hold on, let me just heal up first, and then we can have a chat. Hello, Nurse Joy. Yes, my Pokemon need rest. You know what? Actually, I've never really seen or used this Gimme Ghoul Pokemon. So let's take this guy, because this guy's stats, even though he's only level 10, most of his stats are better than a level 17 Diglett. Yeah, like, Gimme Ghoul over here has some decent stats for being only a level 10. Like, its speed and regular attack are super low. But, yeah, it seems like it's a bit of a tank that can hit hard with special attacks. So, yeah, maybe we can keep this guy. We'll see if he could learn some good moves and if his stats keep continuing to be good. This, uh, Toxel guy doesn't seem too great yet. Like, look at this. This Staravia has some stats that are quite a bit better. But, yeah, Toxel is another guy that might have some pretty hard-hitting special attack moves over here. Yeah, staravia has got pretty great stats. This guy over here, kind of weak, actually. Maybe we'll be replacing this guy over here. Yeah, he's got pretty good regular attack compared to special attack. Even though electric, a lot of electric attacks are special attack. Maybe it won't be worth hanging on to this guy. Uh, and this guy, Fire Dino. I'm just really enjoying Fire Dino so far. I like him so much. And Ralts, aka Wally, I think will get a lot better as we start to evolve and go to the final evolutions. So maybe we'll be replacing Toxel. Actually, you know what? Let's move Toxel right now. And uh, hold on, who do we want to keep instead? Let's have Magikarp here because Magikarp is going to become a Gyarados man. We've just had this Magikarp in our party for so long. But, uh, Magikarp hasn't really been able to do anything. Oh, wait, did we battle enough trainers in this area? Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Any nice battles? You've defeated four trainers here in Area 2. Ah, oh, once you defeat five, you'll get a lovely prize. Okay, so we have to battle one more trainer here. Wait, wait, is this the town where the gym is? Yeah, this is the town where the gym is. Look at that, because that should be the gym right there, right? Wow, are these kids not scared? Just goes on and on. <laughs> I'm just walking around on, like, a giant dragon motorcycle over here. Oh, hello there. Yeah, this looks like the gym. It looks like that one uh, crow character from My Hero Academia. That's what the icon looks like. You guys know what I'm talking about? Leave a comment if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm ready for the gym. Oh, they're saying welcome to this place. Okay, we made it. We made it. Let's go in. Wait, is the gym going to be open? 
Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my friend is here. Wow, I didn't expect you to be here. Oh, hey, ZX Mini. I haven't seen you in so long. Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yes. That's why we're here. Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Wait! So, the gym isn't just defeat trainers and then the gym leader? Here, have these. When you use them, consider me healing up your Pokemon. Three super potions. All right. Ah, I'm glad you're aiming to be a champion, too. This is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited I can barely stand still. Guess I'll go battle every trainer I've run into. She's so funny. All right, hello there, sir. Welcome to the Cortondo Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is ZX Mini, yes? It is, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Cortondo Gym, that means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Cortondo. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. As our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the What in the world? I've never been to a Pokemon gym like this before. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year, too. The staff over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location on your map. It's just north of town. Now get out there and have fun! All right, let's go. I wonder what those signs mean with the multiple people over there. Take part in the olive roll. Yeah, I thought that we would just be battling some trainers and then we take on the gym leader, but I guess they're like mini games that we have to complete. Okay, so let's get going to the north of town. Wait, north is this way. Oh, we have to go somewhere over there, right? Where do we have to go? Got to be a spot around here. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go, bros. Oh, right over here. Right over here. I wonder if this lady's gonna, it's gonna turn out that she's actually the gym leader all along. Try the olive roll right here! She looks like such a nice lady. Welcome to the olive rolling field. This gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? Wait, do we actually have to face a gym leader or do we just do this? It'd be so funny if you get the gym badge just for doing this. Great! Put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away! Okay, I'm ready for the olive minigame. Is this gonna be like a... Wait, do we get to go on our friend or do we just walk into it? Take on the olive roll challenge. Okay, I'm ready. This is so random. I never thought we'd be doing something like this in a Pokemon game. Wait, can we go on our friend? Okay, let's hop on our friend. There we go. Let's go. Push the olive. Wait, do I have like a time limit to do this or something? Whoa. Hold on, can I push it over? Whoa, whoa. My friend was invisible for a second. That was so weird. Wait, is that guy like a goalie or something? Hey, hey, it's spinning. It's spinning. Go, olive. Go, olive. Go, olive. Olive. Let's go. Over the fence. Can we make it past this guy? Is this guy like a goalie? Bro. Can't goal keep me. Nobody can keep me in place. Olives must go where olives must go. Get in there, Olive. Did we complete the mission? Is that all we had to do? There's like no challenge to it, really. Gym test. You passed. That is so random. I never thought we'd be doing something like this in a Pokemon game. It was kind of janky, too. Well, I guess Pokemon games often are full of surprises. With that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations. Please go to the lobby, Staffer. Good luck in your battle against Katie. Thank you so much. Wow. That... <laughs> that was just so random. These are a bunch of Jigglypuffs over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, Jigglypuff doesn't have great stats. But, um... Why do they look so angry? Some of them look so angry. Hey, go defeat those Jigglypuffs. Go defeat them all. We get Iglybuff Fluffs. Okay, nice. And we get some experience for that, which is pretty cool. Hey there, how's it going? Como estas? Why is there so much Spanish in this game? I'm actually so surprised that this is great for people who are learning Spanish on Duolingo. Uh, yeah, let's head back to our gym over here. Whenever I see these, I think that they're tennis courts. Don't they kind of look like tennis courts? I went playing tennis with my sister the other day because it was like the last warm day of the year. Yeah, now it's going to start to be cold. All right, let's pop in over here. Hello there, sir. Welcome back. I hear you were on a roll out there. <laughs> on a roll. <laughs> Get it rolling like the olive. <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh. Anyways, are you ready to battle Katie? Yes. Let's go. Bring it on, Katie. Very well. Allow me to show you the battle court. Wait, is it outside or is it up here? 
I wonder if we're gonna be in the same building or not. Or if we're going to be outside. Oh, this is cool. Are we like on the roof or something? Wait a minute. Is that Katie over there? Hello there, Katie. Eat up my cute little Vivillon. Are we gonna battle her butterfly there? Vivillon! Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. What's the point of olive rolling? Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me! We look at her. My name is Katie. I am the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I am a gym leader. Oh, silly me. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> my name is Katie and I am the gym leader here in Cortando. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Oh, that's quite nice. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon hiding in the sweets. I mean, I don't put any bugs inside my sweets. Ho ho ho. Oh, my patisserie. We don't put any insects in the food. Don't worry. We do not have any problems with the health inspectors. No, 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 no. I thought you were a health inspector saying that there are too many bugs in my sweets. I only have bug Pokemon, but my Pokemon can't eat my sweets. Okay. That is an interesting Pokemon. I've never seen this before. It's so weird playing a Pokemon game and like all of the Pokemon, you've never seen them before. It's almost like the first time ever playing Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I remember as a kid, like a really, really young kid being in a Toys R Us and there's a Nintendo 64 set up and they had like Pokemon Stadium 1 or Pokemon Stadium 2. And I'm like, whoa, I haven't seen so many of these before. Okay, she's about to send out Oh, that guy will be easier to take out. Okay, I think we're gonna one-shot all of her Pokemon, probably. This is gonna be a really easy gym battle, I think. Wait, is that the second Evolve form, or is that the first Evolve form? Well, whatever it is, uh, yeah, they're gonna be defeated very easily. Because we have same type attack bonus, plus it's super effective, plus we're probably a higher level. Oh, oh, I didn't need to switch. No, don't switch. I don't. I didn't even see what she's changing. Oh, you're quite good. How should I roll things out from here? Roll out like the olives. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, Teddy Ursa, that's interesting. That's not a bug type. That's a normal type. And speaking of Gen 2, that's a Gen 2 Pokemon. Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. Wait, are you going to use a... Uh, Terra? Oh, you're using a Terra Stella Orb. Oh, my goodness. What a plot twist. I did not expect that. Is it going to turn into a bug type now? What's gonna happen? Oh, we've got Glass Teddy Ursa over here. And it's evolved form as what, Ursa Ring? I don't know if there's a newer final form of it. It'd be so funny if we just one-shot it right now. Oh my goodness, we did. It's super effective, it's one-shot. I'm guessing it became a bug type. That was so slight. What a cute Pokemon though, isn't it? Hey, how was that battle? Pretty good, okay, got a few, well, at least one level up there. Oh, your crocodile is roaring at me! Oh, all of my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies, and they are insects, so they also drop like flies. Not into my baking, though. I don't put flies in my baking. Don't worry. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations! You passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Hooray! Oh, oh, and we eat the treats like that. That's so funny that we're in the picture like that. Who's taking the picture? I wonder what the final form of my fire Pokemon starter is going to look like. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. Oh! So, oh, that's really interesting. That's really interesting that it's not only do they listen to you, but Pokemon up to a certain level are easier to catch. How about a little TM as the frosting on the cake? No pun intended frosting because I make cupcakes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am so funny, aren't I? Oh, uh, yes, you can use TMs and you can make more TMs with with the uh, with uh, with the TMs. Good luck. Good luck. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go until we meet again. What a lovely gym leader that was. I'm so glad we were able to defeat her so easily. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, the phone's ringing. Uh-oh, who's calling? Hey, ZX, wait. Okay, I was wondering, I was hoping that it wasn't going to be the person that's trying to distract me with stopping Team Star. Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How to go at the gym, by the way. I passed her pretty rough. It was pretty rough. No, but I would only say that as a joke. I don't know if she'd know that I was joking. Yes! Haha! 
I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats. Yeah, we literally one-shotted all of her Pokemon. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job past me. I'm training hard too, by the way. Day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps a ton of figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like this. Okay, are you gonna tell me where the next uh, badge is? Oh, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Yeah, that's true. Oh, and we're gonna have a battle if we run into each other. Lovely. The start of this game was really quite slow. It took me about four hours to get to and beat the first gym, and about 16 hours in total to beat all the gyms and the Elite Four of the Champion. I really recommend you watch the rest of this playthrough. It gets so intense, especially the last few battles of the game. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day ahead of you, and take care, everybody.